What it do, everybody? Yo, yo. Where there's smoke. Yes, sir. It's yes, sir. Down. Episode 10. Episode 10, man. Double digits. Yeah. It's official. Episode 10. Because yeah. I know we had like that point. You said that point five one. Mm-hmm. So, and like people are like, oh, yeah, you know, that that counts. Like, no, nah, that didn't count. That was just a little bonus. This is the official. This that was a little mixtape. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the real deal. It's the real deal. And we have a guest today. We got a special guest in the building. <laughs> What's right. up? What's up? This is, uh, this is my got? brother, Weston. Yeah, so my name is Weston. Um, I live in the Kyle area. Uh, about to turn 28 next month, mm-hmm. and I'm currently a journeyman plumber. So looking to start my own business and see where it takes me. That's dope, dude. That's mm-hmm. dope. So y'all are brothers. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't I didn't do a bunch of type of like, previous questions, I guess, like I did for our prior guests, which I guess I should have, but I, I know I'm like the back of my hand, so I guess I can come up with some questions on the fly, and you can probably think of some good questions that the audience would want to know. Oh, yeah. Um, but, but other than plumbing, I know that basketball is like a huge thing. That's like your hobby and that really like you loved and like you played throughout high school, and you're really good. You, it's one of those things I think a lot of people have had this frustration where they get into it with the coach, and they feel like some people just say that, and there's a, there's a lot of people I've seen with real talent where they don't get as much as they would like to with like playing time and shine. But mm-hmm. I feel like uh, I don't know. Regardless of like what happened in high school, we had like hours yeah. and hours in the park having like fun with like friends and yeah. just lifetime memories of fucking balling and just yeah yeah uh, balling played a huge impact on our lives. I'd actually like to touch on that a little bit. Um, it's funny whenever me and Logan grew up, literally whoever lost the game would yeah. fight the other one. <laughs> Like, it was always this constant thing. And we played yeah. way out in the country, yeah. you know, so we were playing on rocks and everything. You could literally barely dribble. But <laughs> no matter what, somebody's going to get socked after the game. Yeah. That's just kind of how we did it. And Logan was four years older than me, so he was always just putting the heat, putting the pressure on me. Yeah. Uh, so that really took my game to the next level. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, once I got to high school, man, me and the coach, we didn't really vibe like that. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But Yeah. And, and, and you lift a little, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I've been known it, to lift the weight every now and then. That's when yeah. you yeah. started working out, right? Yeah. Basketball kind of got you. I wouldn't say basketball really got me into it, but ever since a young age, it was always just like, I don't know, I was almost just born to do it, man. Like, I never wanted to be like the smaller guy. I always wanted to be big. Yeah. And uh, I guess knowing I was going to be short, I knew I had to be that much bigger. Yeah. Because um, I hate people that try to take advantage of small people. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. I could sit here all day and talk about it, but yeah. I was basically just meant to do it, I feel like. Yeah. I was, I was in that zone, too, for a little bit before I got what you see today. <laughs> but, yeah, it's one of those things where when, you are, when you're working out, it's no longer just a, a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And you got to alter not just your your day, but your who you you know what you do with people. You know, especially in a relationship, dude. It's like Mm -hmm. if you can't if you don't understand that I have a routine, right? And that's where I kind of messed up with my. But that's neither here nor there. But yeah, like if you have somebody that can understand that, right? Yeah, but that's awesome, dude. So basketball, working out, Mm -hmm. and then like as far as y'all were y'all close growing up, or how did that work out? Yeah, we were super close. Gotcha. yeah, we were all just doing everything together, hanging out, chilling. Like, it was we weren't really allowed to have video games either growing up. Yeah. So it was a lot of like creative, like playing with cars, playing with action figures, or then basketball. Yeah. We would play football quite a bit, even though we weren't quite as into that as basketball. We were a lot of time throwing the football, messing around. Yeah. And then like our dad really encouraged us to be in like FFA and 4-H. Yep. Mm. So we would do that kind of shit together, like, you know, leading our goats around. and Like, yeah, <laughs> like was it a team or you had y'all's own goats? We Not, had our own. They make you do solo. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. But you're out there together at the same time, you know, each working with your own shit and, you know. Gotcha. Was it a competition between y'all two, though, on those things? No, we didn't really no. play it like that, man. We were just honestly just really supportive because... You know, a lot of people are like hiding secrets, whether it's hiding the kind of feed they use or hiding the way they train the goats. And me and Logan, you know, we have all the same secrets and we're doing all the same stuff. So it's yeah. like we're basically on the same team. Yeah. What well, the money in his pocket's the money in my pocket. And now yeah. me and Logan, we were really supportive of each other, I'd have to say. Man, y'all are different than me and my little brother. I mean, but we also we also <laughs> fought a lot. Like me and yeah. Logan fought a lot. But then once it comes time to the show, it's like, yeah. bro, we're we're ready to kill y'all. Yeah. Like we we hold each other's backs a lot. It so. was funny too, because like my little brother, like so me and I we played soccer together. Mm-hmm. And I'm two years older than Daniel. And for us, it was always competitive. Like, and it wasn't necessarily the competitive, like, we're going to, you know, our mom's going to be our, our favorite. But it was just kind of like, you kind of want to just be the better 
you know, between us two. Yeah. And to see y'all be like, nah, that's not how we did it. I'm like, man, me and my brother had some issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I feel like we didn't really didn't fight that much, honestly, overall. I don't know, man. We used to, I mean, we were just really competitive, I would have to say. Yeah. And the, the thing that makes me laugh always is Logan was already like kind of ahead of his time, I would have to say, and he was real smart. Mm -hmm. And what I would try to do is I would take Logan's secrets and then I would try to put my spin on it. Yeah. And then most of the time I would beat Logan because it was like almost a form of cheating. And Logan <laughs> hated that shit so much. So he man. laid the blueprint and you so, just... Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, you know what? He has a good blueprint. Yeah. So I went with it and then I just added my spin to it of what I learned. And it was like, in a way it was cheating and Logan hated it. Yeah. But yeah, we were, we, we had a good childhood. We got along pretty good. Yeah. That's so. what's up, dude. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever get like fist fights? Like oh, really? Yeah. And went out of hand? All the time, bro. Dude. All the time. <laughs> Logan, Logan used to beat me up, you yeah. know, pretty bad. Well, the thing was, right, like, Logan? Yeah. Well, the thing was, was like me and my little brother were the same way. Like we, we, I remember one time, dude, I felt bad because I, or we, I don't know if y'all did this when we were kids do the wrestling moves on each other, like the power bomb and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I forgot what we were doing. One time I knocked out my little brother's tooth. Ooh. I, it was like, a, I think it was loose already, but I just felt so guilty. And after that, it was one of those things where like you hit your little brother mm -hmm. and then you're like, you can hear the, your mother or your, your dad coming. You're like, here, just hit me so you can make it equal. You know, like here, I'll let you hit me. Yeah. It was like one of those things. I don't know if you like had him that. a knife. Oh yeah. <laughs> just stab me right here, dude. Just, <laughs> that, way, that way I don't get my ass whooped. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that that's awesome though. Like a lot of people don't understand, like the the brother. Like if you don't have a brother, like it, it's it's something that not a lot of people. Well, I say not a lot of people, but a lot of people can relate that. You know, when you have like a a, a brother, it's almost like y'all can read each other's minds, kind of deal. Oh, dude, a hundred percent. It's yeah. even like that with uh, some of my best friends. We have like code talk, and I mean Logan even knows it too. Yeah. But a lot of times, whenever we're talking and we're just laughing our ass off, people are like. Are y'all like, are y'all retarded? Y'all like, what are y'all talking about? Yeah. And it's like, I've really just known them that long that we have that connection. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's nice. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting. So are you a Spurs fan as well? Or I am. There you I go. Am. And hey, I'm a Dallas fan, if that means anything. Really? So, yeah. yeah dude. I hate to admit it on a camera, but yeah. Hey, 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 dude, hey I'm, I've been, I've been there. I've, yeah. been, I've seen the glory days, so I know what you mean. Hmm. So that's what's up, dude. Yeah. It's, uh, the Spurs. Man, we don't talk about that right now. Pop, <laughs> I, man, I don't know. Pop's, Pop's just past his time, bro. Yeah. Man, that's, what I, that's what I said last episode. I yeah, mean, I, I didn't really want to bring that up again because I know y'all did Look talk about it. Look at the Lakers. They're out of the playoffs right now. Yeah. And so. didn't they win that tournament? That playing tournament. It's like that tournament's just cock and balls, bro. Yeah. Don't play with me. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so what got you into, like, the plumbing scene? Like, yeah, like so I, uh, plumbing is obviously a different beast from what me and Logan do. Yeah. So as far as, like, plumbing, what and what made you look into that? Like, what caught your interest in it? And mm -hmm. then, you know, kind of how's the journey been since, let's just say, from that time to where you're at now? Like, what, what is okay. it been like? Yeah, man, I came a long way. So first of all, I'd like to say that me and Logan, we're, we're almost, like, kind of more on the grimy side. Mm -hmm. And um, I often say, I think, I feel like Logan should have been a plumber. I really do. Because I've taken me many times. He's dude, many I've times. taken Logan on some projects, yeah. and like he'll get like sliced open, or he'll be crawling through the mud. Dude, he doesn't care, bro. He does not. Like it doesn't phase him. Yeah. So yeah, I think Logan should have been a plumber. But how it all started? So we graduated high school. Right. I wanted to go to college like any person. You know, you have to be if you want to be successful, you have to go to college. Right. You know, so like any kid, I wanted to go to college. I wanted to be successful. So I needed a summer job before I went to college so I could try to get in at like Texas State or, you know, whatever mm -hmm. college all the kids were trying to get in. Did you in. know what you were looking to be or do? I had no clue. Okay. Yeah, it was just go to college. You know, that's what you're told. Right. So I went to work and my friend Alan had an uncle that was in plumbing. He needed some day workers with no experience. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I started off. We started in Seguin and we were literally just wheelbarrowing sand, uh, pouring, pouring it in sewer lines, backfilling holes. And uh, yeah, I planned on going to college, but uh, then those, that crew like left and we got another guy and his name was Manuel. And um, then we got my best friend Chris working with us. And next thing you know, I was like, man, I don't see myself like leaving this crew to go to college. Yeah, yeah. And on top of that, after two years, you can get licensed. And then it really just goes up from there. So is it like a wireman kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it's the, it's the pretty much the same setup. I would okay. say the only difference is y'all get all's masters after six years. Yeah. It takes us eight years to, to get that masters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, different. yeah. But. Yeah. I, I would I would argue that it's a little more dangerous, too. Hell like yeah. as far as the natural gas yeah. and, and stuff of that. Nature. Too. You can flood yeah. easily. Yeah. You can pass diseases and I mean we control the health of the nation. Yeah. So They're literally like cross contamination. I mean that's real. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. in other countries, I mean, you just don't see the same setup and 
Yeah. It's pretty nasty, man. And I'm sure you've seen your share of uh, horrific uh, things in your life. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Mainly the thing is like just nasty houses I really go into. Yeah. People just don't know how to clean up. That's why whenever I walked in today and you were like, don't mind the mess, I'm like, that's a joke compared yeah. to what I've seen, brother. Yeah. This is the cleanest house I've seen in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. The, the, I, so I, I think I told you, Logan, I originally was going to go into plumbing before I went to electrical. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was, or at least I was looking into it. Mm -hmm. uh, Roger Wakefield, I'm sure you've probably heard of him. Dude, he's pretty cool, right? So, yeah, shout out Roger. He's like a big social media. Like, I didn't know that like, people that weren't plumbers knew about him like that directly. Well, I, the reason I did was because I did research on plumbing before. Oh, okay. So I was yeah, like yeah. doing some research. And I was going to until I saw the post for Facebook about Bailey and Sledge. Uh -huh. uh, shout out Bailey and Sledge. But then that, and but I knew I wanted to get into the trade. But originally I was going to go into plumbing, and I found this one guy in Hutto that I was going to go work for, and he was like, "Yeah, man, it's fourteen dollars an hour. I don't want to hear shit about complaining." I was like, mm, "Maybe I don't want to work for you." <laughs> like, hey, that's it, how they scare you away. Hey, he scared me far away because mm. I never called him back. But um, uh, but yeah, like plumbing, I know is like a whole different beast. And and as far as kind of like you know what like. What, what, you know, as far as like what people don't know about plumbing, like what is something that are more common, mis like problems that you see on a regular basis as opposed to like a big thing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it like a, I can't stop the water, right? Like kind of yeah. situation. Yeah. So, I mean, the biggest thing is, I mean, if you have a leak, you, you, you want to know where that homeowner shutoff valve is mm -hmm. because a lot of people, they just, the city lid, it could be locked and it couldn't be. And a lot of people just don't have the tools and when the, it's flooding. I mean, they're just going to be really stressed out and they're most likely not, most likely not going to get it done. Yeah. But I would say the main thing that differs electrical from plumbing, obviously you have really rigid pipes. Yeah. I mean, the wires, you can run it anywhere. Right. As long as you can drill holes, you most likely can get it done gotcha. as far as new construction goes. Now I know troubleshooting is a different aspect right? and I know it takes a really good electrician to troubleshoot. So I'm not taking anything away from, from those electricians. Right. But I would say one of the biggest thing that, that differs plumbing is uh, the lines in the slab. Because, I mean, you have lines that are under the slab. The customer's expecting you to just look through the slab and see it. And it's like, then you have, for the sewer, you have tunnels that are involved. I mean, you have slab leak testing and reroutes. So I, I would say... Thing, are, are commercial and residential, like, somewhat close or comparable in plumbing or no? Um, so on the commercial aspect, the water lines and the gas... Well, the gas always goes through the ceiling. Uh -huh. But the water lines always go through the ceiling as far as a commercial. Right. And some of the older styles on the service side of residential uh, go through the slab. I think with electric, there's a bigger jump from residential to commercial. Because mm. like <sighs> on commercial jobs, I'm kind of getting the sense... And I've, that's not where I have ever been. But just talking to guys and hearing stuff... It's a lot more compartmentalized. This guy does this. This guy does this. It's very rare that you run into someone that actually knows everything, what the fuck's going on a commercial job site. Right. That actually so is running it like that. Like there's plenty of electrical guys on the residential side that know pretty much everything and can run that shit like that. But on commercial side, it's a it's another ball game. Mm -hmm. There's so many different more different phases than just, you know, your hot your two hots that are 240 it's like three or four fucking or two or three hots and, and you know there's several fucking wires it gets into fucking right and then there's pipe bending and all kinds of other shit i would say that uh the commercial plumbing is quite a bit different too just as far as like the sewer goes because you got to think a lot of the kitchens and a lot of the restaurants they it's there's a more a, heavy duty that, well, mm -hmm. well there's a sanitary sewer and then there's a grease sewer line so right. the sanitary sewer is the strictly the sewer and then the grease line, it has to have like a whole grease trap put in. So mm -hmm. you're talking about a 10 to 20 foot hole, digging all that out. Um, and then the appliances, like as far as the boilers and the tankless water heaters, they're a lot bigger. Right. So if you're already, and like, that's one of the hardest things in residential is like testing and troubleshooting water heaters and tankless. Not necessarily the tank type, but the tankless are hard to troubleshoot. Right. So if you're already having like similar issues with residential, it's like, don't try to go to commercial, buddy. Yeah. That's not going to work for you. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, electric, electric, like electrical might be a little harder when you jump to commercial, but plumbing, you know. Anytime you jump to commercial, you have to respect it. Yeah. So. Yeah. And at Logan's right. Like, it seems like there's <clears throat> people play their roles in the commercial. And it's like, like you said, there's it's people. Yeah. They specialize in just a specific spot and it all mm -hmm. comes together. Yeah. So it's almost like an orchestra. Right. Yeah. Damn. I just now, plumbing's pretty similar, though. Like, yeah. people have they the stuff they're, they're good at yeah. and they kind of they kind of only send you to that because they just they don't they can't take any hiccups, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's what's up, dude. And you see yourself being a plumber for life. Man, I don't know. Honestly, I've I've been really digging deep here lately, kind of yeah. having talks with myself. And I don't know, man. I, uh, 
I wouldn't mind being a personal trainer. Oh yeah. But I don't know, man. Yeah, I, plumbing I, pays well. So plumbing pays well, but so does uh, the the fitness training. If you can cre- create like a badass clientele, I was gonna say like, what would what have you? What are some of the biggest tips that you've learned from working out that you would pass on to people that don't really know as much? And man, I would honestly say it's very simple. I would I would just say you know you work harder than the next man. You know you eat as much and as healthy as you can. Um, you get sleep. Hey, let me ask you this. Would you say, because I've been, I just got back into it and I'm trying to like, obviously do what everyone, get fit, build muscle, whatever. Like, is it more about like, do you want to get a, a, like pretty much the work your way up to the max weight or not max, but like not max, max, but like reasonably max that you can get 10 to, or 10 to 15 times. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that? Or would you rather be able to like pump something like 30 times that way you're getting the so you know what i mean like is it more is it so yeah i would say that's digging a combination a, of both so i would say that's digging a little bit more deep into it well that's getting a little bit more complex into it yeah and um me personally a lot of guys are going to tell you different depending on who you talk to yeah. and there's professionals out there that know a lot more than me yeah. I, I don't know at all but for me, it can it, it it matters on which muscle group you're trying to work. Right. Mm. So you have some muscle groups that are somewhat smaller. Like mm. my arms, even though they're huge, they're small compared to the rest of my muscles. Yeah. So if I'm going in, and Ronald actually likes to train really heavy. Me, I like to train lighter on arms. Right. Because I'm trying to go like how Cali Muscle says he's trying to pump it up like a tire. Yeah. So the more repetitions he gets, it's like you're just putting more blood into the muscle. That's what right. I was feeling. And that's what's really yeah. gonna make the muscle expand. Yeah. But then if you go on and you're talking about like chest or back, I mean those are those are bigger muscles, especially getting into the back. You wanna yeah. expand it more. So what I like to do typically is I like to get the heaviest weight I can possibly get for about ten to twelve reps. Oh, gotcha. Now if you're getting more into and you wanna be like to where like after 12, you're almost doing like partials. So you're okay. doing like 80%, maybe 70%? I would say, yeah. Um, but I like to go to a failure though. Yeah. So you want to make sure like around like the 10th rep, you're like, I don't know how I can yeah. do anymore. Yeah. That's and then you get like one or two or three more to where it's just grimy. Yeah. And but then, those ones, those ones, I always wait. Like if I'm jamming like some death metal or something mm-hmm. like that, you wait till that drop. Ah, yeah, that just, bro, I'm telling you. I when I was working out, oh, back in my days, shit. You can get one or two more reps bro, if the song's good. Bro, right? no, hey, no bullshit. Hey, hey you nah, put on for a real. playlist, bro. Like, dude, I used to put on like uh, some five finger, uh, five finger, five finger, <laughs> five finger, <laughs> a five finger death punch. Oh, not uh, for sure. Oh, dude, like some heavy, like, and that's not even really that heavy, but that's pretty heavy. Mm. But, dude, you put on like, but I'd always put it on like a specific spot that's about to go hard, and I'm just, yeah, you dude. know what time it is? Yeah. Oh, dude, I turned Super Saiyan, <laughs> dude, blonde hair and everything. Like, dude, those workouts, like, I miss working out. It's so work- good for your mental, bro. Oh, bro. Come on, bro. You know what I? You know what I miss the most about working out? After you finish your workout and you go home. One of my guilty pleasures that I used to do was I used to go to Randall's before mm-hmm. I'd get to my place, and I would get a pint of ice cream, and, ah. I, would, and I would throw that down with some Netflix, yeah. and that ice cream would feed my muscles while I was asleep. Yeah. That's what I would use, because I know there's like different things that you can do. Rice yeah. Krispies, uh, cereals, another good one. I mean, dude, there's so many. You're, you're naming like the worst options possible, bro. That's what made me feel so good. I the only thing, though, is it made me gassy as fuck. Honestly, yeah. bro, if you're going to work out and do that, that's a lot better than not working out. Yeah. So, shit, I recommend that all day. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll, and I'm not going to lie. I used to live with Logan, actually. Yeah. Uh, what, about two years ago? Something like that? Yeah, a year and a half, two years ago. Dude, yeah. I used to, every night, I used to just pound a pint of ice cream right. after my workouts. And then I would just go straight to bed. Might even be in the living room. Yeah. Just stone, just go straight to bed. But when I would chill with the guys that were really competitive and really lean, they'd be like, dude, if you dropped like a couple of percent body fat, you'd look amazing. And I'm like, dude, I have big arms and I'm eating ice cream. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Hey, I'm telling you, dude, like there's becomes a a routine of like things that you like to do when you're working out. Yeah. Uh, Another one that I miss doing was snacking. Like throughout the day, I would snack on some good shit. Mm. Now it's like fast food, like fries or whatever. But when you're working out, like I'm telling you, when... I was, uh, I forgot what, who told me this. And I think it was one of my buddies. He said, 
when you can master the art of disciplining your own body, mm. you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. So I would say the thing about that is whenever you can master your own body yeah. and you start going to the gym whenever you want, not only are you mastering your own body, you're mastering your own mind. Exactly. And when you can start taking control of your own mind, yeah. dude, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But why do we have trouble doing that as humans? Like that, why is it? You know why? Argument? Because nobody has discipline and everyone's lazy. Mm, Logan, always because lazy me and my friend, and this is a prime example. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a thing called 75 hard. It's a program. I've heard of it. You have to work out twice a day. Basically, you have to do all this shit for 75 days. Mm -hmm. Once you can pull that off, you yeah. can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And anytime you want to, you can flip that switch. Yeah. So I have a friend and he's done it three times. Yeah. And he's actually about to start Monday. His name's Ronald. I brought him up earlier. Yeah. Dude, he can do whatever he yeah, wants. Yeah, shout out to Ronald Butler. And Dude, he can the, do whatever he wants. If he wants to study for five or six hours in a day, yeah. he can study for five or six hours. Big, he big can shout do out to Andy Frisella, too, the, the inventor. Andy of the Frisella's dope. Oh, he's yeah. the guy that, that invented that? Yeah, but mark yeah. my words, bro. Ronald will be rich because so, he's crazy like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so for me being on that side and then coming back to, to where I'm at now, right, I can honestly say that that lazy bug has been embedded in my skin for so long. And it's one of those things where I know better. Like, I know I should work out. Of course you do. Out. Yeah. I know I should go You're not stupid, it, bro. I know I've been this before, but it's I always come up with that, ex that pathetic excuse. You know what that's called? Time. Yeah. That's called the bitch voice. Uh, and <laughs> and you know go. what? I recommend you read. Dude, it's like 150 pages. Yeah. And the lines are like so spaced out. It's, yeah. And it's called uh, 75 Hard. I recommend you read that. And he talks I've a lot about that. Here, I'll put it to you this way. I've seen it a lot on Facebook. I know some of my friends have done it. And they swear by it. But I'm that guy that's always against like... When people were like, uh, what was that show, Lord uh, Thro uh, Thrones, what is it? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, or like those big stuff. You when go, everybody's- you, don't, you go, you're anti, yeah. you're anti-culture, whatever I try, it's called. I try to be that. Like, bro, I'm, tell I'm here to tell you, yeah. and I hope you trust me, dude, please do it, bro. It'll change your entire life. And you've been saying you want to flip that switch, yeah. so I think you should you really implement it. You and me, we try it. <laughs> Logan, I don't know what the fuck. Hey, Logan, I don't, Logan, I don't know like, what the fuck you're shining away from, bro. You're, <laughs> what are you like, scared of? Do you're, you're the one that always said, "Oh, if some if, if the world ended and this went down, I'd I'd do what it takes." Would you, motherfucker? Would you? Well, then why don't you do what it takes? Why? Why don't you do what it takes? Hey, hey you know you're gonna keep do? making excuses this, or what? This is what I'll do because I think you're supposed to document these things, right? Yeah. But as far as what, like making a post or. Yeah. Like letting people like they're holding you accountable. We're just supposed to take a picture every day. Yeah. So so they definitely don't like disagree with creating posts. So yeah, right. in yeah. a way you can document it's, it. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things, like I said, it's just holding you accountable because mm -hmm. it's one of those things where people, they can, uh, you know, people say, oh yeah, I've been working out, and then you see them and you're like, mm, I don't think you've been working. You're out. like, well, you kind of look <laughs> yeah, the same. You look bigger than when I left. <laughs> no, you but no, I re I really do need to like I was mentioning earlier before the podcast. Like I, I'm 35, I'm 36 in August, and. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to that point where, like I said, if, if I don't make a change now, I'm going to continue on this path of just living this mediocre lifestyle. And honestly, this isn't even mediocre because mediocre, they're at least somewhat fit. Yeah. I have. I'm down to work out. I just don't want to make the, this is just me being a thousand percent honest. Yeah, I mean, it would help my discipline. Yeah. And I am working on that. And that's, it sounds like a lame excuse of like, why don't you just do that to work on that more? Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to, I don't even, I know that I cannot work out twice a day every day of the week so i don't want to say that i don't want to make this promise myself and then break it yeah well, I, dude I, I don't have time for that you're not making a promise I you're could, just I you're literally even, just trying something bro yeah. that's, I could, that's the I thing could maybe even work out every day of the week once per day but i can like could i yes but yeah. there's other things i would sacrifice that i'm not willing to right now yeah the podcast and I, frankly i need to be studying for my master and i've put that needs to come first that right. I put off. So it's like, could I do it? Yes, absolutely. But there's other things that I don't want to sacrifice right now. So I don't want to make this promise of maybe once a day, but some people, and you have pointed out, like you don't want to see people half-ass doing the program. Right. So like, but I, I have dedicated to working out at least three days a week and I'm not going to break that. Right. That's on. I've been doing that two or three weeks now. Right. That's, that's cemented. So if, so if you're not starting 75 hard because you're studying for your master, how many... How much time are you investing each day studying for your master? Yeah, no, that's not a good excuse because I have. So that's no I've excuse. I've been putting hours into the podcast though, and I have been putting many. Okay, hours so that was one of the things you said you're putting time into. Yeah. So if you're, how many hours would you say you're putting into the podcast a day? Uh, like two hours. 
Okay, that's a, that's a yeah. fair amount of yeah. time. But I need yeah. to reduce that to like one hour and then put an hour into the master thing. Right. And but a lot of, of it's just... Man, you, time manage. The thing is, though, a lot of it is not necessarily him... Uh, like, I'm, I'm sure it's going into like investing in the podcast, but it's more troubleshooting, kind of figure out... Making that, clips. Making it better. Editing the videos. Yeah. Researching a camera. I spent probably two hours a day for like a week researching cameras because I don't want to spend a thousand bucks or whatever... And they'd be like, oh, this sucks. I didn't want this. This one feature, a couple features was lame. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to be goddamn sure. Yeah. Same thing with these mics and shit. I didn't do as much research with these because it was right. easier. But with cameras, there's so many fucking options. Yeah. I, you know, but so it shows, though, compared to our shows. first episode and, that we were at. And when you, you look at mean? other small-time podcasts, they're not where we are yet. Yeah. And, I mean, we're just trying to be competitive, and we're comparing against ourselves, and et cetera. But... You know, I would. Um, I just I would, want to be honest with myself, and I am going to work on and be disciplined. But I don't want to commit to this thing yet, and then fail right away. And right. But I am. I am. Yeah. You know. You I'm know how to work out Fridays, though. If you want to. I mean, I, my thing is this: like, I, I know what it takes to get in shape. Yeah. And it's like the, I had I had one of my buddies who hit me up uh, that was like, "Man, let's work out together." And I hate workout. And that's partners. what I was gonna say. I don't. I, I, I don't. I hate workout partners. I do too. You're working out with the wrong people, then. It's not even that. Because I worked out with people that were. Well, I, you're right. I've I worked just out with like a buddy. You can get a better pump solo. Do you? I do. No, they're wrong. But here's the thing. I've had. I, I've had a buddy of mine, Charles. Shout out to Charles. He used to work with me overnights at HEB. And this dude was 175, stacked, just lean. He pushed me and knew what was what it took. And in fact, this is where I got a lot of my uh, principles from, as far as like working out. Because yeah. he would be like, when we work out, he wasn't about small talk. Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, dude, go ahead, get on. Let's go. Boom, 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 right. boom. Yep. And he kept me on my toes. And then when I would be like, all right. And then I think he moved away or something happened. And then I started working out solo, which, okay, I know how to work out. I know all my stuff. But then when people be like, hey, man, I see you're swollen. Isn't that? Can I work out with you? And I'd be like, are, are you, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hop in with me. And then they're talking. What slows you down? Right now. No, I'm saying it slows yes. you down. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, you said what slows you. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. It, it's it pitiful. Slows you down. It's pitiful. And then you're having a, and and it's nothing against them. It's just like they're on a level that you're not on, right? Yeah, now. yeah. dude. Do you know how many times I? That's all I do. Yeah. There's not many people that are on my level. It's it's crazy, but um. And you don't mean that in like a like like. Dude, like, yeah. This literally, is, like, I'm not better than any. It, I'm not better than the next man. Right. But I've put a lot more time into the next man. Right. So if I wasn't better, that'd be a little concerning. Yeah. And it? then you're dropping like 60 pounds off the weight bar and shit. That takes yeah. time. Yeah. It's like, dude, man, just know this: if I'm working out with you and you're on a lower level, which most likely you are, yeah. Then in some case or some scenario, I do care about you. Yeah. So that means that should mean a lot to yeah. people that I work out with that are some way people smaller. that don't understand. Like, there's when uh, you know, like I took my kiddo to work out with me a couple years ago and. He was doing a lot of stuff that we as, uh, you know, like gym rats, whatever we used to call ourselves, like there's stuff that you don't do. Like you don't walk in front of somebody when they're working out, you know, oh, you, man. like you don't do that. Like, or when you're finished with the weights, put them up. There is a lot of etiquette in the gyms that a lot of people nowadays don't know about. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like people go in there to casually work out and stuff like that. That's cool. But, you know, there's things that you, there's cardinal rules to the gym. And so, I, I, but I miss that shit. I miss going into the gym. It's crazy. I miss, dude, I miss going to the gym and smelling some shitty, uh, you know, body spray. And like, you know what I mean? Like, the, you knew you were about to get it. You knew you were about to get in the zone. Yeah. It, I, I like working out by yourself for two reasons because, or, or the main thing is like, you, you, you know, when you're done with said, exercise right. where some people are like okay we did such amount of things or i'm done or my shit is pumped i'm ready to move on yeah you're like well i'm not or like i want to get one more set or i want to get two more sets or whatever what have you yeah and then well, the other thing i've learned i guess from working out is even though i've barely been doing it is like i guess why i asked you is like i feel like well for one i on certain things i can only get like whenever i do like uh curls i can only get like up to 15 right with and do like 12 or 15 Wait, of them. reps or a pound pounds and then i can only with a 15 i could probably only do like and this is once i'm already a little tired but i can only do like 10 or 15 reps right so i'm or maybe more but i'm pushing with that instead of going up to like 20 and barely being able to do it i'm going down back down i'm like okay i can't do that go back down and like pump it out and even certain stuff like he showed me with like pull-ups i can only do like five or six pull-ups maybe now maybe 10 right after i do that initial five or ten I get a band to put on there and then I pump it out and do like 20 because they're way easier, but you really can focus on a certain muscle yeah. and pump it out and still get a good exercise in. So, yeah. So, and there's a couple of things I like to add to that. So first of all, like whenever you're doing curls, 
I mean, it's not the end of the world if you cheat a little bit. You can oh, yeah. use a little momentum. Um, you often see a lot of guys talking shit, but dude, there's famous people and people that look better than anybody I would ever know. And dude, they're over here just curling the 70s <laughs> and yeah. swaying. Yeah. And it's like, do you always do that? No. But it's like every now and then your biceps kind of need that heavy overload. Now, at the same time, I mean, biceps are a really um, easy muscle to injure. Uh, biceps and chest are like the number one injury that usually occurs. Right. Um, but also I wanted to kind of touch on what you were talking about earlier. You were saying like people just kind of don't have any common sense in the gym. Right. I've really seen that, but I would kind of counter that and say like it kind of depends on the gym that you go to. Right. So like when I go to Anytime Fitness, which is the gym I'm going to now because it's a little less crowded. Mm -hmm. I mean, the equipment's decent, so we get good pumps there. Mm -hmm. um, but dude, they just have no sense there. You know, all the all the weight off the dumbbells is gone. People stay on machines for 30 to 45 minutes. Bro, how are you on one sheen, machine for 30 to 45 minutes? <laughs> if you're on one machine for 30 to 45 minutes, that yeah. pump better look ridiculous. Yeah. I, and like if you did that maybe like once a month because that was just a really good pump, I get it. But yeah. people are just doing it all the time. Yeah. And, you know, and you, you know what's funny is the you said that like the gym depends on which gym. Exactly. My favorite gym, and I've only worked out at once, was in Harlingen. Okay. It was called Olympus Gym. It was one of those. Oh, old, dude. Have you ever been there? No, but it's. it's I was. I was basically going to say the same shit as you. There's a gym called Factory where it's yeah. like most of the people are pros or Instagram famous. Dude, it's nothing uh, like that. Old school machines yep. that are like the things are all worn out, but it, you can feel like. There's been some shit done in this gym. But why did you stop going there? It was too crowded? Yeah, so me and Ronald, we kind of weighed out our options. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, I don't want to say too much because we're on camera right now. But a lot of them are just more serious than us, if you know what I mean. They're willing to do what it takes. <laughs> yeah. And me and Ronald, we just weren't really into competing and... Yeah. You know, stuff of that nature. So they were honestly taking it a step too serious. Yeah. And there was you just too many just cameras in there. there? What would you say? You felt you couldn't just be a regular person there or what? I mean, no, you could, but it's just like, why are we here? Yeah. And yeah. it's more money. It's not 24-7. It's just like, at the end of the day, if you're not trying to compete and yeah. everyone else is here to like ultimately compete, yeah. Yeah. it's like, why are you here? 24-7 is a big thing, too. Yeah, it yeah. is. There's those gyms out there that, in, and I think it's more so because the trainer owns the gym mm -hmm. and his clientele are just people that are compete. And... The one thing about, and like you said earlier, like the people that compete and do those fitness shows and stuff like that, like they're on another, they're on a level that I couldn't even try to be on because I know for a fact, like yeah. pushing that extra rep or that extra set or whatever, like that's just not within my range because otherwise I'd kill myself. <laughs> yeah. But I want to push it, but I don't want to push every part of my life, like diet to a T. Yeah. No soda. Shoot up said substance. Like, yeah. but, but. The reason you yeah. don't want to push it to there is because you're not trying to hop on stage. No, exactly. So there's yeah. really not a reason. There's really not a reason for you to push it like that. No, yeah. You're you're no, getting in the goals. gym and, and you're I eating this healthy. When I work out. Yeah, you're doing yeah. great, bro. Just stay yeah. in the gym. Yeah, yeah. it's all yeah, about you're gonna consistency look good. and showing up. But yeah. then at the same time, pushing yourself because yeah. what ends up happening is, uh, and the, you'll run into this because uh, I know it happened to me and probably happened to you. You'll come to a point where you feel like you're plateauing. Oh, dude. And you're just like, fuck, I got to switch it up. That hasn't happened yet because I'm so new. But, oh, yeah. dude, he's got a long time to go. Yeah. He's got a lot of games. Man. I'm going to I'm gonna be there too. Like I said, I, I think after speaking with you in this podcast, this episode specifically, yeah. dude, I'm going to have to get back into it because, dude, those dad bod, like oh, the dad bod thing, you know what I realized was like <sighs> it was just a plan to fatten dudes. Yeah, Whoa. Dude, that's oh, what dude. all it was. Dude. I, I'm I think glad about, you said that. I think about yeah. when I get to like 50 and 60 and 70 and I start getting to that age, do I want my body to kind of maintain mm -hmm. and, and be tight because I've got my core, my shit's yeah. decent? Or do I want my, it to be like an old car that you haven't kept up and you just start falling apart? And age oh. is going to catch up with everybody, but you can, you can, you can plateau it like you're saying and, and yeah. not dip off and get just... Dude, yeah. yeah. You, you've seen those guys that are 80 and like, dude, this guy's freaking crazy. Dude, yeah, they're, or you're, they're 80 like, well, just another 80 bro, I've seen people you know, in their like, 40s and they act like they're 80. But you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, like, yeah, you, you want to, you definitely, when you, like I said, when you get older, you want to be able to move because, man, it's a bitch to see people that are, you know, in their 70s, 60s, and they're just kind of yeah, like, you know, getting along. Yeah. yeah, you don't want that. Like I said, for me, uh, that's when I realized like that dad bod was... It was really just a, a plan. It was a plan, dude, to fuck up all. And I yourself. and I bit into it because, you know, but girls like, don't like that shit, bro. They don't, wait till I, bro. yeah, I like dad bods, and then wait till I pull up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, good yeah. luck, motherfucker. <laughs> Different story. Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Let's see. So, okay. Is there anything else? Did you have any other questions? No. I mean, um, I'm sure we'll probably. We we'll might think of something. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? Not really. Um, I just kind of, you gym, know, bringing up shit as I go. Gym, plumbing, and, yeah. and basketball. Don't get me any more riled up than I already am. Hey, I'm on caffeine right now, goddammit. Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You saying you want some more? Hey, pour me up. Did you stop drinking or what? Yeah, I, well, I, I'm on my last bitch. I can go. So this week, it's pretty to- nice. Toby yeah, Keith died on, right what was it, Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, tu- was it Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday, I think Toby Keith died. Yeah, uh, that was crazy for me because I really didn't know that he had cancer or anything. I didn't um, either, dude. Yeah, well, I found out. I think I told you like two months ago, Uh-oh. but I didn't tell you because, uh, well, we don't really talk about country. But yeah, I found yeah. out like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. I saw him on my Facebook feed, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "That's is that Toby Keith?" Because I was used to him the 2009, you know, the big guy, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Big then, stocky. Yeah, and then I saw him. I was like, whoa, he looks sick. And then right. I told my girls, or asked her, I was like, hey, uh, have you seen Toby Keith? She goes, yeah. He, I mean, she's a big country bumpkin. <sighs> she's like, yeah, he's he's got cancer. I, like, I didn't even know that. And yeah, we got the news. Got the news on Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm just, damn, I shouldn't stop. I should stop. We're going to be smoking that Toby <laughs> Keith pack at the Super Bowl. Dude, man, uh, man I, I'm not really a country ma- fan myself, but yeah. man, Toby Keith put out some hits, brother. Oh, bro, I'm boy. not as good as I once was. <laughs> like, Dude. I'll put you this way. So I was really big in a country in like the 2010s. And I know he was kind of like popping in 2009. Oh, way, way before that. Dude. Actually. Way before that. Fuck. But uh, the one that I will always remember is um, that one. I, I, won. That's good. I, I ain't as good that. as I was. And then the other one was the one about after 9 11. Oh, yeah. We'll put a bullet up your, your ass because it's the American way. way. Oh. And Uncle Sam. Bro. That one really hurt I, me. Listen. I was not in the military, but if I heard that song and I had a fucking 50 cal, dude, I'm he just, like, hey. Donnie should, was jamming that with you. <laughs> You're popping off some hollows. Bro, man. And Uncle Sam. Dude, like, like, there's just something about him. Like, being, What about Should Have Been a Cowboy? Oh, oh, dude, been that's a cowboy. such a hit. What, what about uh, I Want to Talk About Me? Want to talk about I, I want to like, talk about number bro, one. He's got some jams, bro. Yeah, he does. He's got some jams. But yeah, dude. I was, How do you like me now? Uh, oh, man. Like man. What is that, uh, that short people song? That's not him. That's Randy Newman. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then he had one called Forget Who's about Your that. Daddy? Who's your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your hey, baby? Toby Keith looked like he was the type of guy that have a fun like time with some Fun time, with, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I, I love this bar. I oh, love this I'm glad bar. you brought that up. Come he as hits, you are. Yeah. He, he was kind of like your, your, like... A man, what a man! Your Hollywood country, like every, like he tried to, he he tried to relate to like, you know, everybody, and he had yeah. the the kind of cheesy hat and everything. And Amanda told <laughs> me that he was really kind of like that rebellious cowboy. He tried like to that play. Was, that was yeah, kind of like the thing. Like he was the bad guy kind of cowboy. But then, every, but he he really did a good job about like making it for everybody. Yeah. Did he also sing a beer from our horses? Yes. With the, was that Willie, Willie Nelson? Nelson? Yes. Yeah, that yes. was. Don't forget that about that. Hey, how yeah. tall was he? Because he was like a tall motherfucker. He I did. think he was just big all the way around. And then he had red solo cup, so he had some good parts. Oh, dude, that was kind of a. That might have been like one of his newest like big hits. I hated that one. And then the beer for my horses was a good. Those are both like good, decent party drinking songs. Yeah. Beer for my horses. All right. So real quick, how tall do you think Toby Keith was? Six two. Six two. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, damn, Logan, you're a good one for that. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, six three. Six three. The answer is six three. Dang. Dude, he is six. You know what time three. it is? Be a and then of course soon, hit me you up. gotta think though. He was six three. But then he put on his boots and the cowboy hat, so he was probably looking like six six. Yeah. I'm six five, baby. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, babe. The boots and hat stay on during sex. Yeah. <laughs> After he drank the beer, he was a six four, six five, two eighty. <laughs> yeah. So, Shout out Toby, man. Yeah, man. Like, he'll he'll be missed. That was kind of a crazy one. Yeah. I'm just like, man, it's one of those things where it's like I think we were talking about like celebrities when they pass away. Mm. Like Dude, Willie Nelson's outlived a lot of people. <laughs> Smoke weed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Apparently, dude, it saves you from death. That's crazy. But Might as well. Yeah. Uh, another thing I kind of want to touch on just briefly was um, I heard Joe Rogan's Spotify deal was up. And it more of like just kind of, I guess it was up and they re-signed him or whatever. So now I believe that he's still with them. That he signed another deal, I guess an extension. But now, to my understanding, he's not exclusive. 
So I'm eager to see if that means he'll be back on YouTube and other platforms because I know me, you, me and you were talking. We really, how much would you before Spotify? How I would probably watch like one or two of his podcasts like a week. I Almost. watched it. So I were, when I watched Joe Rogan, I was working overnights at HEB. So uh -huh. I would listen every day. Okay. So every day. And then one spot, he went exclusively on Spotify. We pretty much quit watching, right? Yeah. Because we didn't wanna, know each other, but we both just kind of. I didn't want to pay. Yeah, I didn't and, want to either. And on top of that, some of the people that he was interviewing, I was just like. Kind of dipped off yeah, with the quality. It was like, of the... wasn't people that I was really. Just, like when he was doing his show back in the day, he was interviewing like geniuses, people that were you know, professionals and what they were doing. And this yeah. one, it was like, oh, we're bringing Jay Prince or, you know. I mean, like, you'd be what? surprised see how many people want to see celebrities. that, though. Yeah. Not necessarily you, but it's like. I yeah. feel like there's a place for that because he had got to a level of like A list yeah. and then he started mm -hmm. bringing in like. Do you think, yeah. think Jay Prince is, is not an A-type person? Jay Prince of Houston? He's a, he, he's, he, he's like a, a C or D list celebrity. Really? Because would, his, his specialty is staying behind the scenes. Yeah. He, he, he prides himself in that. Yeah, he's, That's yeah. Part he's of, the brain of what we see a lot of uh, Houston rap. He goes above and beyond to stay behind the scenes sometimes. Yeah. But I'll say this, though. I would say he's put himself more out there than in the, last, in the last five years. This is he, not called He kind of changed yeah. like positions. Like He was a lot of behind the scenes, and then he got, yeah. got kind of tired. Well, the power he wants to flap his bird feathers. Did you, <laughs> did you ever read his book? Uh, Respect the, and Power. Oh, I definitely didn't read his book, but what is it called? Yeah, <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> this is not Call of Duty War Zone. This is not War Zone. That shit was funny. They're calling all the streets. And <laughs> Let's not. I wish I could for slap the him. Authorities uh, to handle this. So here's. So he had a book that came out like seven years. I actually bought it, but I bought the audio version of it, which was a fuck up of mine because he's the one reading it. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> to it's like the author's note, and I'm like, damn, bro, let me speed this up like you said you read you spent it you spent you what'd you put video, that motherfucker on I five put it on 16 bro <laughs> <laughs> and he was still and he was still talking normal speed bro i was like god damn hey shout out jay prince look man i, I ain't talking shit because i ain't trying to get hit but uh motherfucker was talking like he was 16 and pregnant <laughs> yeah man like here, i'll put you this way jay prince has let it be known that he does not speed up anything for nobody. Wow. Yeah, like, he was like, I, you're on my time. If I'm talking to you, it's because I allowed you to. And so you can much, save all that. I didn't as, even want to talk to him. Like, as much shit as we can talk, dude, I'm, there, he's got some power. And uh, there's been a lot of uh, things that have happened in Houston that we don't know about, that I don't want to know about, but... He's got, let's put it this way, he's got some people that uh, he just got to pull a couple strings and make things happen. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So. Oh, dude, he's been doing it for so long. It's not even funny. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, um, Joe Rogan, like I said, the, the podcast, I, like I said, I listened to it when it was on YouTube. And like, when I was working overnight at HEB, I mean, dude, you got eight hours to kill while you're stocking mm -hmm. groceries. Yeah. Dude. Two episodes, dude. Like, that'll take some time. I used to watch it, and it, it would just... Yeah, when he went to Spotify, I switched over to something else. So I just in, wonder... In fact, he's the reason I got YouTube Premium. Okay. Because, mm. because I would... Uh, before, I'd have my phone on because I couldn't lock my screen. So you got that. So I got it, and then I can close it and save my battery while I was listening to right. it. So Joe Rogan was the reason I even have YouTube Premium. To Bro, he became huge. Yeah. Yeah. But do you think I mean, dude, he's been huge. But do you think yeah. he's gotten too big for himself? No. I mean, what do you, I mean, what do you, like, kind of specify what do you mean on too big? So, like, Joe Rogan has always kind of been, like, this modest, humble guy. Like, oh, I'm just one of the guys, you know, this and that. <laughs> he still tries to play that. Yeah. He's still that's what I'm saying. That's his it's character. Like, but that's his I, I think he's really handling it well, then. If he's still playing the same character he was before, then he's got to be handling it pretty well. I'll say yes. I'll say yes. But I'm just kind of like, man, to think that he was just some regular old comedian that was just shooting the shit. I don't think he ever was. Uh, I, I had a comedian? I, no, I don't think he ever was like the was like a low key guy. Yeah, because mm. something doesn't add up with how he was on Fear Factor so early. Dude, on. he was on Fear Factor in like what early, real oh, early two thousands. Yeah. No, it was the nineties, bro. Was it? Yeah, dude, he was. A, Fear Factor was a nineties show. Like I would almost say ninety seven, ninety eight. I mean, dude, he's been in the game. He's something never was, been not he had famous. Hair on the fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that tells you yeah. crazy. Right? With the shitty sideburns. Yeah, it was nasty. Know, he had man. the little Guido like <laughs> little cuts. You like that? That Saturday night. He was a cutie shit. for sure. Yeah, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'll put it to you this way: if if Joe Rogan, because a lot of people say he's not talented or shit like that, like I, they they'll say that. There's, I've heard people say like Joe Rogan is a terrible. I'm like, dude, if that's the case, then he's the luckiest motherfucker I've ever met. Or that's not met, but known. That's yeah. not even somewhat true, dude. He's, yeah. I mean. You think he's more better than? Uh, well, did y'all even listen to Howard Stern back in the day? 
I think that might have been a little before me. I've I've seen clips and stuff. I think Joe Rogan's a little better than Howard Stern. The thing about yeah, see the thing is, is like when it comes to like people that do interviews, like or Car- was it Carl Tarkas? Howard Stern was like if my grandma was like on her period every day. <laughs> well, that doesn't he sound too good. Had <laughs> I think I'm good on that. What about you, Josh? Can everybody. you spit his fat? You know how he's like super skinny. He just has that like. Oh, oh, Robin, I, I'm over here. I'm talking. Oh, who, yeah. the, who the fuck even is this guy? But here's the, I mean, he just sits up there like a like a buzzard on a perch with his little cigarette and his little his little hippie glasses, and he he thinks he's like the fifth Beatle. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> how, how dare you come into my my yeah. lair here? But here's the thing. Now you got a little trumpet, you know. This is a little sick up. So this you is know. the thing between Howard Stern and Joe Rogan, the two things that they have both in common. Joe Rogan has muscles. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but. Um, they both are able to extract information from people when they don't want to. I was about to say, Joe Rogan's really good at that. And I never heard the other guy, so I can't really, you know, talk Joe, on that aspect. But Howard Stern was real good because, uh, like, it, it's, it, like, if you ever watch any, because you, do you remember the E! Channel? No. There used to be the, well, she, the well, that wasn't the Discovery? No, that wasn't, oh, I'm showing my age. But it was the E! Channel. It was, a, it was I think it was called Entertainment. But um, essentially it was, like, uh, Entertainment Tonight, but if it, had, if it had its own TV <laughs> channel, but um, uh, he he would do interviews and they would stream them on there. Uh-huh. And uh, I mean, dude, like as corny and hacky as he was back in the day, he was the go-to guy if you wanted like your cele- if you wanted some juicy shit from a celebrity about stuff that happened. Yeah. That, and on top of that, he was a pimp. Dude had sex with like Madonna. Who's this? Uh, Howard Stern. Oh, okay. Yeah, was like, he actually like pimping hoes or was he just having a lot of sex? Not pimping hoes, but he was. So he was more of a player type. Uh, let's put it this way. A lot of the A-list celebrities back in the day, the, the females, like he was knocking them down. So he was like more of a celebrity player. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. I got you. For yeah. Sure. You know what pimping means though, right? Yeah. Yeah. That means you're actually making money off of other people fucking. Yeah. No, I, I mean, dude, with, uh, I mean, Hollywood nowadays, you never know. You never know. You oh, never dude. Know. Certainly. But, but yeah, um, but. To Joe Rogan and Howard Stern's credit, like I said, they're, that's what they're good at. And for Joe Rogan to get this deal with Spotify is going to change a lot of shit. It's going to okay. change a lot of shit. Oh, yeah, for especially for future podcasters and stuff like that. The thing about like people when they have big contracts like that is what ends up happening will determine the fate of the rest of the people that are going to follow. Yeah. Oh, dude, you have to. You're going to open that. floodgates yeah. that you're never supposed to open. Yeah. People are going to follow the biggest guys no matter what time it is. So. so who's the second biggest podcaster behind Joe Rogan? Logan. I don't know. Shannon? I know. Carl? Bro, there's some people out there. there. It's yeah. kind of the, a race, dude. It really the problem is. with that is I feel like me and Logan don't really keep up with a lot of the top guys. I would have to do so. numbers. I do kind of. but You I, do somewhat. I keep up with like... The people that are like maybe a layer two below the top people, mm-hmm. like Adam Twenty Two, okay. Vlad, Fresh and Fit. Uh, I used to kind of fuck with uh, what the fuck is their name? Those two Canada dudes. Uh, oh, Abba Preach. and Preach. So, th- and I feel like all these people I'm naming are kind of like not the top top guys, but like two or three below that. Right. So yeah. I kind of am always fucking around with them. Kill Tony's another one that's like yeah. a comedy. It's not. It's a podcast, but I, I wouldn't really even consider it one. So, like, no. all those kind of people are big, but I'm trying to think of, like, the top, top dogs. Yeah. Because here's know. the thing. Do you think Joe Rogan would have gotten Putin on the podcast? No. He wouldn't have? No. Or do you think he would have gone to, but there's, there's no way. There's would. no way, dude. Joe Rogan will get a slap on the hand if he does that. Yeah, he's too tight in, oh, like, the left. Bro, yeah, you, you got to be careful once you start doing shit like that. Yeah. You yeah. really got to be careful, he's bro. too big. That's true. That's yeah. true. Um, I was gonna ask y'all, what do y'all think about like Bradley Martin? Is he pretty big or? I know who he is. Who oh. is that guy? He's a he's fit. like a swole guy. He's like he's a little feminine. When you say cut. Josh, he was uh he who was he with? Was he with uh, Zip the Six or the what's that one guy? Arvin. You know Arvin? I don't. So, so Arvin was he's this guy. Okay, so I'm gonna this is again showing my age. I would say 2016, 2017, back fitness. Took off as like a big Instagram thing. It was a scene. Damn right. A scene. And Arvin was, I gotta find the name of the thing, but it was him. And then he had like Joey Swole, uh, which is another guy who's like in the fitness world. Shout Dev- out Joey Flix. Devin Physique, uh, which is another guy. And I think they had Bradley too, unless he was doing his own thing. I think Bradley was doing his own thing. But, anyways, they all kind of interconnect at some, some form or fashion. I'm sure like a convention or whatever. But Bradley was like really charismatic. You know, and in fact, a lot of the influencers are like in the fitness world, dude, they're just fucking uh, like the top guys um, are just who was the other one that I'm thinking of? Um, 
Man, you're on your own right now. I'm sorry, brother. Well, no, because it, yeah, God, I forgot the gentleman's name. But there's people in there in the fitness world, like they have their own platforms and they have their own fan base. The problem with Arvin was he had a, I got to figure out the name of it. Were you when talking it, about like recently or are you talking about old shit still? 2017. Anyways, the company came out. It was a supplement company. The stuff came out to be fake. The The products were fake. Wow. And then on top of that, Devin Physique, who was another one of the guys, like the top people, mm. was altering their pictures with Adobe Photoshop. Mm. Wow. And it cracked, How lame is that? Uh, bro, it cracked a lot of skulls. Like, if people were like, dude, I fucking worked out because it was almost like a liver king situation, but like. To even, the next to level. To the next level. Because yeah. at least with fit, um, the liver king guy, he was working out. I mean, you yeah. can't. Oh, get, dude, he was killing it. He was killing it. You have just, to be. You can't take just, steroids and just get bigger. Had he been transparent before? I think if you would have been just been transparent without the 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 whole holistic like natural type shit, I think you would have gotten still at that platform. Man, I, that's a hard one to say, but I feel like no matter what, he was getting like a certain push. Or like, dude, no, I, the media. Who's that, who's that new guy, Sam? Uh, Sam, Sam Solik. I'm glad you brought that up too, man. He's getting a huge push right now. Sam, you know why, right? Uh, well, I mean, he's fit as fuck, and then on top. Well, of obviously, but I would say one of the main reasons is because uh, Rich Piona recently passed away. I don't know if y'all Rich, knew him. Rich, Logan definitely did. Rich Piana uh, was the one percent guy. Uh, the five percent. Five percent. Yeah, but the main reason is, I mean, Sam Sulek brings up a lot of the same topics and mm -hmm. almost kind of like acts like Rich Piona. So, so it's almost like he kind of like replaced it, and like kind of went in his shoes. So Rich was another guy from back in the day. Right. He had his own thing. You had them. I think you had the strength cartel out there as well. Um, but uh, Rich was like a real dude. This guy was like you. You had to follow this guy, right? And I remember this one time, this one dude was, like, telling people to go, like, raid his house. Or he was trying to get the SWAT to go SWAT him. And and Rich just fucking, like, the guy came to his conv the convention and met Rich and goes, hey, you're the guy that's been calling, like. And he slapped him, right? You remember that? Yeah. And so, but with Sam, I think Sam has been open about doing shit, right? Or is he not? Um, He's never. He just, he doesn't really advertise it. He's juicy as fuck. Like, he, he doesn't got, say that he's not on it, he's, though. You can see it, though. Of course you can. He's what do you got, mean? Like, he's got acne on his back, like the traditional. Dude, he's signs. the definition of juice. Yeah, but he, I mean, the dude eats like a monster. He yeah. works out even harder. But you see the things that he eats, right? Yeah. It's like just, motherfucker can eat donuts all day and just get huge. Straight shit. But now what, what's gonna happen if me and Josh eat donuts all day? Yeah. I'm gonna get a fucking. I'm gonna get fatter than I am now. Even if I worked out, like it would still look bad. Yeah, but it wouldn't this, be a good look. This. It, this I would put it to you this way. What we're seeing right now, in my opinion, is an evolution of what was 2017. Uh, like, it's taking it to the next level. Because before it was like, before it was all like, man, I'm trying to look good and this and that. Now it's like, I'm trying to look fucking swole. I'm trying to look huge, like a beast. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like I said, the, this, uh, the, I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, you know, with the, the power of social media and, you know, the influencers that are out there, I mean, they all have their own their own like you said earlier was a tosh.0 oh, all these guys they have yep. they're, they're building their platforms so now. many different platforms so same thing with brad he's got his own uh his own podcast of course yeah but he lets that girl come on there and i don't know now do you know who it is or do you not know who it is because i thought earlier you were asking who he wears that like he wears that big cat like trucker hat and i don't he's, like pretty no. jacked mm. does he wear a trucker hat josh he doesn't wear a trucker hat the ones that i saw he was wearing like bradley like martin bradley martin yeah. Maybe it's not the same guy. I don't yeah. think you're talking about the same guy. This guy's like more of like, what would you say, Josh? Like a real bro, like oh for sure, like a gym bro. He's almost like a frat boy that, that exactly just works out. No, yeah, yeah. He, um, I mean, overall, he's pretty cool. Pretty I don't good. have any problem with him. I don't have any problem with him. In fact, most of the people that we talk, even the people that I was talking shit no, about, yeah, that's him. Is it? Oh yeah, that's the guy you were talking about. He has the podcast now, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not like in love but with him. A lot of his skits though involve chicks. Like he'll be like bench pressing. Yeah, no, he has that chick. Oh yeah, on his podcast. Hey, I mean, I'm, I'm. Bro, I, like, I like chicks. When you're I'm working, not gay. Hey, when you're working out, bro, do your thing. But anything. I'm not down for compromising what you stand on for chicks. So yeah, what did he compromise on? I'm, I mean, I'm not saying he's compromising, but I just feel like he's not being the pure, unfiltered, raw man that he should be. But what if what he's if a little blue, blue too blue pilly for me? But what if naturally he's just like not the raw man? What if because like disappointing? I mean. Yeah, I think I think something saying, I think you something that you got to realize is like so when it comes to like me you and Duncan we're pretty manly we're pretty masculine not everyone's gonna be masculine I know I'm just pushing people to be better and I love that That's about you yeah. but you know 
I feel like if Bradley's like a little bit more feminine, just naturally, it's like yeah. just let him be who he is. Like it don't like matter. Hey, hey, I can beast hey. and you you just like I can tell you this much though right now though, even as feminine as feminine as he is there, he's smashing some of the finest shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, look. Yeah. I can't hate on that. Yeah. I, I mean you know. if it if that's if it works, it works. You know what I mean? Some chicks yeah. they, they they don't mind it. They hey Bro, not I mean, if everyone was was as masculine as me, I mean I, I wouldn't be where I am today. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, everybody. Shout has, out Belly Martin. Yeah, yeah, and Joe Rogan. <laughs> Hell yeah, and, uh, Hey, cheers to that. Hey, twenty fifty mil, bro. What? You didn't hear? That's the that's the that's. No, nah, I'm just saying like yeah. what? Yeah, like yeah, two hundred fifty yeah. mil. Yeah, that's that's a. Yeah. I'll take a small percentage of that and I'll Dude, run can away. You imagine his his. He's agent? still a little cucky though, Joe Rogan. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not gonna argue For with that. Politics, I can see that. Anyway, um. I guess I've thought of a question we I kind of want to ask before we jump into everything else. Is there any like that you can think of like plumbing horror stories or like crazy shit you've seen or like? Oh, shit. Um, what's the worst one? Yeah, like, I guess you, you. I mean, I guess you could specify a little bit. Are you talking about like more like online videos? You're talking about like personally. personally like one yeah. thing we saw. I don't know if I want to spill the beans, but I guess fuck it. Uh, we were doing a little project, and AE came out to hook up. <laughs> the the power from the city <laughs> Austin Energy the city supply side to our um, basically we have a what is called a service uh, distribution enclosure which is where the city power comes into a big box basically and it hits uh, what are called distribution blocks which as it sounds the wire comes in hits these blocks and then goes off to a bunch of individual meters for individual housing for you know uh, anyway when AE came in to hook up all this all this up power city power all to the, these different meters they hooked up one of the hot legs to the ground and i'm i'm sure <laughs> most like people that? are somewhat familiar with electrical when you see a plug there's hot neutral and then the ground at the bottom and ground that's where you're wrong logan because people are dumbasses let me explain it out to you <laughs> plain and simple the ground is the big the big the biggest safety feature in electrical uh, and, everybody and, everybody should know that but that's almost every piece of equipment if not every piece of equipment is grounded and that is the main thing that keeps you from getting shocked etc and keeps things lights from flickering and stuff like that mostly keeps you from getting shocked that is that ground is eventually supposed to be all tied back together at some point actually touching the literal earth ground so that if electricity gets to touching any of that ground wire it runs back to that point and hits the ground and discharges so that it doesn't go through you it goes through the ground and you're not shocked long story short that is not ever supposed to become live which it was hell no nah. which means stuff that was uh, metal stuff that is exposed a lot of times behind closed doors where people can't see it is attached to the ground and if it's if it's a piece of metal and the ground is supposed to discharge the electricity to be safe, you think it's fine for this exposed piece of metal to be grounded because it needs to be discharged and therefore safe. If that exposed piece of metal that you can touch, however, is live, that's what happened. And basically could have killed somebody damn near. And yeah. uh, we're very lucky that all it did was blow and uh, basically total and damage Quite a few, maybe twenty or forty breakers, yeah. but uh, that could have burned us. <laughs> it could have, it could have blown up a meter. Man. It could have killed somebody. Yeah. It could have seriously damaged a lot of things. Yeah, and so we're just very lucky. You know, that's that's crazy that you I, very I, rarely like, see. Shout out to AE, man. They got me li buying life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have it before after this. I'm like, I bet you have it out, motherfucker. Five hundred thousand. I mean, there's only three or four wires down in that box that got to hook up. So I mean, come they, on, bro. There's four wires, and you're talking about people's lives. You only had one job. <laughs> What about like a big log of shit? Just oh. seeing those. <laughs> speaking of a big log of shit, so like, I mean, you're a plumber, dude. You're gonna see some shit. Yeah. Literally. So th the other day, I was actually I pulled up to this call, and they were like, "Everything's good with it." They were like, "The outside lines cast iron. Everything's good. We just want to run a camera, <laughs> bro." As soon as I popped that clean out lid to access it, bro, there was shit just piled up there, <laughs> and I'm like, "Bro, you expect me to like go with the camera in that?" Yeah. I'm like, first we have to run the sewer machine." get you up and working and then we have to run the camera so we can actually get like a visual inspection yeah bro i was running this sewer machine <laughs> shit was like coming after me bro that shit was like splashing and i'm like i'm like running the machine with the customer watching me i'm like ducking doing and the shit. matrix just yeah <laughs> and meanwhile i'm on commission so i'm like trying to finish it as fast as i can yeah and just dude it's not working do you, do you get used to it though i mean like if a shit touches you do you just say fuck it at that point or 
Absolutely. You know, I mean, you still got to feel like, or are you still like, ooh. Absolutely not, dude. No. You're never going to get used to shit. <laughs> You probably got extra clothes in the car and shit like but that. But you know? your yeah. immune system will be through the roof. <laughs> oh, like, like the amount of times that I get sick. Yeah. yeah I probably don't even... was like, oh, you know what? We're, just, we're gonna skip this guy. He's already... <laughs> we can't do shit to this guy. You want to know something about plumbers? What's that? If you don't smoke before that, you start smoking. <laughs> you become a plumber. Yeah. You better be smoking <laughs> something. Shit, man. Yeah. You if you're not that... smoking something, you might be a psychopath. <laughs> you get down to that ditch. <laughs> Uh, Bro, I can't, man. Like I said, I, I I really thought about going into plumbing, dude. And I feel like if I felt like a, a fecal flake just fucking oh. hit me right here, bro. Oh yeah. So to finish that story. <laughs> oh no. So to finish, I got an eye splash. No. While the customer was watching me, yeah. And it's like, so sometimes it's backed up. They'll be like kind of clearish, a little murky. No, that motherfucker was brown, bro. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that, Josh? Bro. <laughs> You got contacts. Oh, you got a dude, my protection. contact. I would have threw that bitch out. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would have drove home with one eye like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh, why do you have that eye patch on? <laughs> 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 I lost it. Over at St. John's. I was at St. John's. <laughs> I was a cracking fucking. <laughs> he don't even. He don't even smoke. He's like smoking a cigarette <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> Fucking that! I'm doing math, dude. Get home, dude. Uh, Do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, like I said, dude, I wouldn't know how to handle it, dude. Like, like there's certain things that when some, like I've had incidences where people like talk and I can feel like one of their little spits hit me or, or like, <laughs> the way he did it. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's, you know what I mean? It's like an angry bird. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to make it awkward, so you yeah. just like. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes, dude, you get dangerous, and they know that they did it, and you're like this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Do it um, again. Yeah, right. But dude, shit, bro. If shit hit me, dude, I would. Dude, just lick it off, bro. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dude, there was this one video. This guy who was cleaning out some sewer. And he had like a hand puppet that he took with him. I don't know if you ever seen it. Oh. And he took it, and then he would the hand puppet like he would scoop in the poop and just sit there while he was recording the video. That's weird. It was like, Ooh, I, I saw that one. I skipped it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Good shit. Um. So let's see. I think we. Yeah, we can go ahead and. I guess we can give the the audience a little background on this video. Okay. Do you know kind of... So, Turkey Leg Hut is one of the biggest, like... This is Houston? This is Houston, Texas. This is specifically in Third Ward, Houston. Um, this place, probably, I would say after COVID, was popping. All the top rappers would come out here. Like, this became a, a hot spot for people just to come out and act the fool. Or not act the fool, but, like, you know, go out there and, and eat some food. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have, like, the, a badass menu. Like, just, this is almost world-renowned, I would put it to this point. Really? But, this, but this specific one? This specific one. There's only one. There's, there's only one. There's okay. only one. This is the one. And they even got to the point where, I mean, people were, like, twerking on couches. Like, it, it was just... It, it's Outside of this place? Inside. Inside, like this, this place was just like. How big is this turkey hut? Not that big. I have, I've, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure, and I haven't gone to this place because every time I'm in Houston, we're on the other side of town. But excuse me, um, this place, turkey hut, turkey leg hut, like I said, um, Slim Thug, uh, all the rappers would come out here. Even some celebrities would come out and check it out. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those spots it's that just, you got to check out. Yeah. And as of recently, they've been under a lot of scrutiny. Um, for so it's a couple. They're a married couple that own this business, hmm. and they've had their. They have a fate like an Instagram account, and lately a lot of people have been like, uh, I think there was I don't know if Infidelity was in a play or something like that, but something happened with this couple where the wife got on that account and was just like, you know, he she made some allegations that throwing dirt on his name, throwing dirt and stuff like that. Then come to find out that this company was not paying their employees either. Like mm. they've been mismanaging money like terribly. So all the all the all the um, what is that called when shit hit the fan? I guess there's yeah. other words to say it, but somebody lifted the rug up and there's yeah. a bunch of dirt under the carpet. <laughs> hey, <laughs> somebody's been kicking under the fridge a little too long. Yeah. Tristan, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> my my thing is this: like, listen, like if there's a business and there's like some like if a couple is going through some shit. Don't put it out there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's their own little business. Like, well, she put it out there, right? She put it out there, not he. Dude, that is like 
The, he didn't put it that's out the there. sloppiest thing you can do is start putting your relationship shit on the internet. Especially if it's a kidding? business. If it's going to interfere with business. That's even worse. And that was just a starting point. That was just it's, a starting it's point. It's going to get out anyway. There was a local restaurant in Lockhart where that happened mm -hmm. and it closed down and everyone pretty much got out in the community that there was like some. Infidelity. Oh, was that the homemade gravy incident? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Josh is like, tell me more. <laughs> in my eye. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is going on with a popular restaurant? A lot of turmoil is being played out in public. Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska live in the third ward outside the Turkey Leg Hut where a co-founder has been fired, staff laid off, and paychecks are missing. Tom. Rashi, a lot of moving pieces here. The Turkey Leg Hut made a splash when it was founded in 25, 2015 by husband and wife team Lynn Price and Nakia Holmes. Last year they were... I'm surprised it's only like like nine or ten years old i thought it was like gonna be no and it, so this so there's some spots in houston that are like older obviously like Burns yeah, yeah. barbecue but that's on the north side this right here is more on the south end of town okay the other issue with this uh, so this place has got a lot of notoriety uh -huh. another one is across the street i think on this side is some uh like a gentrified like buildings like you know like um like they tore down the old buildings and uh -huh. they made like new custom homes and stuff like that. Yeah. The people that moved in were complaining about them. They were saying, "Oh, well, the smoke from the from the barbecue is going into our house." And Where's the, the smoke? Yeah, right. Hey, oh, where there's smoke, my bad. Hey, there you go. And then the music that they were playing, they were like, you know, we just it, we cannot like there. This place has been. Let's put it this way: this place has been known for a lot of things, but this one is the most recent as of now. Huh. Headlines about the couple's separation while they continue to operation operate the business together until yesterday. From its There's home the on Alameda right there. Road, the Turkey Leg Hut lunch crowd is not the long wait that the popular restaurant can be known for, but as diners enjoy a nice day on the patio, all is not well at the restaurant. Co-founder Lynn Price good? posted on Instagram a now deleted copy. Is of this them? Yeah of an email from a management consultant they gave him his walking papers from the company reading your employment with the turkey leg hut is being terminated effective immediately it reads the firing is just one of several personnel changes at the company Positive citing a fine and before i would say after covid was lifted and they were like up and popping uh-huh this whole place was packed right this whole place like you couldn't even squeeze into this hallway because well things go through fads and stuff yeah but i'm saying like this was not like one of those fads. Like this was supposed to be like that place that was always like booming. You know what I mean? Well, like, had a fad for a couple of years, and then it just kind of. But COVID really did affect a lot of this stuff. Yeah, COVID did. But what I'm, I guess, what I'm getting at is like this was not this was not like an everyday scene right here, right. even before then. Used to be so like right now, this is like it's not looking good for this company. Yeah. Financial review after the discovery of potential mismanagement. The Turkey Leg Hut owner Nakia Holmes says in a statement to Fox 26, unfortunately, we quickly uncovered financial discrepancies that demanded immediate action. That action included two firings, six people laid off, and what she insists is a two-week payroll delay. But an employee who does not want to show his face says he's gone more than six weeks without a paycheck, owed more than a thousand dollars. You really want to see somebody quit? I'd be gone six <laughs> weeks. Really? Are you that desperate? Be a pay delay. That's bro. like when your chick tells you no more sex, bro. Bro, I'm uh, gone. Bro. See ya. Six? Can you? What is that? Almost. That's almost a like a month and a half. Yeah. That's crazy. You've got to be that kidding me. Nice. That's a joke. Kind on bills like rent, light bill, water bill, just. It's becoming a hassle trying to get what's owed to you. You should not. My, my girl, my girl has the OnlyFans now. Yeah. <laughs> go, go back real quick. That guy's hand. Pause it. But he was he retarded, hand, really. Bro, if if I was a business owner and I looked at that hand, I'd be like, I know who the fuck that is. That is, <laughs> you know, <laughs> shit. Like if you're trying to be discreet, like, oh yeah, they they're not gonna I look at that. Bills, like rent, bro. Rent. Like you're like George. What the <laughs> fuck were you doing on, yeah. on the news? <laughs> I, bro, bro that's, that's such a strong hand. That's a pale on the money yeah, bro, I know who you are. <laughs> you look like an alien. Like his face is weird. Like a chicken <laughs> hand. <laughs> that's like me to showing my big toe on camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mixed, I mixed the potato myself. Complaints to the Department of Labor. There are. That's too good. It's just it's becoming a hassle trying to get what's owed to you. 
you should. You know, not. I don't want the hassle. Yeah. Hey, I know your voice too, bitch. I know who that is. <laughs> you didn't even distort it. No you didn't even try it. No, dude. I know where your bitch, mom that's lives. You, dude. That's your hand. That's your voice. You're fired. Oh wait, we didn't pay you six weeks ago. My bad. That's you, Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah. Right. Thank you for your service. Now get the There's the door, out. bitch. <laughs> Thank you for your service. I'm done. <laughs> Regardless of the amount, Fox 26 legal um, analyst yeah, that's Chris Tritico says affected right there. employees have a strong argument to get their money if the employer. And why was this such feet. like a big deal? Well, just it's a pretty prominent little. It's, it's a very like it's a, a well-known spot. It's it's kind of like if Franklin's fucked over a lot of employees. You know what I mean? Like Franklin's here in Austin. Yeah, yeah. It's like one of those hot spots that people just know about in Houston. Like I said, you go over there. That's it's like an iconic place almost, exactly. right? Exactly. And now that you're finding, like you said, you you pull the curtain and you're like. Mm, this place is not yeah. Really, yeah, that's kind of one of the situations right now. I've never been there, and I'm kind of sad that I didn't check it out before. before yeah. But after after knowing that, I, I can't support that business. So <laughs> that's just me. I mean, I'm not gonna go eat there, bro. Six weeks, bro. Six weeks. That's eating. crazy. I don't want people giving me shitty service because I haven't been paid in six weeks. <laughs> oh, no, shit. not by not by Courtney with a little fucking pale hand. You think I'm gonna get you a <laughs> refill? I haven't been paid in six weeks. Dude, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Go get your own shit. Bro. I'm spitting in that <laughs> shit. <laughs> you better still tip me. Oh damn. Okay, what's uh? This is a thing with In and Out. Yeah. What's, what's the? So In and Out. Uh, I've. I'll be honest with you. Before I met Logan, I think I've only had In and Out twice my whole life. Uh, I never had it before we started working at the company we work at. Really? Yeah. Really? Well, I thought you were there all the time. No. Oh uh, well, we. Every time me and Logan grab lunch, if there's one near, like within a mile radius, yeah. we're gonna hit it up. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I'm not either. I, in fact, I he actually showed me the light because before I was a Whataburger fanatic, but then I, he he showed me it. Have you tried Shortstop? Yes, I love Shortstop. Do you like it better than In and Out? <laughs> yes and no. I say yes in the sense that the food is really good. No, because there's not enough uh, locations. They have them like sporadic. Okay. Through the town, so you really. I can get with that. I can. I can agree with that. Yeah. But um, but this In and Out, In and Out has never closed in its history of seventy five years has never closed a location ever. Mm. Oh, and then they closed one. I heard. A, I was hearing a little bit about this. This okay. is it right here. So, <sighs> this okay. kind of caught my eye. Not a good look after that good reputation. <laughs> well, give us some story. So like West Coast okay. trips is taking a flight to, let's say, SFO, and getting in a car and going straight to In and Out Burger, double double protein style, animal fries, lemonade, perfection. Welcome back to Cali for yours truly. However, if you want to do so on your way to Oakland, keep in mind that for the first time ever, In and Out Burger is closing its only location in Oakland, California. And if you're wondering why are they doing that? The company itself says it's because of ongoing issues with crime, and it's also making this even more significant. While several locations have been relocated for In-N-Out Burger, the company has never closed the location in its 75-year history. That is until now, Oakland 2024. Speaking in regards to the closing chief operating officer, Denny Warnick, said in a statement on Tuesday, in quotes, we feel the frequency and severity of the crimes being encountered by our customers and associates leave us no alternative. Now, the location near Oakland International Airport, which has been open for almost two decades, Can will officially it close its doors on March. Does this asshole look like me with hair, or am I just tripping? <laughs> this guy? <laughs> yeah. I, nah, dude, fuck him. Nah. His, uh... I, he, I, I don't know, man. I'm looking at him. Dude, that's like... a weak ass beard. What you mean? <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck that guy. He's ugly as fuck. <laughs> Thanks, man. I feel so much better. Anyway. You look cutie sitting over there. Oh, you better stop. You need to stop. <laughs> so here's the thing. So, like I mentioned before, Shortstop has locations that are kind of sporadic. In and out, they have locations that are pretty it's you more know, convenient. It's more convenient and Generally, the location is okay. However, there's one spot that me and Logan always frequent, and I don't know if you're familiar with Airport Boulevard in uh, Austin. Over there on the, the fucking east side, right? Y yeah, I mean, this is more central, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's central. It's central, central. like east central? Uh, no, just central. It's, central. Kind of, it's kind of north of downtown, like off 35. Okay. And um, when we get there... Shit, there was that uh, time that me and Austin uh, almost got into it with the homeless oh, guy. The homeless people out of control over there. So uh, here's, just... here's the thing. So this location shut down, not because business was bad. In fact, this was, they said this was one of their best. It's right around where 35 and 183 meet. 
Like just south of that. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's more. Yeah, like you were saying, more north. Yeah, it's kind of north, north central. central. I mean, if you're already meeting 183, you're like kind of up, like yeah. getting up there. But this is in the heart of Austin, I would the say. Okay, bit. I got you. Yeah. But um, but the location that me and Logan go. Are there to, railroad tracks uh, right over there? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly where you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, so that spot when we go to it. There's a security guard that's out there sometimes. <laughs> yeah, most and of he time. doesn't give a fuck about his job either. By the way, yeah, I'll put it this way: it, he's homeless too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but the time that we went, uh, there was an incident where me and one of our coworker went and confronted a homeless guy that was uh, he was scoping out one of the uh, work trucks, mm. and we confronted him, and obviously he was delusional, or he was on drugs, or he was he was on something, and. That was like my first inclination. Like, okay, like I like In and Out, but there's some like you have to be a little bit. You have to keep your head on a swivel in those areas. Mm. This is Oakland. Oakland is not Austin at all. It's a bigger city, I would assume. Than there's well, a lot more homeless people though. A lot there. more homeless. Here's the thing, California. Have anybody personally? I know Logan hasn't, but have you personally like been to Oakland or not? Not Oakland. Okay, but it but it is like bigger than Austin. I would assume so. Is I'm, it more ghetto? Well, that's though? why. That's why where San Francisco is. So it's okay. Like you, I looked it up just now. They're like, this is the only in and out in Oakland. It's like, yeah, in Oakland, but there's one five minutes up the interstate this way and five minutes the interstate this way. So it's That's right. like saying Converse versus San Antonio. Exactly. Right. It's shit. the only right. in and out in Converse. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, there's other in and outs five minutes down the road. Don't play yeah. with me. But here's yeah. the thing, though. It's gotten so bad. Okay. And again, they said that the sales for, for this specific location was meeting expectations. Okay. Everything was great. Right. The only thing was that the, there was uh, violence against the customers and the workers there. Bro, I That's mean... That's not too inviting. I, no. I mean, how bad does it got to be for those folks to wake up and be like, you know what? Maybe we should do some shit. California's fucked, and we're going to speak on this a little later with a little video clip. Yeah. Well, a long one. We'll see how much we get to of it. But, like, California, pretty much mm. since COVID, or maybe even a little... It was before, but that really... Uh, shown, shine, shown, shine a lot on it. Yeah. They're like, their policies are just in the trash times a million. Do you like, think if Austin was to experience this, like, uh, to the point where they had to consider closing down In and Out, do you think it would have tightened the grip on it? Or do you think it'd be like. I think that would force us to come together. You think? We're like in California, they're still split. Uh, in Austin, I think people would say, okay, fuck this. Let's get together and. <laughs> Yeah, you're not taking you know, taking away our in and out. Yeah. <laughs> we don't think there's like a driving force that's just trying to make Austin basically like California. And so many of the people are coming from California to Austin. It's like y'all really don't like. Yeah, think but that's... I think a lot of those people have been. I could be wrong, but a lot of those people that are coming from L.A. to Texas yeah. have been vocal that we don't want to change it, and please don't like. Especially... And and there's a certain reason why they're coming to Texas. It's like if, yeah. if they wanted it to be exactly like California, it's like well, don't that's leave. where you live originally. Like I've heard right. Tony you know? right. and all his little pets on Kill Tony that have come over here. They've all said, "Please do not fucking change this place. Yeah, we're coming here. We love it here. There's a reason we left L.A. We're don't fucking come here and ruin it for us. That's we, a good point. We realize." So I have seen people saying that, which I like, of course. So like, yeah. Hopefully, other people will like listen to them and. Yeah, that's like, funny like that you said that. You know? I actually did a, a plumbing call for a guy the other day, and um, I was like, "Where are you from, bro?" Just like small talk. He was like really young, but he owned like a really new house. Yeah. And I was like, "Where are you from?" And he's like, "Bro, I'm sorry." He's like, <laughs> no, no, literally, he yeah. was like, he was like, "I apologize." He was like, "I'm one of those guys," and I was like. You're from California, aren't you? you, you yeah. You little motherfucker. I was like, I was like, you bitch, you, you bitch. And he was like, yo, no, I am. And he's like, but I, I don't represent that. He's like, it's not what I want. And there's a reason I came over here. So yeah, just kind of to back up Logan's. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope with you, Logan. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, like I said, you know, if these, you, like, you know, what is going to end up happening? What is going to need to take for these people to really make a change is if like all these violent acts and all these things that are happening actually affects the politicians there because right now they're they're sitting in it like never a, does there's so many layers between them that's and the what crime, i'm saying you know? and, until it hits them then it's not going to then because they have security and we're, the the general public is like a buffer for exactly the, the, exactly so. but man r.i.p that in and out because i'm sure those people are going to miss those burgers yeah they won't, uh, there's one within five or ten minutes for them how so. like how well are you going to be able to slap a burger together if someone's trying to kill you yeah i mean it's yeah. probably best that it shut down you know who's going to affect even more though those criminals out there because now they're not going to be able to hit that lick that they was that free in and out <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what it was it was Crazy. just bullies that were over there give me your lunch money fucking mcfly <laughs> i think we this is hard to say, but it's one of those things like if California starts failing as a state, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, there's like no accountability for anything. It's like if you're a, 
I don't know. It's it's all up Cal- to California's like, too Hollywood. It's not gonna fail. Like, I've heard of police you chiefs and like though. mayors and stuff. Like I was a mayor in this city, and then I moved across country, and like I'm a mayor in this city. Or I was a police chief in this town. It's like if you're somebody. I guess there's no laws that could be interacted, but I would just say like if you're anywhere in politics or government anywhere, yeah, city councilmen, uh, sheriffs, uh, mayors, any of that kind of shit. If someone moves to California to your neck of the woods mm-hmm. and they want to get involved in politics or local government or any of that kind of shit, and they're from California, you need to ask them what was your track record, what was your county like? Yeah, do you want that kind of person? Like, I'm not saying they're a bad person, but do you want them to be influencing policy? Right. I mean, let, let's hold these people accountable. Let's not let them ruin their fucking state and then run to our states and ruin our fucking states. Right. So that's one thing to think about. I always hear everyone, when I talk about politics, they're like, they have, they can say, you can say whatever about voting nationally, but if you vote locally, people tend to, I don't know, but people tend to think voting locally, you can hold people accountable because it's. You can keep an eye on them, and it's it's in your backyard, so to speak. Right. So that's what I would say. If you're in politics locally, and someone moves from L.A. or California in general, be like, "Am I so eager to have this person?" I mean, be in I'll, an office in my area. Yeah. I would also argue that if someone moves away and they're not really known locally, I would say it's gonna, they're gonna have to put in twice as much work just for you to even like recognize them. Uh, well, Josh, they already have recognition from running p- political office right, he, before. Or something. But, but, but they use that credential. The problem is then that person gets that new kid in class effect. Yeah. You know what I mean? That new kid that comes like that new class. attention. But you yeah. hear about a police okay. chief or somebody that that has a red mark on their thing, or they don't enforce the whatever they're supposed to do. Right. Uh, like, say one of their guys on the beat does something, and they don't discipline it right, so then they get fired as the chief. They'll just go to another. If they're the chief in Atlanta, they'll just go to Chicago or L.A. and become mm-hmm. the police chief there. That's what I'm talking but about. But a lot of people yeah. want to, like, even as far as, like, plumbing goes, a lot of people want to hire the local company. So I feel like coming in as an outcast, it's going to be that much harder. Yeah. But, I mean, see. as far as politics goes, you could definitely be right because I am not up to date on politics. I don't know how it works, but I'm just saying mm. we should think about that when we... I'm sure there's some science behind it. Yeah. There really is. Because all it takes is just, like, hey, look at this fucking, like, you know, I, I, you know I'm new in town, but I want to make it the city better. And people right. are like, oh, well, we've had this old Joe here, and yeah. he ain't really done shit. What, what can what you do? Him? Yeah. Yep. That is a good point, too. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to finish this out? Or no, I mean, that's kind of, of it. You okay. know, you said uh, they're in That's like an uglier Josh. Fuck him. <laughs> We're yeah. done with that motherfucker. Like loser. Out of here. Yeah. Weak See ass ya. Beard. Okay. Weak ass beard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give any context to this one? Or just- yeah, this right here is just kind of going back uh, like Axe body spray. Well, I don't know about y'all, but like from when I was in, I would say even middle school to when I was through high school, every gym... Every like uh like boys locker oh, dude just reeked of ass. You were in the athletics, were you? Oh, I was. Dude. What you, what sports did you play? I played football, uh, soccer, and I mean I didn't do any like like weightlifting, but I was definitely like in the mix. But I was in there. And it's weird how Axe got such a big push. So like you're right. Like so even people that have like rich parents and shit were like holding Axe. So here's the thing. So I was in middle school, two thousand about two thousand. Axe had just came out. Okay. You got to remember, my generation, and I say my because I'm older than y'all, because I'm not much older, but I'm old enough to where when Pokemon first came out, I remember the the glitz behind it. The same thing with Axe. Yeah. Axe was such a big part of, like, young men's life. Yeah. Like, it was one of those things where if you didn't have it, you were just kind of like, can I borrow yours? And didn't, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And so when Axe came out, dude, they had commercials, like all this shit targeted to teenage oh, yeah. boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it was one of those things where it it, it created like a, a wave. It was like part of the culture. It was. Yeah. It was it was next it was just about as yeah. big as like um like uh Axe was almost like the fucking generic deodorant, like standby. Yeah, it was one of those things and what I the, the thing is is like Axe was you could I I specifically remember in high school you would smell it before you even got to the locker room. You know what I mean? Oh, you dude. You would get to like... Dude, all you smell is ass and axe. <laughs> I, I don't miss those days. Bro, I, I don't. Would, you would get past the cafeteria. I can just see it now. Past the cafeteria, you'd smell like the Tyson chicken patty sandwich and then that man ass with fucking axe dripping all over it. You'd dude, be like, yeah, bro. How terrible is that? I, I remember that. But long story made short, this kind of goes into kind of like axe now declining into becoming oh dude i got a funny story here in a little bit i'll let you finish but yeah i mean right now this is just kind of again for me i was just thinking about acts and and it came into the news as of recently and it's just really signifying like now you know our 
our era is kind of up. Now it's Gen Z's turn to kind of, you know, determine where this is at. And Axe is right now trying to find its footing to get back into the They're struggling into that into that spot. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because right now, the, right, dude, my son, dude, he wears like all kinds of colognes. He, if I give him a bottle of Axe, he'd throw it right back at me. Like he'd be like, dude, get the shit out of my face. Whereas before, when we were kids, we're like, fuck yeah, dude. Let's oh, sh- yeah. Taking a shower in that. Oh, bro. I mean, they had it all. And now I think uh, they have a partnership with baby. Uh, he's mm-hmm. like one of the guys like I've seen his ad on like Walmart like he has like a what do you call them those little cardboard setups and he's, yeah. like, he's doing this and it's like a whole thing so now they're kind of trying to refigure like or reconfigure their yeah who they are rebrand themselves if you will mm-hmm. so anyways this is just kind of going back into it I mean I think about a good minute footage is good enough but it yeah this is one of those uh, videos that kind of talks about it I got a good story to add to this after this video as well. Oh, yeah. I remember being in middle school and people using yeah, Axe probably. after gym class like it was a shower replacement in a can, which it wasn't. It was everywhere. That's pretty accurate too, a shower nostalgia. replacement. It's for teenage boys and adults shouldn't be using it. Kids of that age, not very, men especially, not very good at washing. So of course, putting something on was probably a good idea. What? Men, boys, you say men are very good at washing. <laughs> it's like, Bro. what? I'm Just talking. shut the fuck up, you <laughs> fucking piece of dry skin. <laughs> wow. All these digs in men, men just aren't very good at washing. Shut <laughs> the fuck. That's probably the cleanest we've ever been as a <laughs> sex and... You think they were washing back in the day when they didn't have hot water uh, all the time, as clean as we are now? Men just these days just aren't very good at washing. <laughs> A like, piece of dry skin, <laughs> <laughs> jerky. <laughs> I did it. Considering how how little time uh, they spent in the shower. You think it's a shower? Axe arrived in the U.S. in 2002, and within a decade, its parent company, Unilever, had sold about $500 million worth of Axe products, mostly by winning over the American teenage boy. When I hear the brand name Axe, my initial thoughts are probably one of the five most successful. Legend has it that guy who shoved the controller up his ass was on, had Axe body spray on. You remember that video? Oh, dude. Dude, that's some, one of the epic videos I've ever seen on YouTube. Dude, that's you know sad. why they did that, right? Why did he do that? Because they took away his League of Legends account. That's the reason. Was that, the, seen... was that the guy that was like my old password? No. This that guy was... was so I remember the video, though, when he tries to shove the controller. This video is like the room. It's just... a. This his brother I think is the one that sets up the camera in his room. Of course, and he runs away, yeah. and then his brother just busts in the room, like fucking freaking out, <laughs> and then he just he just he just spazzes out, and then he grabs his remote controller. And he That's like, what the demons told him to do, right? <laughs> and he, he shoves it in his ass. He just let all the demons <laughs> wow. in. He was possessed, but it was basically because yeah, yeah I'm sure he used Axe too. Uh, not my recipe for a fun <laughs> night, but I mean, if that suits you. <laughs> some people have different cravings, you know what I mean? Mine's chocolate milk, but. <laughs> yeah, some people like shoving remotes in their ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve Aoki. Did you ever use the deodorant? Uh, I feel like once or twice I tried it, but once it was twice, the yeah. problem with the deodorant, and I think it's like this with other ones, is that so I mean again me trying to be like holistic or whatever, I try to use the natural deodorants because mm. those ones you can Have put you them on. A difference? Well, yes, because the ones that I would put on they don't last long, right? The natural deodorants, dude, you smell like asshole in like ten minutes. These ones, they they you smell oh, good. They, they, yeah. yeah, these ones smell good. The only problem is, is like one, they're cancerous as fuck. They last have, too long, almost right. Dude, I will shower and you gotta not, scrub that bitch. It will, even then, it will not come out, bro. Well, I haven't come off, but you gotta you gotta dude, pay some attention. It's to it. it's more than I would it's like. It's a to, little sus. Right? I feel like I'm putting yeah. gorilla glue in my fucking no. armpit, and then when I wash it, I could go. I'm like, dude, I still smell this shit, and it still feels sticky. Yeah. Like you don't fully get all. So the I've heard off. that you're supposed to put on like the anti. What is it called? Print. Print. Yeah, but you're not supposed to put like oh no, so you're not supposed to put that on, but you're supposed to put like the deodorant, deodorant. on. Yeah, the, yeah, the antiperspirant thing is what it is. That's what clogs up your sweat glands. Have you ever had a pimple there? No, dude, thank God I haven't, bro. I don't use deodorant. Oh well, I use deodorant and look at this old oh, smelly and, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'd rather that. I'd rather that than what I had. If I no, use dude. deodorant, I get. <laughs> Fucking lame I still get the axe. Yeah. But I, and I get the spray and I get. The, Shout out, Logan. Is, is all axe like, uh, was it always uh, deodorant and 
cologne together. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I get. I get yes. the old school fucking axe. Yeah. And I'll spray it because I like with the spray. I feel like it doesn't clog your fucking pores as much. And then when you wash, it gets off. So yeah. I'll put like ksh, ksh, every like twice a year if I feel like I'm going to a nice event and it's like in the summer and I don't want to be just being gross. Yeah. But when I'm going to work, I never put it on. Right. I'm like, I you're gonna on, smell me. Fuck I it. I put like, it on deodorant every day. I know. And I, and I do. Do you and, smell me at work? Do you want to? Sometimes, yeah. In the summer, yeah. In winter. In, in winter too. In, in spring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But here's the bro, thing, bro. Logan, you're a grown man. If you uh, don't but put, here's the thing, fuck. but here's the thing. You're gonna smell. Here's the thing. You don't smell like shit. You smell like hard work. Just there's a difference sweat. between smelling like hard work. You know work. why, right? Why? It's because he's so it's, fucking small. It's diet well, too. Like well, if you yeah. just eat nothing but, here, but here, junk food, you'll thing, smell though. like a fucking dryer. Here's the thing. There's a there's a difference between smelling like hard work and smelling like shit. Ass. Yeah. Yeah. And you smell like hard work, yeah. so that that's the thing. Well, like, I wash every day. It's if yeah. you don't wash and shit, and then you sweat, you smell. Yeah, yeah. So but I wash once a week. Let me live. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing: I put on deodorant. I put yeah. on Old Spice because I'm old like that. Yeah, but Old Spice is the shit. It is, but like I said, dude, I put it on, and the shit, like you said, I can shower for like ten minutes, and I specifically hit these parts okay, cool. because, dude, I feel like I put on putty on my fucking arm. But are you getting the NC perspirant? Yeah. Get I the get to. the deodorant. Try the deodorant. I can't do because I already know. What about know. the spray? It doesn't work, bro. I can't trust sprays. If Logan's stinking, what do you, what do you think he's gonna do? Complain about you? Dude, I look. Here's the thing. He's skinny, and he, so it's it's hard work. How he, much do you weigh? Probably like two twenty. Okay. But like a fat two twenty sweating versus him, I'm gonna smell like fucking asshole. So like for me, I put on deodorant to save everyone around me because I know because I've. Do you remember in high school when you didn't wear deodorant? Did you ever get that first must like? Like you're talking about like if you just like straight up didn't wear it or if you forgot it? Because I didn't ever like straight up not wear oh, it. Oh, I did one time. I did one time. And bro, let me tell you, were this. you trying to have the girl scared of you? Or? Bro, so here's the thing. I think this is when I realized deodorant was an essential part of my life. I went to school one day, and I was like, <laughs> God damn, it fucking stinks in this fucking room. And I was just like. Man, y'all smell like, Do you remember when I told you about the lowest thing? Yeah. This was me in high school. I was like, Man, that fucking smells. Like, I smell like onions. Like, what the fuck is that smell? And then people were like, yeah, it fucking stinks. And then my armpit started warming up. <laughs> okay. Started warming up. Sweating, yeah. And then my friend's like, dude, I think that's you. Bro, I got hot. I think I got that's em- you. I got embarrassed. Because, dude. That made it worse. Dude, it was no the equivalent of someone rubbing some raw onions in my armpit and me yeah. just flapping like a bird. Like, yeah, y'all, that's me. That's me. After that, that's when I decided, let me go ahead and get some deodorant. But the problem is, is the deodorant that we use, like, uh, let's just say, like, the Old Spice or whatever, like, that shit will clog up your pores. And I've had it yeah. to where what ends up happening is it creates, like, a, um, an infection. It's a clogged pore. Yeah. And it's essentially, like, um, God damn it. It's like a pimple. And what you end up having to do is lance it, and they got to drain it because the pus. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that shit, dude. I thought I was just a pimple. I thought you get pimple in your face. You, you, get... you didn't pop it? Uh, I think after a while I did. You got to pop it and let all that juice out. Bro, not only did I let the juice out, but that shit popped like a champagne bottle. Like, <laughs> it hit the mirror. I don't know if you oh, ever. Oh, yeah, the little white piece. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I was just. I thought I'd killed myself, dude. I popped that bitch. And, and then it started just... leaking after that, right? Bro, oh. in like dark blood. Like, it was nasty, dude. I was like, oh. And clear blood, right? Like, clear pus. Yeah. So, I don't have OCD, but I do count how many times I do it. So, I go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then do this, and then that's it. I don't even need deodorant if I don't work either. Like, I never sweat if I'm not working hardly. Dude, I sweat just sitting. I usually don't. <laughs> like, um, in the summer, though, like I said, sometimes in the summer, if I know I'm going to, like, a nice event and I got to wear, like, something nice. Yeah. And, yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, man. But during like, the winter, I really don't sweat. Yeah. Well, like that. I, and I never used Axe, per se. Like, I know when I was a teenager, I did because it was a cool thing to do. But then after a while, they came out with some weird scented, like, yeah. scents. And I was like, oh, I can't dig. Like, they did, like, a, a vanilla cocoa something. And I was like, nah, I can't do this shit. Um, Doesn't I, sound too appealing. Yeah. Well, I did. I used their pomade when I had hair because I used to have, like, a taper with, like. When a, I had like, hair. You're putting yourself on blast right now. Bro, bro. look at me. This is not a wig. <laughs> this is not me wearing Hey, this. look. It's a nice hat, bro. <laughs> oh, thank I you. love the hat. Thank you. Yeah. But, yeah, like, um, Axe has some good, like I said, they are a part of American history. Mm-hmm. And they're, I think they're just as um, uh, as American as uh, Old Spice. So, yeah. But anyway, you can definitely argue that. Yeah. And and I think, especially for young boys, I feel like Old Spice is more targeted to like the older guys. You know what I mean? Like the, the hardworking gentleman that just got off of. You I know, feel like it's, it's funny because now I'm using someone. Old Spice now. Yeah, which one? The high endurance? Um, I use the deep sea deodorant one. Yeah. 
Yeah. And What's that one that has the my cologne's clutch? Mm. What's the one that has the one for men where it, like the woman's like trying to steal it from the guy and use it because it's so good? And he's like, I want to have good skin too. Mm. It's like Axe or Dove or one of these. It might be Dove. That might be Dove. Yeah, yeah. Dove is actually really good too. And that, that's like more of one of the one of those where it's like a feminine or masculine product. Yeah. Like Dove just. The it's thing just about neutral. Dove though that I like about Dove is it lasts forty eight hours and it really means it. Mm-hmm. You know and I, I like mean? the soap a lot. I feel like I really do feel like super clean after I get out of the shower. Yeah. You use body wash mm-hmm. and bar soap. Usually bar. Me and Logan are pretty much the same. I use bar as well. Man, I use a body wash. Really? I have my loofahs. I got two loofahs. I got one for my body and the other for my ass. I got you. Because, yeah. Hey, you got to clean back there. Hey, I, like the, I like the hygiene, man. I'm hey. not mad at you. Like, I got to detail the engine. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear about that dirty, <laughs> crusted up ass. Bro. Yeah. Man, sometimes I'll be thinking like, man, did, did anybody see my dirty ass? <laughs> yeah, Definitely wasn't me. Back don't worry about day, it. <laughs> man, hopefully nobody did, but I don't know. But yeah, that was that. Did you want to watch more of that? Uh, no, I mean, this is pretty much just talking about the history of it and the decline of the cells. Do you, well, let me ask before we switch over to the next one, do y'all think that Axe is kind of gone, dead and gone, or do you feel like it's always going to be around? I, I personally think it's gone. Uh, I don't think so. You know? No. Would you bear, would you wear it if, uh, like, would yeah, you, if it was a sponsor? No one's going to know. Do you think? Dude, I would. I work with you. Logan doesn't go with any of the new time stuff. It's a hard question to ask Logan because everyone's getting haircuts and everyone cares about their hair. Yeah. Logan just shaves his shit off. Wait, everyone cares about clothes. Logan just wears whatever he wants. Yeah. Which, by the way, um, I started wearing Wranglers, bro, because I saw you wearing Wranglers. Yeah. And I wear Levi's. I didn't know that Levi's are more for like fashion type shit. And yeah. Wranglers are the hard workers, motherfuckers, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, I, I put on a pair of uh, Wranglers for the first time at from Walmart. Bro, not only do they're comfortable, but they're fucking affordable. Yeah, they're cheaper. Yeah, dude, I love it. And they're them. durable, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I was like, fuck it, let's go. Don't sleep on it. Sorry, Levi's. We'll go Wranglers. <laughs> well, I just want to see a bit. Plus, you're in a relationship, bro. Wranglers are up. You're not trying to pull. You don't need no fashion. Case yeah, studies. I mean, I already do with my fucking beard. Disciplined <laughs> consumer science and high-level marketing strategy over the last couple of generations. But while Axe continues to be a global phenomena, sales have fallen sharply in the U.S. Yeah, now, the brand yeah, is bro. refocusing its messaging That's and strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth stuff, right? bro. This is good stuff, dude. You feel great, right? I, man, I'll tell you what. I feel looser than I think it's most loose I've been in an episode. Axe was first launched in Cheers, 1983 yeah, in nice France under the, the name yeah, Lynx, likewise, something that it's still called in some countries due to trademark-related reasons. But the fragrance initially struggled to take off. In 1992, Ann Gottlieb stepped in as a fragrance consultant. I just brought this bottle. I just bought they it. They were really um, misguided about what the fragrances should smell like because they thought of the brand as a deodorant. And I, I treated it like a fine fragrance. And instead of having personal care perfumers um, work on the fragrances, I brought in I like the same perfumers that I used yeah. on Calvin Klein. And while Axe is often associated with provocative and humorous <laughs> advertising in the early 2000s, oh, the brand took itself far more seriously during its first 10 years. Links. Because first impressions last. Let me ask you this. Just. When you put on a fragrance, right? Do you, you don't wear clones, do you? No. Do you wear clones? Absolutely. So here's the thing, dude. <clears throat> As a guy. I think I would more if I could fucking smell, but I can't, so. It's, all, it's for way. the bitches, Logan. It's, like, no, I know, but if I could smell, like... Because back when I could smell a little bit, there yeah. was like a, and this is that cheap ass shit too, but have you seen the sprays, the, the bod? Yeah. There was one. I of, like your bod. There was one or two of those that were like <laughs> kind of good. And like yeah. back when I could smell, I was like, okay, I like the way this one smells. And I yeah. feel like a chick would like, it's it's what I want to put out to the chick. I feel like a chick would like, you know, this yeah. smell too. So I get it, but I can't smell. So it's hard for me to say, oh, this is some shit that I feel like a chick that I am vibing with would like too Mm -hmm. versus because the smells have like their own personality and shit. Mm Kind of like different liquors have like different tastes. Exactly. Some's like real sweet and some's like a little more. More masculine. Minty and like there's different edges and like smoothness and shit. So it's like what kind of chick you want to attract. It plays a lot into your pheromones too. Or your pheromones. Yeah. Because it. the way it smells on you would be different than me. Yeah, exactly. So, like for instance, when I was a kid, Curve was like the the I don't the know one. if you, the Curve was like the black one. That there's, do you remember the Curve bottles? There's no. the gold one. 
they sell them at Walmart now for like ten bucks. But back yeah. in the day, dude, they, I mean that, that shit was, was just a, you were a chick magnet. Yeah. The one cologne that I will say that I smelled and I I almost went mm, was, and a dude was wearing it was fucking Creed. You ever heard of Creed? Man, yeah, I think I have seen an ad or two. Creed, bro, mm-hmm. you're probably gonna drop a good 500, 600 bucks on these things. I got I got some shit to add to that. Have you ever heard of like pheromones? Yeah, that's what, yeah. Okay, so what you were talking about? Did they have pheromones in it? No, because you you as a human being have four. Uh, pheromones already. right but like there's but cologne at it though right oh. so like females can literally smell the testosterone on you yeah that's scary bro so that's there's this guy code right there there's this guy that i like uh recently started buying supplements from and um uh, you know taking a few different things just seeing if it'll work out this yeah. guy apparently has research behind it but what he does is he sends you a little test sample it's a little uh sample of cologne Ooh. and has pheromones in it bro i was about to suck my own dick <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah. And bro, I worked the square. I mean, that's what's even worse is so little. It's almost like you ever seen the movie Limitless the, with the pills? Mm-hmm. It's like one of the, bro, it's like you put, so this is how you put on deal or cologne for those who don't like know. Like a drop and you rub it in. Rub it in, boom, boom, mm-hmm. and then yeah. boom. That's the way you do it. My son, dude, he just pours the bottle on his head. Oh, dude, bro, uh, I like to go one right here. Yeah. One right here. Yeah. And then I'll do like two on my neck. Yeah. You got to, at least on your neck. Bro. Yeah. At least on your I neck. feel like the wrist thing, I mean, I'm not hating on you for it, but yeah. I feel like it's more of like a female thing. Yeah. But not it, saying it might be. But not, I know that was what we told. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I haven't done it. Yeah. I mean, I'll spray some shit on my wrist. Yeah. I'm not scared. Yeah. The one thing, the reason you do it is because when you're holding a girl's hand. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're touching her and shit like that. Your your hands wherever they go. I mean wherever that hand goes, yeah. yeah. You want it yeah. to be smooth, yeah. So, but yeah, dude. Like if you put on Creed, Creed um, is the like the top one, at least in my opinion. I know I had Dolce Gabbana. I like that uh, one. The light blue one. The light blue. Dude, dude, so there's a light blue one now that this guy makes that I buy supplements from. Yeah. And he he. He creates the light blue version, but he adds pheromones in it. Yeah, let me hey, know. I'll, I'll give you that. Bro, hook it up. That one, and then uh, remember the polo blue? Dude, the, the polo, polo blue, blue, everyone had it. Bro, I busted a bottle in my fucking backpack, and I smelled like... <laughs> I, you could smell me up from the other side of the school. My uh, shit was... My homework was fucking drenched in it. Dude. But, yeah. Well, uh, you want to watch any more of this? Nah, nah like I said, this uh, is just kind of... Uh, like I said, I, I saw Axe, and I thought, you know... I know at least one of us has done it, but it turns out all of us have. Oh, dude. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna let just a little bit more of it play out. Just to... I had a funny story I want to add to it. This will not take go, long go at ahead, all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Ronald was pretty big into acts back in the day, more of like junior high setting. And um, we went to H E B not too long ago. Yeah. And this motherfucker picked up some acts. <laughs> dude, he's known Logan Ronald's known for just being an idiot. Yeah. Almost everything he does when he's joking around, he's yeah. just being a straight troll. So he's like me. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much on steroids. Yeah. But uh anyways, this motherfucker had a can of axe and he was like, dude, I've been thinking about getting back into axe. Yeah. And I, dude, for some reason I just believed it. Yeah. And he's like, Yeah, I've been thinking about it so hard. He's like, This is one that like I'm actually considering. He's like, This is a good brand. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's a good scent. So he like kind of points it towards me, but I don't really see it. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna spray it on myself. And he like sprays me with axe. And dude. Yeah. Hey, you know what though? If you did bring it back, dude, you'll be trend setting. Oh, brother. I no, guess no, it really no, depends on who it. you are to set the trend. Think about it. Because there's always people that do that one thing that's different from everybody. Yeah. And they're like, hey, that's actually pretty dope. You know what I mean? It just takes that one person. I like, feel like Axe would almost have to come out with a new scent that's crazy or something. Though. <laughs> then a famous person would start using it. And then people are like, all right, we're on this new accent. You I see mean, what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, damn, accent. Whoa, bro. You like my accent, don't you? It kind of turns you on a little bit. I think you just did a commercial pitch right there. <laughs> hey, there's a, that's a million dollar idea right there. I like money. I like your accent. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, that's crazy, right? Uh, you play with some words right there, man. Look like advertising created by sort of 45 year olds before they understood. Right, they need to create a set called Axe. In 1994, Hegarty's advertising firm began working with Axe to help give the brand a reboot. They worked together until 2017. The very, very first. Spot we did for that commercial, we did that. He so that in his house pants. party. That's what I do. The reality of this is that the that. idea you that you spray this on and you get the girl is sort of a nonsense. Just spray that shit down below, I mean, man. They know it. We know it. Wait, what are we doing here? Why don't we just 
kind of play to them. Hey, fuck it. You want to get, get later, not motherfucker. <laughs> sold an estimated Bro. twenty million dollars worth of product that year. Look at that. By two thousand seven, that number crossed three hundred million. Wow. A brand that could recognize its own irony resonated with teenagers who were looking for a bit of swagger. If you're trying to sell something to people who are a little bit unsure, so like themselves <laughs> lacking confidence. <laughs> So humor is a great way of overcoming all of that. And there were no influencers then other than customers on their own. And the word of mouth for this brand was unbelievable. Even if it wasn't always for the right reasons, the fragrance took off. <laughs> Axe's rapid success in the U.S. quickly led to the expansion. Bro, of the product. that shit was flammable as fuck. I forgot about yeah. that, dude. Oh I my remember... god, I'm sorry. I got another story. Oh, do you? Uh, a crazy tell me fire, one. Because that would be funny as shit. Guys, I All remember right. people used to fuck around, like spray, like I, it wasn't even necessarily Axe, but it was just like whatever. Eight. Yeah, it was yeah. flammable, but dude, it just said like a kid set himself on fire with Axe. <laughs> dude, so in elementary school and logan remembers this vividly i had a best friend named kyle Parrish, mm -hmm. and he was best friends with a dude named bailey barch anyways long story short in middle school i had ag class with this guy named bailey barch okay and we had athletics right before ag so of course you know he's drenching himself in ag so there's gonna be bitches in there i mean he's looking fresh he's yeah, doing yeah. his thing yeah yeah so he goes in there smelling like straight ax i mean you can smell the motherfucker like <laughs> you know 10 yards away yeah. but anyways so they taught ag so they were teaching welding in there logan knows a lot oh. about this bro i'm not fucking with you this this man caught fire <laughs> bro i look over the fire's like this far away from his body what do i do what do i do <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. I'm over here thinking about being cool about fire safety and shit. <laughs> I'm like, stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So literally, he like goes to the ground. Anyways, the teacher comes over and like sprays him with the, the fire extinguisher. <laughs> but dude, yeah, literally caught on fire. Could have died. He had like third degree burns. Bro, um, I... You, you remember that, right, Logan? Yeah. yeah. Dude, <laughs> that's not funny, that's but... That's crazy. Like, shit, dude. Like, that shit was flammable. I remember that. Like, we used to fuck around fuck and like yeah. spray fire with it. He peed his yeah. pants. I would, I'd shit myself. I would have, yeah. <laughs> That's the least of my worries. Damn, dude. Is he it's, okay now? Yeah, he's fine. It's safe to say for him peeing his pants, he did not get made fun of. So, wait a minute. When was this? Um, this was whenever I was in, uh, I think I was sophomore year. So, oh. it would probably have to have been like 2012-ish. Dude, if it was 10 years sooner, he would have got no money for that lawsuit. Dude, he would have yeah. got, yeah. That's wild. So they said body spray was introduced in 2002, then deodorant mm -hmm. in 04, 05 was body wash. Mm -hmm. they yeah. So they kind of introduced stuff. So, I mean, here's the thing. There's only so many new products you can deliver. The thing is, it's like now... You, so I, that's when I was fucking around with it. This was new when I got it. Face care. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Nivea. You ever fuck with Nivea? I think I've heard of it. Yeah, it's like they have all kinds. They got body washes. They got face care. I don't know if they got hair stuff, but I mean, I don't know, man. At some point, you just got to be like, okay, what am I, what am I putting on my body? I mean, dude, if you're gonna go that far, I mean, the minerals and the ingredients in the in the water, yeah, it's terrible too. I think we just kind of I mean, absolutely moved on to like. What, what sense is now, like, do you think now we're kind of more... Like, everyone's doing, like you said, actual colognes. Yeah. Either deodorant, deodorant just to get by for, like, work or what have you. And then, yeah. like, when they're going out, they do more cologne. No one... People are like, okay, it's a hybrid. I'm not, Am I getting the best of each world? I'm getting, like, half-ass deodorizing and half-ass uh, cologne. I might yeah. as well just go with strictly deodorant for work. And then when I'm going out to play club dinner date whatever yeah. i'm gonna cologne it up and even if people do like a budget cologne that's like 20 or i don't even know how much they would be but Dude. like they feel like that's better than if you're budgeting cologne you're down bad yeah every even morning you spend 80 because you're not going to use it all the time like yeah i like whatever. i totally disagree um every morning i wake up i use cologne um dude you can spend 40 to 60 bucks. That cologne bottle is going to last you months on months on months. Yeah. Dude, if you're out here budgeting cologne, <laughs> bro, find another job. You need to grind this. harder. Do you, so here's the thing. Cologne, deodorant, even body wash. Uh, you know, body wash is relatively new, right? We haven't really, as humans, advanced in, like, in hygiene at all. When I think about it, soap and even, we'll say deodorant has only, I mean... I feel like, what's the next level after that? I mean, you wipe your ass and you soap yourself off. Other than that, it's kind of yeah. hard to yeah. to advance from that, bro. 
You know, there's people that in other countries that laugh at Americans for wiping their ass with uh, toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I think it's kind of funny too. It's like, why would you not have like a bidet or something? It cleans it up more. Like, yeah. ultimately, you don't clean your ass good enough unless you shower. As a plumber, let me ask your opinion. Okay, mm-hmm. how many times is a good wipe? Bidet. <laughs> do you like that answer? I, I do. I just wish I had one. I think if I mean, I mean, what do we? You know, a plumber personally. Yeah. I mean, I'm literally at your house right now, and I'm about to be a master. Yeah. You want a bidet? Let's make that shit happen. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that, I'm not gonna charge you. Here's the thing, the bidets, dude. They they come in different. Like they have some that are like the generic ones, and then they got like those rich fe- people ones. They have like scopes <laughs> with like heat sensors and shit. Oh, We're not gonna stick a scope up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just want you to have good hygiene, Josh. Bro, I'm telling you, man. People do not know, man. Whatever, and, whatever money you want to spend on it, I will install it for you right, happily. Right, All right. I, I, like I said, those bidets, dude. Like, it, and then you got to do the temperature one, right? Because you don't want cold water in your ass. Like that shit. Mm. I would, dude. I don't want no hot water up my ass. It's like someone well, looking you at your want asshole. It scorch either, but I'm just saying, like, there's got to be a happy medium. But yeah, y- yeah. I, dude, I've never seen one that heats up water. Mm. I thought there was one. Okay. So let me just fill you in a little bit. So okay. no matter what, cold water is ran to toilets. So there's right. only two types of plumbing as far as water lines go, hot and cold. Yeah. There's never been hot water ran to a toilet. So Wait, unless, never? No, never. So unless the bidet has a heating mechanism, you're going to have cold water. Logan, do, did we just come up with a million dollar idea? Dude, hmm. you can go on Shark Tank if you want. I'm, I love Bro, Shark Tank. I'm just saying, like, I mean, look. Not, I mean, I think it would be kind of half gay to put half wa- like warm water in your ass, but I mean, dude, like, what do you mean half gay? It's whatever you're comfortable with going in your ass, <laughs> which is not <laughs> very much. You know, I can't speak for a lot of the other Lockhart Listen, man. man out like, here. It's warm and you don't want to touch on your butthole. <laughs> but dude, think about it though, like that 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 really would be a game changer if you could adjust the heat to a bidet. Yeah, that'd be I'm like, what? You wipe your ass every time you shit? Okay, man. <laughs> I wipe it like 20 times. I use a... How many rolls have you seen me out there, dude? That's a, bro, I got... I got rolls for days. You know there's a uh, bidets that you can install. Like, you can uninstall your toilet seat and install another toilet seat that has a bidet on it. I've seen it. The problem is, is like... I feel like they would require a lot of maintenance. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of maintenance would it require? Let's put it this way. Not everybody shits the same way. You know what I mean? I mean? You're talking to a man that eats a lot of protein. I take some explosive <laughs> shits. You, you, have you said, hey, have you met Austin yet? <laughs> Ugh, no. It's your uh, arch nemesis. Um, All right, I don't want to take too much time, Logan. Sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, uh, as far as like, like I said, the hygiene and the human, I, guess, I feel like hopefully in the next hundred years, it'll be something that'll be almost kind of like one of those machines that can just clean yourself off. What's that one machine? Oh, like a Roomba? For your armpits. I can't even wash my own back. Right? I can't reach it. You can't. I'm I too goddamn to have, I'm too I goddamn just, swole, bro. I should, well, actually, well, even then, like, you need to have somebody. Wa- dude, if you came up with a machine that did that, dude, that'd be yeah. a game changer. The only time I can get my wa- my back wash is when I fuck a bitch. Mm-hmm. This is a problem. Yeah. There's probably going to be some form of, like, uh, like you say, a Roomba or something. Mm-hmm. Like, that's... Like a oh, just like a Android oh. like a Android thing, but with AI that way it can Dude, sense your body. I'll take a like, hand job too while you're at it. <laughs> All right, how hey, about that? Let's go. You know what I mean? Like a little scrub. Fuck it. Just, yeah. The wheels around your body like scrub. scrub. Like a, even like a vest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, I'm thinking about like a little square thing, like you're saying, like a Roomba yeah. that, that scrolls around your. I'll body. pay some I'm money. I'm freaking out though. I'm not gonna lie. You ever seen Would aliens? You, you oh, get yeah. used to it. Yeah, to We're really going to the alien. Push a button yeah. and it'd be, it'd like it'd be built into your wall, like come out of your wall, like scrub on you, and then go. Something, back bro. Something, because dude, I know my tight. back probably has three inches of shit on it that I have not been able to clean. Dude, off. absolutely. So yeah. a hand job is not out of the question, <laughs> <laughs> guys. It's only going up from here. All right. <laughs> Everybody thinks too negative. Watch out, ladies. You're next. I don't need no woman. <laughs> I got my shower brush 3000 here. Yeah. Yeah. Gawk, gawk, let's go. It's got it the talks, brush attachment and the hand attachment. It talks dirty to me. It tells me I'm beautiful. It's like that episode of Simon where Kramer's like living in the shower. Yeah, Jerry, I got everything I need in here. I'm never leaving. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, man. He's the in there future. cooking on the phone and shit. Ladies, the future is now. Your time is coming up. Y'all better obey me. I'm the man you've been looking for. So what is... <laughs> Excuse me. So what is this? Uh, so this right here is. Um, listen, I know you never want to talk shit about your president, right? I, generally speaking, <laughs> dude, person, this is me and Logan you're talking to. Person, here's the thing: when you have somebody that's 
your boss or somebody in the power position, you want like this guy is representing us. This is the guy that is speaking for millions of people or a company or whatever. You want to have somebody that's competent, that knows what they're talking about. Bro, Joe Biden, half the time he does not know where the fuck he's at. And in this video, he pretty much exemplifies exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to not knowing where the fuck you're at. Right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a is different this the one. wrong one? Oh, yeah. You want to switch to that other one real quick? Uh, uh, yeah, he kind of explained it, so you might as well. Yeah. So. This one. Yeah, there we go. Mr. President, for months Look, when you were asked about your Look at his age. eyes, bro. He's just like struggling to... Dude, that is the definition of lights on, but no one is home. Mm. Like, you ever seen those people that are about to shit their diaper as an adult? <laughs> Actually, I'm safe to say I haven't. Yeah, that's... that's. Uh, he looked like a parent right there that was like ty- too tired to want to deal with like like a child that's out of line he's like i've been dealing with shit all day and i don't want to deal with this it's like when you're a parent sometimes you can like put it off and i mean whatever whatever it, uh, scenarios but it's just like it's hard to when you're president and there's like a fucking press conference and you're like i've been dealing with shit all day i just want to put this off it's like well unfortunately you cannot yeah. yeah i don't give a fuck how you feel personally bitch yeah you yeah. took on the responsibility of controlling the country I don't care what time yeah, of fucking day it is, bitch. Yeah. You took on that responsibility. Yeah. I don't hear no bitching. Respond with the words, watch me. Watch Many me. American people have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your is judgment. To public that is not the judgment concerns. of the press. They express concerns about your mental acuity. They say that you are too old. Mr. President, in December, you told me that you believe there are many other Democrats who could defeat Donald Trump. So why does it have to be you now? What, what is your answer to that question? Because I'm the most qualified person in this country to be President of the United States and finish yeah. the job I started. Do you you know the conduct of the response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. I think that, uh, as you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow He's confusing the Gaza Strip future. with the Mexican border, bro. Who is President Sisi? That's, <clears throat> oh, that's the president of Egypt, and he's trying to talk about Mexico. So he's mentioning the, the president of Egypt and referring to the Gaza Strip, but he's really trying to talk about Mexico. Boy. As Logan would say, and from Charlie Park Boys, you are fucked. <laughs> I mean, how fucked can you be, brother? Listen, okay, what, what are you gonna it, say? it's not one, like I'm guilty. You can go back to any of the episodes that I've had. I've had times where I've confused some stuff, and maybe it was just me, maybe just miswording something. This right here is <sighs> the <sighs> definition of senile, meaning. Hmm. His foot is already out the door, and the next one is about to step out, and this is going to be a shell of a man of who he was. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. Well, I mean, first of all, you're not the president of the United States, and second of all, you're not on national television. Yeah, yeah. And you're not saying that you're the best. You know, he's saying that he's the the best option possible for as president. How can you? Here's the thing. You're not bragging like that. It's not that. It's here's what I say. He's totally out of his mind. Here, here's here's the thing. He's he's saying he's the most qualified. Is he? Because I almost no. feel like there's people that are probably doing as much work as he is that are probably very very well qualified to do what he's doing. The thing about it is, is he's probably going to go. Well, I've been in politics since the '50s, the '60s, which probably is true, right? That doesn't mean you're good. Exactly. Exactly. And this is the guy that's running our fucking country, as far as yeah. you know, the president, the in the presidential seat now he wants to run he wants to rerun and become a to do it another term i'm yeah. sorry i think even the left people the people on the left side which i personally don't have any beef with i know some people do but i think they're starting to come to their senses like even if we were to vote for the left this is not the guy some are but some are not if you are still voting for this guy i never look in this camera but you're <laughs> just as delusional as this old bastard well here's the problem we have like people on both sides and it's both sides that support the left and the right, but they, 
you try to show them why there's fault with like their side. Right. And they, they, well, what about, the, what about this on the other side? Okay. Okay. We know that they're, they're doing stuff. Let's focus on, can you admit to your side and have a fault first? Let's get some, but people don't want to, of course we know you're going to hate the other side. And you know, everything they've done wrong. Right. Can you admit your side has done anything wrong? And you see it with both sides that they don't want to admit what their side has done wrong. And I don't want to say it's stronger with each side, but it's just as strong on the left as, and they, 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 people don't want to acknowledge how some do, but some, well, what do I, how do I want to, I would just say there's still delusion on both sides and there's yeah. still people that, I don't know if it's worse on one side or the other, but <laughs> let me, there's let still me, people on the left that like, can't. let me ask you this. And, and again, this is just from your perspective, y'all's perspective. Okay. Do you feel because we know how the right feels. Like, for the example, he's not the best one to run the country. Like, it's not, obvious. But some people on the left, it's like... Not right now. To to, but. but let me ask you this. In terms of right side versus left side, right? Do you feel that both parties have the best interest in the country in wanting to create, like, a, a utopic type society? Do you feel like the left side and the right side are both kind of like... they? Here's what I think. Yeah. I think <coughs> there are... Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> A sizable enough portion on the right that want the best for everybody and think that Trump is going to do that. Right. And now they think he has his rough edges and is he going to say stuff that's a little racist and a little not PC? Yeah, but they think I want the best for everybody and I think so does he and I think getting him will get that done. Right. On the left, I don't think there's as many people who have this, uh, I would say, overall positive, hopeful feeling i feel like on the left there's more people that are like gloom and doom and like you know it's going downhill but as long as it goes downhill with us in charge fuck it yeah. there's more people on the left that have this kind of like as long as it's my way or our way fuck it yeah. they kind of it's kind of like getting more grimy on their side of like as long as we're in control fuck it if it's going to hell in a handbasket right and i because i feel like both sides are delusional both sides do wrong blah 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 but i feel like right. on the right even though they're wrong and thinking Trump's gonna do good, and they're wrong with they 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 still want that because they think it would be best for everybody. On the left, I feel like we want our way. Like the hell with y'all. Right. And I, I would know, I would sense, I don't know. Yeah. I would have to I would have to actually argue that point just a little bit. Um, I would say that everyone pretty much involved with it wants to do the right thing and believe they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the people on the left are just far more fucked than the people on the right. Right. And I think the people on the left, Logan, you want to add something? Real quick. When the people with the right have reason for the things they want to do, they have wh why they want that done. Well, Sometimes when the people on the left, they're like, I just want it this way because I just want it. And I was actually going to get to that. So I think that's... Like when they try to... When, real quick, like for an example, when they when there's a bakery that doesn't want to make a gay cake, and they're like, you need to just make that gay cake or shut down. It's like, fuck off. Yeah, you just want to force someone to do your way. You're right. a, but go ahead. And I truly do feel like that they want to be right, but I mean they feel like they are doing right. I just feel like they're far dumber and far more botted. And I, I really do feel like they're in their heads now, whether they justify it or they actually think it's right. right. I really do feel like the people on the left are actually trying to do the right they're thing. Not, though, I just feel like they're a little dumber. Let me tell you yeah. why. They're and, huge hypocrites. <clears throat> and it's more obvious because right. they'll say my body, my choice. But when the vaccine came out, they weren't going with that shit. Uh, and but a lot they, of people on the left did get the vaccine. I know, but they weren't agreeing with my body, my choice. They want to say that when it comes to. Abortion. Oh yeah. No, actually you are right about yeah. that. And then there's yeah. other stuff too. Like what was another example? It's like both sides are hypocrites, but it's more brazen with the left. Mm -hmm. They're like, uh, th they're but not, why is they're it? They're not but okay what? with bullying. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're, they're because not they're, okay because with bullying. They're dumber. Don't bully a transgender, but we're going to bully anti-vaxxers right. we're gonna bully that is, oh, but, is it okay to bully or not but there's a reason their mindset is like that and what's that reason i don't know but my argument was just that they're more bigger hypocrites i just it, think they're dumber so here's my thing they're more uh, brainwashed here's my thing they I mean, go off of emotion yeah. because they think weak and that's why so and that's why a lot of them were gay because they go off emotion like females do yeah so here's my thing and this is where i start to play the devil's advocate uh -oh. <laughs> yeah this is this is where the podcast gets funny. i love it so here's my thing I'm not a leftist. I'm not, and I know Logan would disagree with that. I, I honestly try to remain as neutral as possible. Uh, Hold with, on, real quick though. Don't yeah. you think that the mainstream neutral neutral is left now? The, the, everything's more left leaning. But go ahead. I think there's a 
I think it's possible to become, uh, and this is just me. Because you're playing at center, I yeah. agree. But just in society, we all are leaning just a little more left. And that's why, even though you're center, it's, but go ahead. Like, if I had to label myself, I would be a conservative liberal. If I really had to play that part. Although I do have traits of being more so on the right. I get it, yeah. I but my thing is this. Like, a lot of the advancements in science and stuff like that are, I would say, probably more of the leftist from doing their own research. Most people that I know on the right side, it's just the Wait. way it's just the way that it is, and that's just. Wait, what it say is. that again. So, like folks that on the left side, I would say they're more in tune as far as like the scientific. Hold on, no, dude, he's right about Go ahead, that. Keep going, though. Keep going, dude. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, no, I, I would say wrong. people that are far right, they don't. That's dead wrong. I, well, I, I, keep going though. Keep going. Well, I would I, love for him to explain that. Well, my thing is this, right? Most of the people on the right is that's just the way that it is, whether you like it or not. And I feel like there's people that on the left side are more about. I know you're gonna you're shaking your head. They, they, it's the exact opposite, and that's what they try to sell to people on the left. What are you talking and that's about? A, come, go keep fit, fit, wrap up, but this is comical, okay. bro. Well, hold on. I feel like people on the left side. I know you don't disagree. I don't. I know you don't agree with it, but they. I think they're more analytical when it comes to like. They like to think that. Well, they like to think that, but then sometimes they have the support through the research and stuff no, like that. Don't. Yeah, but that's what but you're wrong, Logan. That's what they think. They think that science is real, and they're more on the scientific side. The left, the people on the left, but they're not on the side of actual facts, actual. Yeah, science. yeah, no, yeah. But they think they are. But the science, like you don't like the whole space and the NASA. That's science right there, and yeah. the left really plays upon that. Yeah. Well, we can boil it down. But here's the thing: I would say this: <laughs> the left people, the people on the left, are, I would say. And, and you would disagree, but I think they're, I think they're actually really intelligent. No. But I think what it is is they're too smart for their own good. No. That's definitely they have too wrong. Much ego. I, you think that's wrong? Dude, yeah. the people Here's on the left the are thing. fucked, brother. I was talking to my uncle, and he has landslid back into supporting the left. Mm -hmm. And what was I going to say about this? We, we were talking about Trump and Biden. And before, he used to be on my side of, like, we're going to criticize both sides, and we're more of, like, the hippie movement, like, not really. But now he's kind of, like, more on the left. And we were talking about like both sides and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, all these things about Trump, like Trump this, Trump this, Trump, 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 uh, you know, lawsuit here, lawsuit this, he's done this, he's done this, all the stuff that you hear on the news, all this, like every fucking month there's a new thing they're trying to pursue him after. Right. And then I'm like, well, what about the left? Oh, there's no evidence. He said, Donald Trump said they tried to, said they tried to steal an election and Hunter uh, brought up like the Hunter Biden laptop thing and him right. getting paid and all this stuff and he's like that's all there's no the right never had any proof right. no proof for none of that but there's all this proof against what trump does trump actually stole the election he did the insurrection he did this he did that he didn't pay his taxes all this evidence is against trump but there's zero evidence evidence of any negative of the left there's no evidence of any wrongdoing from the left on a on a large presidential scale right for, according to my uncle for the past like eight or so years right. so the right and trump have done all this shit, and then the left, nothing. Yeah, but I was like, that is the biggest. And he's he he wanted to say he was watching independent stuff and podcasts and interviews and stuff, but I kind of got to admit he's watching like left leaning stuff. Yeah. And like, we're gonna show a link that he sent me later that we're gonna review where it's like a CNN thing, right? And like, there's no way he can't be watching the left. Yeah. You're gonna tell me. I don't even. This has been said so much. It's almost has like a weird feel when you say it, but like everyone has almost like said it so much that we think it's real even if it's real or not biden has dementia yeah. he might not even motherfucking really have it but we've all just like said it so much that we all just like well biden has dementia it's like but why do we say that though because he's fucked up so much with like he does seem to be deteriorating the motherfucker mentally, fell right? off a bike when it was parked okay if 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 someone he just said himself that he is the best one to do the job, clearly that is not the case. Right. Clearly, that's like can't be. I think he's going off experience. Even that you could say. Because what does that like even he's, mean? Because what do you he's mean? been in the, you he's been in politics for a long time and be shitty. Okay. You can do it for a long time and be shitty, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's more rare with some stuff, but with not really. Yeah, yeah. I think so, it more depends on the person who's doing it rather than experience. So, yeah. anyway, that, he's not the best man for the job. I period. agree. I agree. For him to, how many people, and I think I brought this up before, maybe not on the pod, but like how many people had to either slack off on their job, turn a blind eye, take a bribe, some level of mal uh, fees or however you want to say it. Like they, they fell short of their job on some level, either small level or big level. How many people 
fell short and didn't do their job and served the American people correctly for him to be in there? How many people had to be like, ah, fuck it. Dude. Or more. I mean, basically all of them. That is fucked. Yeah. And for you to say, there's no evidence of the left, that right there is circumstantial motherfucking Listen, evidence. guys, you need to go vote. Here, I, I'll put it to you this way. I think what you're thinking of is the extreme left. Is that right? I think no, it's is the that true, left. though? I think it's the extreme left. No, but for him to get in there, how many people had oh, to support that? It's a puppet. He's a fucking marionette okay, puppet. Okay, so for you, I so, so is someone 100%. on the left to say, there's no evidence... Those are the You're lying to yourself. Though. You have to be deliberately not looking. I agree with you 100%. But here's the problem. But there are people that still say that. That's he, a problem, he, Here's right? the problem. I, and I even am guilty of doing this is referring to the right as the, as the extreme right. We both know that there's extreme rights that's like, like I don't even like brown people in my fucking pr like proximity. And then you got your left people that are extreme. Like, I don't yeah. care if the baby is full term. We're going to kill that bitch. I don't think they represent but here the we're rule, coming like, down to the thing again where it's going to be Biden versus Trump and right. there's going to be most people on the left are going to say, oh, I can't. I, I disagree. I think people on the left side are starting to realize like this is not the guy for the, even if they were. What to, if Trump comes out and says something like super racist or something they don't like just like last time or grab him by the pussy and that shoves a bunch of people back the towards policy. Biden. He won, the, he won the election with that. That, that, that was that was 2016. Yeah. But the thing is this, I think people are starting to realize the economy sucks. So the then how did Bi then how did Biden beat Trump in 2020? Russia. Russia what? Russia, bro. You think What if something comes out like that again? It could. And and it pushes it, a bunch of people to it Biden. Very you think there's well nothing could. That, see, it very well could, but the problem but we're in this terrible place where it's like lesser of two evils and the evil is starting to stack up so much <laughs> that it's like, bro, you're basically voting for the devil or something like Either one, we're still fucked. You see fucked. what I'm saying? It's we're like, still fucked. But here's the that's thing. That's not a good spot to be where you're choosing between two terrible people. I know, but it's kind of right now. Like, I know, but... It's I, like, no, but just here's the thing, dude. Don't do it. It's, it's inevitable. No, it's not. You're looking it's at... It, I'll put it... To put it in perspective, it's like this. You have either the 49ers or the Chiefs. No, you don't have to do that, though. That's what it comes you down to. You don't have to. These are the you two have teams to that are going to win the Super Bowl. You don't Bowl. have to vote, though. I can't say I want the Cowboys to you win the Super Bowl. you have to vote, though? For what? Do you have to vote? For the Cowboys? Or, no, for, for the my, president. Oh, for the president. Yeah, yeah. You, no, you, you don't. No, you don't. You have to vote. No, you don't. You have to vote. Why would you Or vote? what? I mean, you then, don't have then, to. If you don't vote, if you don't vote, you do not have the Did room get, to speak shit. What, what changed in your life when between presidents? Like, what's different between when we had Obama, Bush? I'll and, put it to you this way. When I was with Donald Trump, I didn't have to worry about the economy. The gas was not looking $5 an hour. It wasn't creeping up and down. It was steadily at $2. And it's at $2 something right now. Yeah. Why? Why do you think that is? What, why do you think it's two dollars? Do you it's, think it's, it's just been come, right around two dollars the whole time, bro? Nope. Yes, it has. Nope. No, because I remember twenty twenty one gas was almost like fucking four dollars an no, hour. No, it was not. Oh, yes, it was. We can go back if we want to. I've done. I was the guess how I know because I was in real estate at that time and I was paying four dollars a fucking gallon during that time. But we'll leave it at that. I'll put it to you this way: when Joe Biden was in was in presidency, I've had a I've had to worry more about. Uh, like him over here looking at Venmo's, looking at fucking cash apps. Now you're trying to figure out how much fucking money you want to take away, like add to all that shit. Like I'll put it to you this way. I've never had to worry about my money until Joe Biden became presidency. When I was with, Joe, when Donald Trump was running, I was like, oh shit, we were riding the gravy train. Everything was good. Now things, the inflation's out of control. Hold are, on. Hold on. Yeah. Don't forget. What was that check that we got? When, stimulus check. Stimulus yeah. Check. Why, why would we get that stimulus check if we if everything was good? I'm glad you asked that because here's the thing, right? Then all of a sudden, we're not getting as many as much back on our taxes. Why do you think that is? Because they're fucking getting that money back that they gave that they gave out during the stimulus. You think those stimulus checks were for fucking free? That that shit. You, there's nothing in life that's for free. That what? So now all of a sudden we're not getting as much back on our taxes because we got to supplement the shit that we gave out. That's what it comes down to. My fucking. So my, is there proof that we're not getting as back much on our taxes? Yes, or my you, tax return right now. I just I filed uh, so yesterday. Are you still filing with the exact same people that you used to? Yes. And are you and still making the exact same money that you used to? I'm making a little slightly less, but I'm getting back significantly less. But money. unless you're working at the same job and they take out the exact same deductions that they used to take out, it's really hard to make I'll that comparison. I'll put it this way: my pay that I got from this year from last year probably a difference of maybe five to ten grand. I would say. But I'm getting half of what I got back. Yeah, but you have more kids. Are you married? Were you, did Me, you used to be single? Still the same. Everything's the same. Shit's still the same. The okay. only difference is now I got to pay back more for that fucking stimulus check that we all got for free that we were all fucking... And did you look up if everybody's been affected the exact same way this or is it just you that's been news. affected? This okay, was, yeah. This was shit that you can look up on Google. We're awesome. getting less because they're trying to recoup all that money they gave back from stimulus checks. Okay. But who decided to do that? I don't know. Probably, probably Joe Biden. 
probably Joe Biden. No. Or actually, it was Joe. It was, I'm not going to lie. It was Donald Trump. But it didn't matter who it was. <laughs> it didn't matter who it was. It would have happened. Mm-hmm. That's what you don't seem to understand. You think, oh, it's going to matter if it's this person or this person. It doesn't really matter. I mean, none of it really matters. Here's the thing. Who do you think Vladimir Putin's going to be more responsive to? A fucking senile old guy that can't fucking That's wipe his ass? Thing. Dude, or, he knows it's a joke. Or or Donald Dude. Trump. Yeah, actually, you know what? Now that Don, now I think about it, Donald Trump actually had better relationships with Putin. Yeah. Of course he did. Yeah. 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 And we didn't have to worry about fucking wars and shit like that. Honestly, man, I didn't even think about fucking wars. When Dude, Donald it's Trump all in your head, bro. It doesn't make a difference who's in office, bro. Maybe. Maybe. But I'll put you this way. I had a peace of mind when he was in the office. But why did you have a peace of mind? Because, I, because I, that's what you're told to do, right? Well, yeah. That's what trickles down from the top. Yes, and you no. have that peace of mind when COVID hit. Oh fuck, COVID, dude! That shit fucking hit me sideways. Dude, I have a peace of mind because I have a peace of mind. It doesn't matter what I hear from the top. I I think so, but I think if if it came down to it, where America finally had to go back into war, and there was a draft shit going on, and Joe and and Joe Biden was behind, like, "Yep, that's just what it is." I think we'd all not have a peace of mind. At the end of the day, who protects you and your family? This guy, yeah. and that's my I don't point. I'm going to warn about who it is. Yeah. No one's going to protect your family like that. But if this guy says my fucking 16 year old son has to enlist when he turns 18, then we're going to have a problem. Major problem. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't like that too much. He says, what? If if he's like, hey, we're doing a draft, we're going to World War III. But is he going to decide that? Him personally. Not him personally, but (laughs) his party. All the people that he has in place in the fucking, uh, that he put in place. But does it matter who's president? Honestly, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So that's but, my point. You shouldn't we, feel more safe whenever Trump's president but I would be versus more, Biden. But I'll put you this way. This guy, I don't want him in the office. This Dude, guy, nobody wants to see that motherfucker. But I don't think it really matters. I don't know. It, it, it's getting to the point now where I, they said that countries do not last or empires do not last longer than 200 years, right? Or there's some kind of time limit. Yeah. But you, can, you, you, you're not going to you're not going to support the statement of there's no evidence of the left not doing anything wrong over the past like four to eight years. You wouldn't oh, support that statement. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Not at all. But it's the same for the right. You know? But like, but like I said wrong. earlier, I think there's a difference between the left and the right versus the extreme left. Versus oh, that's the what I was going to say. Yeah. You think the left is more in touch and more in touch with the facts than the right? I think so. I think a lot of the can science... You, uh, can you elaborate a little bit? I, I don't I, I, think I, so, bro. I, here, here's the thing. I think a lot of folks... <sighs> I think a lot of the folks, when it comes to the left side, right? We, what about them supporting like all the racist BLM stuff and them supporting like the trans? Let them let shit? talk a little bit. I, I think what it comes down to is a lot of the left people are. I think they're intelligent. I, I really think that they're intelligent. They Why? When, because they do a lot of the stuff that we don't think about coding. I think a lot of it, like coding. Do you, you don't think that's a that's more? How do you know the people that code are on the left? For the general part, they're mostly in California. Um, I mean, at least the top developers and stuff like that. All the stuff that we rely on, entertainment, this okay. is all left type shit. This so is the people the people that do computer coding mm-hmm. tend to be more wealthy because they start off at 80 or 100,000 bottom bare minimum. Okay. So they're going to live in LA, Hollywood, or wherever, like the really nice neighborhoods. Right. People that nowadays it tends to be a correlation between the wealthier you are the more democratic you are because it's kind of like a they tend to go hand in hand because it makes you look good because you're caring and etc they kind of go hand in hand the more wealthy it almost tends to be like democratic so where was i going with this like just because the people that are smart and do coding want to be democratic because they feel like that makes them look more compassionate that doesn't automatically mean they're more intelligent that's like a falsehood that we and we think, oh, the Democrats, we're more emotional and more compassionate, and we actually take the time right. to look at the stats, and we're more intellectual. And y'all are just the re- people on the right. Y'all are masculine, brute idiots, and we're the refined. All it's just like garbage. It's like y'all support the racist shit, mm-hmm. the Black Lives Matter shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all y'all flared the racism back up. Right. Y'all support transgenders. Y'all are pushing pushing global warming without bringing a lot of stats to the table. They just want you to believe it or else. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm not saying it's false, but bring me some stats. Don't just keep saying global warming, global warming, global warming. Well, bring the stats. And they four back to back winters have not with ice and shit like that was not a wake up call for you. You don't think that's what is that? I I mean that's pretty but fucking self evident. It's supposed to be getting uh, hotter, not colder, right? I mean, dude, we had fucking triple digit fucking record breaking win- uh, summer this Did past Did you just summer. say that more ice came so that 
I'm Pro saying like here in Central Texas, we've had back to back summers where it's like or winters, excuse me, where it's just ice and snow. And cold. So, so, so how does that prove the fact of global warming then? Um, do you remember seeing it when you were a kid? What the ice? Yeah, like but, but global warming colder. means it's supposed to be consecutively getting warmer. Right, but I mean, here's the thing: it, it affects both sides of the spectrum. It's not just like oh, it's gonna get. Where's hotter. the science to support that though? You can't just make these claims. Look up. I can promise you right now, if we were to look up the hold on the summer that we had just had right now, mm. we had triple digits for the longest than we had since 2011, which I remember specifically. Oh, so what? How, how about the humidity? Because I know that plays a huge like. I mean, it's going to be different in what no, part of the country Because it can, it can be triple digits and this and that, but if the humidity is not pretty high, then it really doesn't matter how hot it is. It's not going to feel the same. Right. I, but here's the thing. If you're going if you're going to go triple digits here, like let's just say like in Arizona, that's mm -hmm. kind of a common thing. Right. Here in Austin, not so much. But then all of a sudden when we have like three months of back to back to back to back and you were there in this, with me in those fucking attics and stuff like that, yeah. that was a hot ass summer. That, and I remember specifically in 2011, we had that's when we had the uh, Bastrop fires, when we had all all these fucking wildfires and shit like that that was that was the we had not had a hot summer like that since 2011. why haven't we had hot summers all like that since then, then because here's the thing with with global warming or with anything right it just doesn't happen over it isn't it's not like a yearly thing it's gonna like El that's Nino. These, how long? That's how what these often is, tell you? It's like the scale is so. How bland, often is El Nino? And it's so uh, how often you is just El Nino? Can't understand how often it, is but El Nino? Trust us, we have all the science. How often we is, have the science. How often is El Nino? I don't know. It's not every year. It's fucking. It's almost okay, like every, every four years. They, right. the, I will say, I will agree with Logan on that. They make the scale. Oh, it's so big and so much is happening. You're yeah. not gonna notice it. That's bullshit. bullshit, motherfucker. Because they don't want you to use your own senses. Yeah. They don't want you to walk out and use your own mind. Oh, there's scientists that you have to listen to, and they're trained and all yeah. this, bro. I'm gonna tell you this. Like, you don't know shit when it comes to plumbing, right? Right. But I can explain it to you in a way that you will understand it. Right. It's not like the the training's so far over your head that you'll never get it. Right. And yeah. I think that's what they want you to think it is. But do you you don't think it's odd that Central Texas started getting snow no. on a, on a, almost a yearly basis? No, we, we're not getting snow on a yearly basis, are we? Ice I mean, and snow are the same. I mean, either way, I mean to to the fact that where we're having to shut down businesses, having to shut down school districts. But how does that? But how does that? Uh, that's not global warming though. Global warming is supposed to get consecutively hotter. I thought. Here's the thing. Again, like I said, it's going to affect both sides of the spectrum. It's not just how like, do we know? And that's what they say about evidence? global warming. Yeah. Where's that's the evidence to support that? Huh? Where's the evidence to support that? I'm prom what are you I saying? promise you. They I just say things. I promise you. If you were to look up the history as far as like what has the, been the coldest temperature that we've had, it's probably was in the last. How do you two, know years. that global warming is going to make the summers hotter and the winters colder? They're just saying that. They don't have it. What's the evidence to support that? I'll be honest with they you. Just say I, let me tell you this. I'm not an expert in it. You see what I'm saying? But I've lived here in Central Texas long enough that I can tell you that what we've been experiencing within the last, I would say, the last ten years has not been what I was when I was a kid. But how do you know the the government's not playing a huge part in implementing global warming as well? I mean, it could. It could because be. what about all the chemtrails? It, it, oh, shit, man. Don't get me started on that. But do you right. believe in chemtrails? Fuck yes. Okay. Fuck Here's yes. the thing: if you're gonna make a claim, then the burden of is on you to provide evidence or so you don't think me claim. growing up hold here on, in central on, texas on, is good enough on. no if these motherfuckers are gonna make claims what it what hey the holocaust you're a survivor hold but on, that should never happen hold on, hold on, hold on. let on. me ask you something real hold quick. on stop you lived here what so what i've lived here and what are you even saying with that claim i've lived in central texas for 30 uh, years and what mm -hmm. so and all these the last the summer the winters in the last few years are the coldest that you can remember you? What about you? No, I would agree. Okay. Okay, oh. so that's what. But you're that's not. But that's normal, right? So let's just say Josh was born, and his grandma got him into some stupid shit, and it was documenting, you know, how cold it was each winter and each summer. Right, right. And you're gonna tell me Josh lived here for thirty years and documented everything, and he sees a certain pattern, and then you're gonna tell me that he's wrong? I'm. I was wondering even what you were saying by that, but now that I see, I'm just saying like just that alone does not correlate to like you have to prove that the extremes mean that it's global warming. Dude, if he done. documented it for thirty years, and <laughs> Bro, it's and it's just because it's extreme doesn't mean it's global. Let me put it to you this way: like you were saying, that doesn't mean it's global. This way, do you remember? Do you remember snow as a kid, or yes or no? I agree with you. These last okay. few years have been so the coldest. So then, how are you going to say that my global warming is, or global even? Let's just not, let's just say my not even point global is: if it's warming, how come the winters are not warmer? Why are they getting colder? But here's the thing. What really is, winters really kick off what in February? I mean, we ha we'll have we'll say January, February. Come on. I mean, here's the thing. It's like we're having winter into like spring and stuff like that. Why would global warming make the winters colder? I'll be honest with you. 
You I don't do know. Not know. You're just saying what they've said, and they I don't do know. not know. But and if you're making these claims, you need some reason or fucking evidence. It's like during COVID, they just said all this stuff with no goddamn evidence. Doesn't fly with me. But you're okay with fucking winners that are just snowy and shit. Like that's okay with you. Tell me why. I don't have Give, to. No, you can just say, "Hey, I didn't go to that work. I didn't go to warming. work for a week because but if my it's fucking colder, car that was mean trapped." It's it says warming. climate changes refer to long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, so it doesn't it's necessarily so say hot or cold. You have no reason of why it's doing that. You just know that it's doing that. Listen. But then it says the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, Listen, which produces these guys heat trapping gas. Smarter than you. You're dumb. Look, like, all I'm saying is this, right? This weather has been wacky as fuck. Can we agree on that? But Texas is kind of like wacky why? in general. Yes, it we is. already have agreed. But why? You don't know. I don't. But isn't that concerning? No, it's not. It's not drastic enough to raise a brow for me right now. It really has nothing to do with like if you really don't have why or like what's causing it. I'll put it to you this way: when if it is if it's hot enough to where it's affecting the crops. That are dying off of like for farmers and shit. That like hasn't that. happened in the past. It's happened in the past, it right? It has happened in the past. But here's the thing: history has a strange way of repeating itself, right? What's happened before the fucking ice age? Yeah. Uh, all this shit has happened, and yeah. for us to be that like, is true. Now, uh, you know, it did. I don't have the science behind it, even though I've I've lived through it. It doesn't exist. You can't do that because otherwise you're sticking your head in the sand and pretending like shit just didn't happen. No, we need evidence for things, though. You don't need it. I just told you, dude. You but what, but then what's your you evidence? Told me what? But Logan, then what's your evidence for the ice age happening? No one was around during the goddamn ice age. But, but, but Josh's point is there's a reason for the ice age happening. Yes, but we don't fucking fully understand it. We're trying to say we're going to influence another ice age or another heat wave. and we, it's, You can't say that. No one was around during the last, last ice age. So we only have so much science to investigate and we can only do so much. To know why it happens in our natural cycles, we don't even fully understand the Earth's natural cycles well enough. And then, for much less to us say, how much are we influencing that? Mm -hmm. And they can't even. They don't even know if if global does global warming make the summers and the winters and the temperatures all around the year warmer, right. or does it make the summers warmer and the winters way colder? Which does it do? We don't even know that yet. Right. We're assuming it makes the summers hotter and the winters colder. But what if it really makes them both warmer or like we don't we 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 we're, we're there's all these assumptions and no fucking evidence. So right? let me ask, do you believe in global warming yes or no? I don't know. Okay. I want some evidence. I don't know. And you experiencing it yourself is not good enough. I need evidence. I only lived 30 you years. You need a scientist Hold to on. tell you How this long shit, was the ice age? Were... How long was the ice age? Probably a couple hundred years. No, or thousands okay. or at least even a couple hundred. If you were alive during that, that's all you knew. Okay. I'm alive during I will I've lived 30 years. I'm only going to be 100. This period that I'm in, the temp, even if we're on the way to an ice age, let's just say, mm -hmm. I'm not going to see that. Like, the change is so gradual. That's so arrogant for you to say. I will that not, is so arrogant because you don't know what shit. Dude. I'm saying my life is such a fraction that dude. these ages, an ice age or a heat wave or, or these periods mm -hmm. of, of fluctuation go thousands of years when a human is... That is so arrogant. That's like a no, it's saying, not. That's my being kingdom real. will never collapse. What could possibly go wrong? And then all of a sudden, there's a fucking no, hole in the being, fence. No. There's a hole in the fence. That's, what Basically, I'm saying is the opposite. I'm saying my life is such a small fraction. Yeah. I'm only going to get to experience part of it. He's just saying that his life is such a small percentage of what actually goes on that he doesn't have enough evidence to come to a conclusion of what's actually that's going fine. on. That's fine. But when you're, but when you're, way. but when people, when thousands of people are trapped in their houses because the fucking, the fucking tree is frozen in their driveway and they can't get out or back up you're gonna tell me like oh that's just a regular fucking is that gonna happen within the next five or ten years it could no where's the evidence to support it you can't uh, just say maybe but it's been happening the, the, what's the, the previous couple of years what's been, the probability let me put it this way when you don't have one because it's fucking logan let me tell you this we don't have enough evidence to hone in let me on tell it you this when but i was he's a saying kid, he has maybe, evidence of the whole life that he's lived which is the only life that way. he's ever when known. i was a kid when i was a kid when but we had, what is the when, trend? You're hold on. Just, when bro. I was a kid, hold on. When I was a kid, when I was hold on. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, when we had freezes, right? We had them every so often, right? It was very rare that I stayed home That's from. Not true. Hold on. Oh, absolutely. I'm telling you from my experience. When I was a kid, it was very rare that we stayed home because tra uh, because weather was uh, was hard to travel through. Uh, if it was cold, hey guys, we just went out. Whatever. It, and if it was some sleet of ice, okay, sure. But it was very rare, right? Nowadays, my kids can fucking tell you they've had more time off from school in their in their elementary than I've had in my whole academic bro, career, bro. Just, that's I'm not even fucking lying. I wish I was fucking telling you. A Logan, lie. do you recall a lot of scenarios where we stayed home due to the freeze back when we were kids? 
No. That's that's the point that he's making though. Whether he's wrong or right, he's just telling you that shit's changed a little bit. Like, Bro, you know I'm what I'm just saying? saying, dude. I, I, like, and even in last, whether like, he's wrong or right, he's just he's since, just he's just trying to prove a point, since, man. Since 2019, have we? All right, let me before 2019, right? I'll go 2019. Did we ever have to worry about a freeze and putting shit over our stuff? Don't like you think that, that if there was a strong basis? correlation, they would show us the numbers and they would say, you know, by 2030, we're gonna, you know, in 20. In 2000, yeah. we had 10 days or we had two days that were below freezing. Right. In 2010, we had five days that were below freezing in Texas. Now, by 2030, we're going to have 10 days. That below. Where is the fucking math? Where is the correlation? Where is the goddamn numbers? Yeah, There's they should be able to. I feel like. Yeah. Where's the hypothesis at? Where I mean, is the, the in this it. year we had this many days where it was below freezing consecutively. Right. This, the only thing I will say I've noticed is. And it's anecdotal because I can't remember when I was a kid, but like I feel like we have had, have we had days where it stays below freezing right. more than 24 hours? Mm -hmm. I can only remember one day in the past five years where we had that real bad freeze for about a week when the pipe what? busted. When was Are it? Are you shitting? Yeah, you're tripping. Bro, there's been other times where it was under freezing for more than 24 hours. Bro, this has been happening, happening consecutively. Dude, have you not been living on the same planet as How many times has it happened? Bro, at least four or five. I would Dude, say four or five. When was that terrible freeze, Josh? Bro, last year. We've had them. Like yeah, I but, said, but we've had them consecutively. I would say the worst one was 2021. I'll Dude. Say, I'll I, go back. As I want you to know in 2021, I repiped like 15 houses. Okay. That shit was terrible. Yeah. Where's yeah. the evidence, though? I need evidence. He just told you. I know, but I'm saying I need the evidence. Is that correlates to global warming? You know what? We could probably, honestly, if we were to do our research, we probably Y'all faggots don't have any fucking we evidence because you're could. fucking cowards. We they don't have any. Or. They don't have any. Or you don't want to. They don't have any balls. It's going to it's gonna fucking. Bring it. Hey. They don't but have any fucking evidence. I think what Logan's coming down to is what's the evidence of the global warming? I think that. What's the cause of here's it? Here's my thing. I think we're living in it and we don't realize it. So you're saying like basically the carbon monoxide, the gases we release. How much I shit, stuff like that. Don't put it this way. When me and Logan went, I forgot what day it was. It was a few months ago. We went out to, remember we were in South Austin and we we're like, dude, we can't see the fucking city. There was a haze around the, uh, the, the city and it was so, and we were not even what, two miles away, three miles yeah. away. Dude, you couldn't see the city. And, and I don't know if maybe it was a fire in South America that all the smoke came and fucked up the, the view or whatever. But all I'm saying is this, you cannot say, you can, it would, I would say, I'll put you this way. You would have to be arrogant to say that global warming is not a factor into how it's affecting. Cause again, we're, there's a billions, there's billions of people here on this planet. I think you're a little arrogant to just assume global warming is even a thing. Yeah. Like, so my thing is you can go off the facts since yeah. we've been alive. Right. But for you to say there's something imaginary, like global warming is going on when you don't know the cause of global warming, mm -hmm. you don't know if it's for sure global warming. There's experts All you that do, could do it. There's experts that could do it. But that, see, that's where you're wrong though, because the same experts we're relying on, mm -hmm. we rely on for space. We rely on for medical advice. Right. For medicine. Right. All that wraps around to money. Here's and the money people are gaining. Playing off of you're that. You're going to let money. Well, here's the thing. Nothing, is, nothing, is, nothing in life is free, right? No, here's playing off of that though. Here's what I want to say. What about love? <laughs> no, nothing. That's in life Valentine's is free. Day. They, that costs nothing, money nothing, too, baby. Nothing, nothing, love, that love, costs nothing, money too. Nothing in life is free, like and and <laughs> the easier something comes, the less it's respected. But what I was gonna say is going off of what you were saying. Yeah. Okay. Let's say, let's say there's a natural fluctuation of the environment. It gets ice age, and then it warms up to normal, maybe a little hotter than normal, and then it's a fluctuation of the earth. Right. Natural. Right. And then somewhere in there, we started burning fossil fuels and stuff, and we affected it. Right. Great. I I could see that being true global okay. warming okay here's the issue let me hear it and i i think we could agree on this okay common ground the people in charge the huge corporations and the governments that are in bed together mm -hmm. they don't want to really really get the hard nitty-gritty numbers because then they would have to admit how many trucks are we putting on the road that are contributing to this how many trains are we putting on the tracks that are contributing to this how many private motherfucking jets are we flying we're going to talk a little about Taylor Swift and just like light stuff. She fucking sued somebody with a decease and desist for blowing up that she took a flight across LA right. to save time. And all there's all that carbon shit. Right. These motherfucking fat cats, celebrities and corporations and governments that are you, that they fly to the G five summit to talk about this shit all in private jets. Mm -hmm. They would have to be accountable to how much they're, how much are the civilians 
the the little worker ants, the poor fucking slaves that we are, mm. the bottom, the t we would probably contribute like twenty percent of it, and the corporations and the fat cats and the people that are wagging their finger at us to change, they're probably contributing more to it. My I mean, my huge thing with that is I you, agree. I and agree. That's why they don't want so, the numbers of who's really contributing. I agree. I actually do agree with that. Yeah, I mean a lot of the stuff we do agree on. Come now. But here's the thing. So what you have a lot of conspiracy theorists saying is, oh, we shouldn't be running off of gas. Because carbon monoxide, and we're wasting fuel, and we're, we're wasting yeah, stuff like this. Right. But then you have conspiracy theorists saying we can't run off of electric either, because if we're running off of electric, they can shut us down, and now we can't drive anywhere. Yeah. So we should run off of gas. What the fuck is it, then, motherfuckers? Yeah. What I've, is it? There yeah. is a solution. Yeah, I've heard uh, I people going saying we could use water cars. But right. what if we're in a drought? How are you going to use water? That's so the true. stuff I'm going to drink, you're going to drive to the store, but I can't even drink water. Bro, I haven't dude, washed my ass in a week. Bro, I'm too drunk for this shit. <laughs> but I think, the, I think the water cars... Hey, shout out uh, Uncle I, Nearest, baby. I could, I could, be, up a little more, yeah, I got I you, could be wrong, but I think the water cars reuse. I don't think they have to, like... I don't think you So feel, you think you could just... What about if the like water gets dirty, though? Isn't that going to be hard on your engine? You probably have to clean it out periodically, like oil. Like a purifier? Like you change the water out like you would change out the oil, yeah. but you don't, and it's like a Cheers, pressurized thing. Salute. And I could be wrong, but I don't think it's like a, you pour the water in and the water gets burned. I think the water is like pressurized and it uses it like a pump, but I could be wrong. Even pressurized water gets dirty. No, yeah, you would have to clean it out okay. periodically, but you wouldn't have to like fill it up like gas every time you go somewhere. It'd be like a, a routine, like change so it'd be like more of, thing. So it'd be right. more of like it cleans it through a filter and then it like kind of recirculates it. Yeah. Bro, okay. We're fucking millionaires and we don't even know it. But there's a lot of low key, technology and shit. Low key, we got everything there, we need right there here. There have been, and this is something the government really cared about what was best for like the small, for like the everyday man and like the environment. Right. There have been oil companies that have bought patents for water cars and then just held it so that it couldn't be used. But is, do you think it would be that hard to do it? I mean, first of I'm all, I'm just saying, like that's shady you, you in itself. I mean? Why should you let a You'll company to buy out their competitor? I don't doubt then... that. You, I don't doubt that you'd get touched. But I'm just saying, water is a is a common thing. We have engineers that are brilliant. I'm sure we have engineers that aren't that haven't signed their souls away yet. I'm just like, I bet you there's somebody out there that already has the technology for it. That's keeping that's low key right now, and is like, I know my life is at stake, but I have this fucking thing that I know is going to revolutionize. You know how we will drive right the problem is like you said there could be things that could affect us because honestly if we were to I, and i could be I, I could be stretching myself thin on this when i say this but it's like if the world were to depend on water to become a, a natural resource for you know driving vehicles literally transportation getting around how much water would we use of the world I know there's an unlimited source, right? But at some point, there has to be a point where, like, we're using way too much water, dude. Like, we're starting to see our shores recede. Um, you know, people are starting to, you know, do shit weird to the water. Because you got to think competitors are going to start fucking with shit. Like, yeah. I know the water is, like, an, an, uh, an infinite source to us, right? Because there's so much yeah. of it. In fact, it's more, we have more water than, than land. Yeah. But at some point. But, dude, you're talking, you know, six to eight billion people using water for transportation. It, it does bring up, it does make me curious on, like, how, how much, much. How much would it affect? I mean. How many motherfucking filters are you going to have? Bro, we could affect the world's uh, global warming. Yeah. What about, the, what, about, what, about the, what about the plants and the resources that we use? Yeah. You think they're going to have enough water to get by? And then we drink water? I mean, dude, it's like. I don't know if you can really use water for everything like I mean, that. We got to come up with a different source, man, because yeah. water, oil, those are limited. We don't have infinite amount of it. We'll have to see. That's a good thought. Um, I'm kind of done with this one, or do you want to play? Oh, I'm, it was, I'm good. It's, it's over just, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you want to do this one? Next? Yeah, real quick. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah. essentially, Otani is one of the like the biggest – baseball stars in it right now he's they've been comparing him to the babe ruth this guy not only can he fucking slug to just like knocking uh, knocking balls out of the park but he's a fucking pitcher oh wow is he uh is he steroid tested so my knowledge baseball is chill on that right well, they'll no, I don't know, but what about Barry, what about Barry Bonds back in the day? That incident. Well, they popped him. Fernando Tatis, who's also another uh, hot uh, MLB player, uh -huh. he got busted for uh, PEDs, and I think he got suspended like seventy five games. So they're still on that shit. Hmm. This guy is a pitcher and a slugger, which wow. is a very rare thing in right. baseball. You know what I mean? Um, but he signed a deal with the Dodgers. So he was with the Angels. He was scout. He was uh, scoping around different teams because oh. he had ended his contract with Angels. 
signed with uh, I think the Rangers were trying to get him, but he ended up signing with the Dodgers for a uh, what's the there you go right seven hundred million dollars, bro. I'm gonna start it over. I just played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, no yeah, sound. Yeah. Go ahead, so, man. Go ahead. Go. Oh, well. Oh. And again, oh, also, I, if I recall this correctly, this guy is from Japan. God damn, you so, can kind of tell just by looking at him. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, he he's uh, so. Sp- baseball is just an international sport, but if I recall correctly, he he comes from. Man, let me double check because I don't want to say he's from. Japan, he's from Korea. Uh, Otani, uh, he is from Japan. Are taking a closer look into baseball Shohei Otani's mega deal with the Dodgers. The modern day Babe Ruth inked a record shattering $700 million free agent contract in December. He'll be taking home just $2 million per year for 10 years and deferring the remaining $680 million until after his contract is up and he possibly moves out of state. Democrats allege he is trying to avoid California's pricey taxes, which could create a $98 million shortfall for the Golden State. California's top tax rate sits at over 14 percent. The state controller writes, the current tax system allows for unlimited like, deferrals for those fortunate enough to be in the, the highest. The company that pays you, your tax is based off that, not off of where you live? I guess it's, I don't know, it's so interesting. Tax bracket, creating significant imbalance in the tax structures, exacerbates in- income inequality. I urge Congress to take immediate and decisive action. Griff, we've got a situation here where you have the, <laughs> w- w- the, perhaps the most talented guy to ever pick up a baseball bat and throw a baseball. And California looks at him and they say, they claim that he's creating a $98 million shortfall for them that they somehow have a right to because he's an amazing baseball player. This is nuts. The word you use there that's important, the operative word is right. Does the government, this talented, maybe greatest to ever play, we'll find out, no, baseball dude, player gets Fox. a contract from the LA Dodgers for an uns- unbelievable amount of money. So he says, great, here's how I'm going to manage that money. Now California says, hmm, that looks good. I'm going to take it. I'm going to reach in and take it. So that state controller, just a little heads up. If you move forward with this, you are going to be the reason why Shohei Atani left California and the Dodgers in about 45 minutes. Because it's absurd that you would allow the government to count somebody's money and come in and take it. I think we talked about it a little bit earlier. We yeah. talked about it in a couple, either last week, I think last week. Yeah. Um, it's like everyone's getting out of California because, like, and this is just another thing where he's like trying to cheat. It's like if y'all were fair, like every other state, he wouldn't be trying to do this or it would be a non issue. But it's like, you know. so here, here's the thing, real quick, before you start the video back up. So when Otani did it, a lot of people were thinking, oh, he's trying to do the, the right thing. Well, not even the right thing. He, like, there's players like Bobby Bonilla, uh, Allen Iverson, where they've signed these crazy deals and the payout doesn't happen until they're older. Yeah. Like, uh, I think Allen Iverson signed a Reebok deal that he doesn't get, uh, they, they set aside 40 or $50 million and he wouldn't get that until he was 50. Mind yeah. you, he signed the contract when he was in his twenties. Yeah. And it makes you think like, where, what, why is what, that even suggested or how does that even come about? Well, so long story made short, a lot of athletes, what they'll do is they'll go bankrupt. They'll have all this. They'll okay. get this cash payout. Like initially. Right. And they, they even made a 30, 30 for, uh, 30 for, 3430 special on ESPN where it's called broke mm. and it's all these athletes that got these payouts yeah. that they just mismanaged and they became broke and so you had Allen Iverson uh, Bobby Bonilla did a 20 million dollar contract with I think it was the Padres which is in California yeah and long story made short it was a 20 million dollar contract that is still inactive or still active to this day from 2003 and will not kick off until 2020 or 2033 Wow. And they're essentially paying him with the interest that he had accrued during the contract. So his contract's like, yes, my contract is $20 million, but you're only going to pay me $1 or $1 million per year. The remaining of it, you're gonna, the interest that's accrued, you're going to pay me 
out in that. Yeah. He he retired in 2008, 2007, so he's still getting paid. And we'll I mean, he's getting paid a million each year, and then he's set for when he gets older. So yeah. it's well, like, go interest. fuck yourself. I'm good for the rest of the time. And so everybody was like, oh, that's so smart. But this guy, he signs a $700 million contract and decides to do the same thing, and they're like, well, wait a minute, hold on. This And mind you, this is... You can't biggest, do that. <laughs> this is the biggest contract in MLB history. Yeah. No other no other, uh, no other, other baseball player has ever had a contract close to a billion dollars. The closest yeah. one was probably like Alex Rodriguez or Albert Pujols that they had a $250 million contract, but they were paid out straight up. Yeah. This guy right here is like, I know your, I know your state. I yeah. know what y'all are going to try to do. And uh, mind you, he's got endorsements, millions of dollars worth of endorsements. So he doesn't even need that MLB, that two million dollars a year yeah, for the next. Need it. Yeah, yeah. So he he's playing it smart. That's big money. That, yeah, that's he's being smart. Yeah. And huh. now now California is like, well, if you're gonna make all this money, they gotta fix their state. Yeah. I don't know. Even the athletes don't want to be there. What, what I think, think he should have to pay it. You think he should? Yeah. Why? Because that way it would force us. It would. It just. Wait. He he should pay. So other... you're for taxes no i i just think that that's their rules you got to pay it and then that would players wouldn't want to go there and that's what makes california california but, that's what makes that team what makes that team in that city that team in that city because you got the culture the laws everything so you're that. basically saying like if you want to go to california you have to you pay the deal price. with that if you don't do it that well, change the goddamn laws this. and if there's loopholes for it would you take like just a little oh, bit yeah. if there was yeah. loopholes for it would you would you take them what do you mean? Like, if you knew there was a loophole to save you money from having to pay those Logan taxes, would. would you take him? Or yeah, not? and he's doing that, but it just we don't know if it's going to stick or not. Well, now it's not going to, but I'm asking you because you're saying you're for it. I'm. So I'm, do you blame him for the actions? No, I don't he, blame him. Yeah, but I just think he should have to. I think it's one of those things where they should. But here's the thing: he didn't pick them. They picked. Uh, he didn't pick them. They picked him. So what? So if he's bringing his talents, and it's going to make people not want to go there. Not the politicians. The fans are going to go there. Well, anyone who has a large paycheck that doesn't want a large portion of it. So what he's saying is a lot of the big players are not going to want to go there. And if a lot of big players are not going there, it's going to affect the fan ratio as well. Right. I agree with that. I agree with that. But, I mean, if he's like... It's already going that way anyway. He He's... Here we see right here, he's already not liking it, so he's trying to do whatever he can in his power to not let it happen. Mm-hmm. That's what rich people do, though. Rich people no, find know, loopholes in taxes. if it wasn't like that, if it was fair like everyone else, he might not have done this. Why is it fair, though? Or more fair, or just because all other states are more... Now we're life. going into the fair thing, though. Life isn't fair in general. No. Here's the thing, though. All the other states are... California is way up there, and everyone's like, I don't want to deal with this when all the other states are here, so fair or not. But like, the problem you is, have a is baseline, this, right? When, when you have somebody, Come if on, you have a rich person, hold on, if you have a rich person that pays the fair tax amount, right, as the, as the common person, their fucking, what they pay in taxes would be like quadruple, but if that's not. That's not the issue. 10 times as much as the person. He doesn't like this, right? Right. Okay, that's all there is to it. California sucks. Do better. And people, he, this Who's is the, doing better, though? Him or the, the politicians? State, the politicians. Okay. Yeah. So then it's better. not his fault. No. So he's doing right. He's doing whatever he can. Right. But it's like he doesn't like it. No one likes California. Do you know that? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's fucked. Oakland. And guess what? Right. They're the most left leaning state in the whole country. Yes. So there you go. Y'all got all the facts and hey. all the smarty pants and all the faggots. <laughs> Eat a dick. <laughs> Smile hey. with that dick in your mouth and your hey. ass. Go to hell. Y'all ain't worth the fuck. The hey. left ain't worth the fuck, and neither is the right. But John, you, you the know, left you thinks know how they're it's better. Apart, though, the left has ego. To back up, to, to back up Logan though, Oakland A's had the worst turnout in in their baseball history. And guess where the Raiders went to a couple years ago? Vegas. They got the fuck out of there. Exactly. And so, In and Out had to close in Oakland. All this stuff. Last week we talked about Tim Dillon with the homeless problem in L.A. It's like, come on, bro. L.A. is yeah. a shit show. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing you one bit. However, I will say. Him doing what he's doing right now. I mean, that's what I would do. I'm not shitting on him. Yeah. I mean, he's going to do what he's yeah. going to do. I mean, of course, the, everyone's going to try to make more money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no, there's there, that, and I'm not faulting him. Joe at Rogan all. got the fuck up out of Cali and he said, taxes were killing me. Yeah. And I didn't have the freedom to go out and do the cool shit that Cali advertised. Like, badass restaurants, badass beaches, all this badass shit that the Hollywood lifestyle, he's like, I couldn't experience it. He's yeah. like, why am I going to pay higher taxes and not be able to experience the badass Hollywood lifestyle? Mm-hmm. I'm out. Do you know what Joe Rogan said when he came to Austin? He said, I bought twice the amount of home that I wanted for half the price that I did in California. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro. So here, here's the thing. Like I said, Otani, hey man, I'm not mad at you. 
I, I don't fault you for doing what you're doing. In fact, it's very smart financially. Yeah. And if those people come after him, or let me ask you this, since you said it's fair, right? Because it's taxes. If they decide, hey, you know what? If they, Let's just say they strong arm him into paying those taxes. Are you agreeing with that or no? Yes. Because, rules are rules. Because like I said, I feel like it should be taxed off of where you earn the money. You earned it from that. That's like me saying, back in the day, I worked at hometown cinemas. Right. If I fucking worked there and then I moved to another, like, no, the money should be taxed on based but where you earn it, who not where brought, you live. Who brought right? the, who, hold on, who brought the attention to the cinema? Was it you or was it the cinema? The cinema, like the movie corporations and no. stuff. No. You were the well, there's a different situation. This is well, well, there we go. There's a different situation. There, that, there we go. So, so yeah, here's the thing. I he's can see your argument. He's yeah. attracting all that attention to the city because of him, not because he's the angels. But still, he's getting paid by the angels. That's so fine. Be taxed hey, on you know what? They knew you, what they were it getting be taxed into on when they where paid the him. company. But it should be taxed. You're taxing his income before it touches his hands, right? Well, right. Because how does if that was the case? I'll put it this way: If that was the case, what the angels should have done. What the angels should have done was put that as a contingency they in their contract. Your little thing. Yeah, you it's just... tight and it's hard. I don't want to break it. It's already tight. Tighten that bitch. All right. There you go. Um, the angels should have put that a contingency. As long as you're living here, you're gonna pay the taxes. And I just assumed it was like that. Ooh. What is the custom custom thing? It's based on. Where I, you I can't live? tell you because I'm not. An I mean, uh, apparently, because everybody, here's the thing: you can live in different states. You can live in different homes. Oh, you'll have to live. Motherfucker, where you, you, when you move to Cali, you know it's more expensive. It, you know yeah. it. But here's the thing: his homestead could be in Texas for all. Right. There's NBA players that play for like the Houston Rockets, and then they, their their home is in LA. Or yeah. Whatever, yeah. So it it's, it it varies. Yeah. But my point is this. The angels are willing to pay the most because they know the talent that he's going to bring. They know the attention that he's going to bring. So it's like, look, dude, hey, uh, I'm bringing you fucking more revenue. Yeah. So fuck you. If, if, if I sign with the Rangers, guess what? Rangers, the Dallas people, the Arlington folks are going to benefit from me being yeah. there. So fuck you. If 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 the Angels are going to be like, hey, or if California was going to be like that, what they should have done was they go to the Angels. Hey, in your contract, can you put a contingency that he's going to pay the taxes that he's going to owe yeah. for that shit? If not, hey, you know what? If it's not in the contract, fuck you. Yeah, that's what it comes down to. No one wants to be in California and do business with him. So I mean, he's he's doing it. He's I'll put you this way: what he's doing with the contract, he's dancing with the devil because if the state does decide to go after him and they yeah, take him, he's going to be hard to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much kind of covering the rest of it. I mean, his his contract and you know what he what he's bringing to the table. But I mean, Otani, like I said, if you're following Major League Baseball, I mean, this guy he's when he's at bat, people stop what they're doing to watch what he's gonna do. Kind of like Taylor Swift, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. So. What is this? Uh, this is my last story. This is of, um, uh, there's a school outside of Houston, Texas called Madison High School. And uh, they de they decided to do a protest in uh, regards to the school district wants to go ahead and enforce a, a new rule policy or policy or whatever that's going to eliminate students having cell phones in their school district. But the students, excuse me, last week, went in protest and they said like we should have our cell phones like blah 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 like kind of pretty much saying we need to have our cell phones on us but the school district is like no nah, we're not doing that shit do you know i guess we can watch it and see but do you know how they were gonna enforce that i mean it was gonna be a new policy i mean how do you i mean i put it this way if you have a cell see? phone it's mine that's just what it is what do you mean if you see it right it can be in my pocket all day off and you would never know sure but, but they're saying if i see it it's, it's complicated. Yeah, that kind of almost was the rule back in like high school, my school. Like if you had your phone and out, the mm -hmm. teacher would pretty much give you like a warning or two. But if it was like three strikes, it was like, all right, you've had your phone out three times. I'm gonna take it up yeah. to the end of class, maybe even the end of day, and you have to go to the principal to get it back. Now they weren't gonna take it forever, but like there was almost that kind of rule in like Lockhart. Like mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes if you get your phone taken up multiple times, your parent had to literally come yeah. pick it I'll up. I'll put it to you this so. way. There, the school systems have been laxed on it, and I can tell you well, because it just gets more and more as time goes on. Smartphones get more. You well, know. I don't, and it doesn't stop at the cell phones. Even like the dress code and stuff like that. And like I know it's been more laxed. I would say since I was in high school, which know. was like ten years ago, fifteen years ago. But long story made short, um, this school has had enough of their self. Like because I guess it's a distraction, which it is. We all know yeah. that a cell phone can be a distraction. So the school is like, you know what? 
we're going to do away with it. And yeah. so the co- I think back in the day, like, honestly, there were some things kids didn't like, but I feel like overall it was pretty fair where we were at Lockhart as far as like freedom, but like, okay, you can't do wild shit. Yeah. Like, Always on your smartphone and turn you to well, a we stupid We didn't have a smartphones back then like that. Not like the ones we, we had now. Did some, not like now. Now, that's what I'm saying. It's just now. been a continuation of being treated like we're not human. She's a Republican. <laughs> but for students at HISD's <laughs> Madison High School sounding off after a phone ban on campus takes effect. That new policy sparking protests on campus, including a walkout. In fact, our Rochelle Turner is at that <laughs> high school in Southwest Houston today where some students are still refusing to head to class. Several students are still out here. They've been out here since 830 this morning. Some of them holding signs. You can see this one that says this is a school, not a prison. Now, students <laughs> tell me that they are choosing really? not to go to class today I'll show you prison because of this ban. They told me don't they feel like soap. prisoners and they don't feel safe. On top of giving away their phones, the school posted a photo on Instagram telling students they must enter the building by their grade. District officials said the ban is in place to curb the amount of fights reported on phones, but parents and students say it's much more to it, saying fights have recently broke out because the principal changed lunchtime, causing more people to be in the cafeteria. They also said the ban is not in the student handbook. I spoke to one senior student who says it's unnecessary. Why only ban phones from James Madison High School? Ban phones the from Adams all the HISD schools as well. See, Monday, I had to turn in my phone and my mom was in the hospital and I didn't know. My mom had a heart attack and I didn't know because they took my phone. You probably could have saved I did her. reach out to HISD for comment <laughs> about this recent ban. I have not heard back as of news time, but students tell me they're going to continue to stay out here. One student told me that if they decide to go back into the school, they'll either be written up or have to go to ISS. Reporting in Southwest Houston. I love ISS. This is a huge problem because, like I said, if it's one thing if the kids pull it out and use it and you say, okay, warning, warning, okay, it's mine till the end of the period or end of the day. I'm all cool with that. Right. But when you say, if you come in the building, we're going to basically search you, metal detector, whatever, and like have to hand it over, you're not coming in the building with a phone, yeah. that's fucking stupid. Why? Because then it opens up the door to not holding teachers accountable. If there is a fucking emergency, the kids can't get in touch with anybody. Mm-hmm. What if there's a school shooter? Can't get in touch with anybody. Can't hold the police or the, any of the school people accountable. Yeah. It's like video I see the problem with the fights, but that's a small sacrifice you have to make for if what if there's what if you need evidence from that fight that somebody was being a bully or somebody took it too far or whatever. Then it goes against just then you need it. People's word. You need to hold. And and then it's a huge thing with holding teachers accountable, lazy teachers and and school shooting situations. All these situations where there's so many pluses and the negative is like you can. Like, like I said, back in Lockhart of the day, they had it pretty much under wraps where you use it, I'm taking it up, but we understand you have it. Yeah. It's, it's, this isn't a fucking airport. Like you gentlemen. said, it's not a prison. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What is, the, what, is, what is the, like, what is the downside of them not having cell phones? Like what just, is, he just, just told said, you. Yeah. Okay. But how often are we hitting, like, hearing, like, school shootings? Bro, yeah. we used to hear that all the time. How Honest, often uh, you, honestly, though. How honestly. often do you need to pick up your kids from school, though, and you just shoot them? Hey. This and this plan change or hey hey this after practice. It just makes hey, it this. so much easier sure. communication was. That's a right we have now. We've come thing. accustomed. I'm it is not right for sure. someone to say you can't do that. I'm sure the ban. I'm gonna if put there's you a school shooting, pretty, you want your kids to be able sure. to be in touch with you? Sure. I'm putting it you this way. I'm pretty sure the ban. If we were to look into it, which we won't, but I'm pretty sure the ban probably tells them not to be using it during class. But is it? We need to look into it. But it almost made it seem like they were confiscating the phone as soon as they went in. Yeah, because but she said her they mom said it was had a totally heart attack. Bad. She couldn't. Yeah. yeah, but she was out there protesting. And so here's the so thing. What? So what the school is probably doing is like, look. So do you agree with that? They should take away their phones as soon as they come in, or are you more on my page where they should kind of? What like- I think happened in this situation, and I'm pretty sure all schools were like this. Listen, if you're gonna go out there and protest, fine, do that. But just understand that when you come back here in this office, that's not what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They're gonna come back with repercussions. Like, I don't hey, think it has anything to do with the protest. But that's just me personally. My thing is, she was are you okay? Yeah, I know, but I don't think are the protest had anything to do with them taking up the phone or not taking up the phone. The that's place. what the whole protest is about. No, okay. No, it's not. That doesn't have any. No, it's not. 
Where's they're, the taking up, they're taking up phones regardless. It said that the right. phones were bad. But she's out there protesting, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And so she's probably like, listen, you're going to come back. You got to you gotta understand there's punishment behind Who what cares? you're doing. That's stupid. Okay. Do you agree with them taking the phone away as soon as you come in the building? If she was protesting. I'm talking about after that, motherfucker. He's not talking about after yes. they punish her for the protest. In the future, yes. for every student, you're because okay with you that. you got to understand. You don't want that for your own kids, though. You got to understand. When, hold on. When you protest about against something. Hold on. And when you hold on, when you protest against some, uh, when you protest against something, you have to understand when you're protesting against something, there is going to be a repercussion. I'm not for talking it. about that. But he's talking about out of your me. head. Okay, no protest. Put this. Let's take another scenario. Okay, at your per- people, at your daughter, daughter and son's schools mm. next week. There's mm. no, there has been no protest. They say we're implementing this policy because mm. X, Y, and Z. Let's say they have whatever reasons. Right. Are you like? You can say that's the rules and I just have to be okay with it. Fine. I understand mm-hmm. that. But like, if you get to make the rule, right? your natural, natural instinct, are you okay? Are you going to, what's the best, most optimal for them to take away or take away the phones no matter what, when they come in the building or mm-hmm. like I say, where they kind of regulate it. If the school was to say from period one to period four or period eight, however they have Whatever, their schedule right. structured, you cannot have your cell phones, then yes. I disagree. Because like I said, there's, then, there's so be, many Because here's the thing. If, you, if, if Like it. your situation where you're saying if the parent needs to get in contact with a student, you know what we did before that and we still do to Call this day? School. Exactly. But it's a convenience, I think, especially... It's con- they, that's all it is. It's a convenience. Yeah. It's a convenience. But the other thing is, too... Um, it's one of those things where, like, once you have it, you, you kind of just can't go back. Guess and, and what, motherfucker? You can take, you can change rules. If you're a super school. Hold if you're on, a, now, Hold on, though. Okay. This is a whole other topic, but, like, regardless of why, uh-huh. school shooting is, an, is a thing now, right? Sure. That's a huge problem. It needs to go away. The reasons for it, all that we can talk about. 100% agree. It's here, though. Right. Being that that's new and that's a modern problem, don't you think the cell phone is a thing that, okay, we didn't have in the past and it's a modern luxury, but like with this other thing that's a major danger, I feel like the school, the, the, the phone is a, there's other little pluses, but that's a major thing where it's like, I want my kid to have that. Right. It's like, you don't want them to have it because they might film a fight. Well, the fight was probably going to happen anyway. Newsflash. Mm-hmm. The fight didn't, we still had fights back in the day before we rec- everybody recorded them. Agreed. So... You know, the fight's still going to happen, mm-hmm. but, you know, it might even cut down. I don't know. That could be an argument. But, like, I just think the, the, the fights thing and, and the, the is, a, is a small thing because you can even make the punishment for filming that and getting in a fight so steep that you could uh, hedge against that. Hey, you can do a fight and we find out about it for sure or you were filming it. You're going to a, what do they call it, like off you basically go to a off campus. Do these to, kids to, at protest seem like they're afraid of that punishment? Yeah, th- these are weak. They're weak. No, but I mean, like, do do you think that what you just said? These kids are willing to skip school and protest of a cell phone. Do you think what you're talking Dude, about is gonna, they're, they're going to be like, skipping, oh, all of a sudden I changed my school. mind? They're standing outside of the school. They're for not like going the to class. They're not going to you class. We don't know what time this is. You never did that. Listen, they just you oh, never did that. Actually, I'm glad you asked that. I'm glad, hold on. I'm glad you asked that. We don't know when this setting is taking place, you though. You just drove to that. another city. They just said they're protesting the... outside of the school and during school hours. They said that. So yeah, what? that's what they. That's, that's what she just. That but hold on. I'm glad you said that. So, uh, 2000. I would say 2000. Is that against the law? What they're doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's truancy. Yeah, it is against um, the law. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. You're what, missing truancy? class. Yeah, it's against the law. Other than that, You're, though, is if, it? if you were to commit truancy, your parents would go to court. And, other than that, yes. is it against the law? Yes, I just bro, told you. you. Just told you. Other than that, yes, bro. What do you mean other than that? It's either against the what law do you or it's want? not. Murder capital charges. If a fucking eighteen year old goes up there, that's not in school. That's not an eighteen year old. We're talking about the students. Other than truancy, you you just ignore it. So they're not. What breaking other, what any other charges other law, are you right? talking about? They're not breaking any other law. The students? Yes. You yes, ask if they were breaking, breaking the law. They're, they're breaking the law. That's breaking the law. That's, law. That's any other, other, other. Do you hear do that you, word, do motherfucker? You, do you know no, what happens? You just want to ignore it so that my argument's invalid. Do that you, doesn't work. Do you know you're what happens? Do you know you're what, wrong right hold now. On, hold on. Whatever you say, you're wrong already. So you're asking if they're breaking two laws. Do you know? Do you? No. Hold on. Do you know what happens during truancy? Do you know what happens? Whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Do you know what happens during truancy? Yes or no? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you do, though. Oh, let me tell you. I'm glad you, you said that. I'm glad you asked. Hold on. <laughs> you, You're truant one time and you go to jail. Is, yeah, that's how it if works. If the child is truancy, hold on. It's bullshit. Hey, I'm going to fill you in on some school shit. Go ahead. So if the child commits truancy, guess who goes to court? Yes. 
How many? T- go on. Guess who goes to court? How many times does that happen? Guess who goes? You know, the parents are responsible. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How he many doesn't times? Want to this. How many times? Not gonna answer it because it discredits your whole fucking argument. Who goes? You to act court? like it's one time. I'm not gonna answer it because you're fucking to not gonna answer my question. I just. So I I'll answer both y'all's questions. I'll answer both y'all's questions. You're not gonna. I'm not you gonna. Ha, you ha, it has to add up over several times throughout the year. Mm-hmm. You have to Duh. be. You have to be true at several, several, several like times. 30, do you think, like do you thirty. Like thirty. Do you think them going one day is just counted as once? No, it's not count. It's per day. Because you know how I know. Because what if you, you miss, about? if you have zero, if, hold on. You have a chance for your child. Hold on. I mean, I'm, I'm going to educate you because you don't know. But your kid can only miss X amount of days of school. What is it then? It's probably... Like 20-something or 30? No. It's, it's between 20 and 30. No, yeah, it is. I think it's no, more. It's less. It's actually... What? It's actually... Are you if, sure about that? If you have eight... Hold on. In Leander Independent School District, and I'm sure it's probably just as, as what they are. If your child misses has a, a, a total of eight unexcused absences, then you, be, your, you be, your child becomes truancy. When they go to truancy, they go to court. And do you know who goes to court? The parents. And if the parents are found fucking, uh, if the parents are found guilty of that shit, guess what ends up happening? The parents go to jail. Not the student, the fucking parents. Are you sure it's just not CPS gets involved? Are you sure they go to jail? When's the last I time this has happened? I swear to it. When's the last time this has happened? As far as what? When's the last time a parent's going to jail for truancy? Do your research. I've never oh, heard yeah. of it. I've never yeah. heard of it, but I've never done research. My fucking friend missed like 30 fucking days back in the year. Mm-hmm. No, he never went to court. I mean, they were threatening it and heavily yeah. fucking saying it, yeah. but he never went to court. His mom never went to jail. Come on now. Do you know this for sure? Yes. Back in the day, my friend was missing like a lot of days. Yeah. And they were threatening it. It was like a big deal. When was, was this? Like, shit, probably like, Tw- like 2008. 2000s. Okay. Well, this is 2024, motherfucker. And guess what? These people right here, these people right here, what they, hold on. I'm going to put you this way. Do I agree with you? Do I agree with you? What time What time does attendance get taken for the day? Probably like when the first class starts. Nope. Well, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. He is right so about that. So if they go in a second or third period and mm-hmm. they're there for attendance, they're uh-huh. not kind of as true for the day. They're it's just, just tardy. Kind of as tardy. Oh, wait. So what they, happens with tardies though? What happens with tardies? Those add up too. Those about to add up. But, but still, my point is they could protest for two hours and then go in and just eat the tardy. Sure, and like, sure. Bro, you know how many times sure. I was tardy throughout the years? Like, Yeah, but you still had to do what you had to do to get out of those tardies, right? You didn't just well, they, slide they, on the some, fucking graduation platform. At some point, platform. they go off. Like they, oh, no, they don't fall off, my friend. Guess what you got to do? You got to make up those fucking hours, my friend. You got to well, go in and... The after thing is, it depends on how normal school point, society. Yes. It depends on how point. lenient the fucking. We'll put it that way, is. but let's be honest. A lot of these kids right yeah, here. I come on, dude. Hey. I got some cookies for hey, you, dude. Hey, Go hey, back hey. to school, dude. I'll put it to you this way: these kids right here, their protest is is probably, honestly, not even worth it. And I'll tell you the reason why: because back in the day, I mean, it made the news. When you asked me, "Hey, have you ever done a protest or shit like that?" I did. And this was back. I did. I did, my friend. And this was back in 2000. I'll say 2005. 2005. There was a protest against illegal immigrants, right? And me and my friends, right? All my fucking Mexican friends, we we're like, man, we're gonna go protest and this and that. And I was steadfast on it because my dad obviously is from Mexico, so I had some kind of sentiment behind it. And guess what the assistant principal told me whenever I fucking went? They go, hey, listen. You can go protest out there. You can go to the Capitol like everybody else. But did. it'll make us look bad, so don't do it. No, 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 no. They said, they, in fact, they said, go for it. Knock yourself out. But guess what? When you come back, there's going to be some shit that you're going to have to understand that you're going to, there's some punishment behind We're going to punish you because we didn't like what you did. No, because you skipped school. You skip school. What, dress it up whatever way you want to, faggot. Let me ask you this. Do you think that what they're, hold on. What Do you think that what they're protesting is, wor- is worth protesting? Yeah. You think so? I mean, I don't know if I agree. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, but I, I think what do you mean by worth it? Like, you think I it's think gonna... their stance is. I think they're, 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 they 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 have the right stance. I don't know if protesting works or if it's worth it or if they'll get any results. But you're saying I you agree, agree with what they're going for, side, yeah. right? You're either pro, you're either for it or not. I'll He's for that, it. You're for it. This is a worthy cause, Logan. I want to make sure that these kids that are... Because fu- people protested Vietnam. People protested illegal immigration. These motherfuckers are protesting about their cell phones, which you hate. Are you sure you're okay with this? But it's for freedom. It's the right for freedom. That's not a fucking freedom. That's a luxury. This right here, as a student, if you're under 18, guess what? What a luxury is freedom. Hey, the right as a parent, I can take away your cell phone. But that's a freedom. The right to have those luxuries is a freedom. No. Yes, it's, it is. No. Yes, this it right is. here is a privilege, motherfucker. I'm paying for you these fucking bills. You have to be bills. free to have that privilege. 
You don't know how freedom and oh, stuff works. Oh, come on, Logan. Come on, Logan. You're telling me that as a kid, this is a freedom? Do you know how freedom okay. works? Okay, okay. Let's go your route. Let's go your route. Hold on. Let's go your route. At what point does a kid go, hey, you know what? You're too young to have a cell phone. I don't know. Yes, you do. What are you talking about? Like, okay, these kids are protesting. What about middle schoolers? Is that, is that okay for them to protest? It's yeah, a privilege sure. to have a yeah. cell phone as a kid. But he's saying it's a freedom. There's yeah. a difference between a freedom, a freedom and a privilege. Yeah, you're wrong about that, Logan. Come on, dude. What, where are you going to draw the line? Okay, it's a privilege to have it, but once you... So it's a privilege, meaning then high schoolers right here do not fucking need it for, for them to complete their tasks, to do their schoolwork. Do they really need it? It's a privilege as a human, but the... We're not talking that. We're talking about students. These are students. Yeah, the, government, the, the school does not give you the right to determine whether you can have it or not. Yes, they have country? policies. In, oh, wait, hold on. I'll give Schools have been having policies since day well, one. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll give them policy. the benefit of the doubt. Like, it doesn't matter what you hold on, hold agree, on. agree or disagree this, with. No, well, no, you can disagree with the policy because you can say it doesn't make sense because this. Yeah, you can disagree with way. it, but it doesn't matter. But wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. Hold on. So I'll, I'll give them the benefit of that. Hold on. That policy is not a good policy. I've told you why I think that, right. why I disagree with it. Right. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't think it's going to result in them having uh, better results and et cetera. And I've told you why. I'll put it this way. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because in here it is specifically said in the story, I'm sure y'all heard that the school did not do a ban for it. Right. That, that, that's what the students are saying. Like, it's not I even. A, it did say a ban. No, no, they said in the story. So they said that. The, what did it say? Uh, they said that the school. No phones on campus, right? They, they said there was not a policy on it, on the cell phone. No, they said it wasn't in the handbook, but there is now a right. policy about it. So now they're changing it. Yes. So if the school, if the school district is changing it, so yes. so then do they have students abide by it? That's what they're fighting for right but now. But do the students abide by it? Usually, yeah, you have to abide by policy. I mean, okay. I think they have to unless that's, there's going to be consequences. That's what the protest is about. Wow. We're going to see if we can make a big enough deal so we can get enough people involved and maybe enough parents will care and enough people in the society will care and enough people on the school board will all care well, and they'll I will, go through the proper means to change it back. What's the percentage of these protests that actually work or like actually implement something? They don't do shit. That's my point. But, there. but... What it does, Just put your phone up and go graduate. Well, if all these up. kids stayed home for a whole week and the yeah. parents supported them, though, they change it back. You don't need your cell phone, you little brat. <laughs> Just go to fucking school. I'm sick of this stuff. You don't, Dude, there's grown men that can't even limit their time on their fucking yeah. cell phones. You don't yeah. want, Fuck these you kids. You don't want teachers to be held more accountable and stuff like that? What do you mean? What, how does that play into it? Because if they have their phones, they can record when teachers are not doing their job and fucking report that shit. Dude, teachers don't get paid shit anyways. I feel like if you're a teacher, you're kind of in it for, <laughs> like, you. I want to be a teacher. Yeah. yeah. Dude. What about when there's a school shooter? You don't want them to have their phones then? No, like, there's security cameras in the schools that do their job. But, but they don't have to release that footage. They don't have to, and they shouldn't. If they, if they shouldn't have... No, if, I think we sh they should release footage of that shit. Of school shootings? Dude, I think school shootings is a whole other thing. I that, think that I don't think kids should have cell phones in general, and I, I actually kind of <laughs> like that it's a, like, a rule. I'll I, I put it to you this way. I think kids should have cell phones. I just think... From the time that you go into school to the time that you get out, you don't use your fucking. Uh, you don't need that cell phone all day. You don't. That's what I'm saying. But if you, want, hey, if, if you want to check text messages and shit during lunch, do it during the hallway. Do no, it during lunch time. Knock there's yourself no out. There's a no phone policy. But if you're going to fucking you whoop. Agree with uh, them, right? Because whoop? kids have no self control. Well, no, that's not the thing, though. You agree that you were in favor of this whole no phone at all policy. Right. No checking in at lunch. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if it, if it got to the point where, hey, we can let cell phones in. No, no, no. You are in favor I, of I, it. I'm in favor all. of it, but I'm just saying. I think what he was saying, if it is a policy where there's no cell phones, then they should search you. So that's why it's fair. Yes. Because if not, then the one dude, Esteban, that can get away with having his phone because he's sneaky, yeah, he's going to yeah. get away with it. And all the other people that aren't sneaky enough are going to have yeah. the cell phone. And fuck Esteban. And fuck Esteban. <laughs> he stole my cool toy. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. This protest, to me, is is literally next to nothing. Just yeah. because, again, you're 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 you're... You're trying to fight for something that now. If they were saying whenever the government tells you to do something, just do no, it. No, 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 don't no. Don't fight. I'll put don't it to you this up. way: if it was a protest and them like we don't have air conditioning and it's fucking school and we're dying, you've here, held out long enough getting sure. the vaccine. It's more, hey, just more do reasonable. It. Hey, just our do lunches it. are fucking sandwiches and a bag of, or a bottle of water. Okay, I can I could even see that. But the thing is, it's a cell phone, bro. Are you gonna die without a cell phone? Probably not. Now in a school up. shooting, a school shooting event. In a school shooting event, I can see some legitimacy behind That's it. That's the government doing the school shooting anyway. So what are you talking about? <laughs> Damn, bro. We don't want to go into that conversation. But... I'm just yes, saying, bro. I, I, fuck smartphones. You think that's going to help a school shooting? Uh, fuck the bots <laughs> on their phones. All they know how to do is look uh, up porn and Facebook. Listen, I don't want to jinx shit. I think Logan was on to point it out. It's like, man, we haven't seen a school shooting in a while. It's because they're planning other shit. That's what I said. Hey, wait till these elections pop off. 
Hey, they're going to back to back to back like a fucking Fast and Furious sequel. Uh, my friend actually said they're planning something during the Super Bowl. So Do not say that. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe at least you're not attending. Maybe the teachers and, and principals and shit shouldn't have their phones either then. Why do they need them? I, I mean, you don't they, need that goddamn phone either. I mean, they don't. It's just a bullshit. They got a phone in their fucking office. It's just more and more rules, Logan. You know how the game goes. Mm. Yeah. Hey, wait, so hold on. Hold on. Before we start, you hear something about Super Bowl? Yeah, dude. Terrorist attack. I feel like if, if maybe I, aliens since you believe in aliens. I do. But here's the thing. I feel like if there was a terrorist attack on the Super Bowl, they would have already done one. What's stopping them from doing it from the last few years? They love Taylor Swift, baby. Wait, don't forget this, about that huge swing. Is this one where's this one being held at? Um uh, Logan. Ask. I don't know. Uh I I was gonna ask. I felt was, bad for not knowing that. Well the last one was in LA. They had okay. it at the new uh Ram Stadium. Right. Uh this one Fuck, where's it gonna be at? Maybe at Taylor Swift's home. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I hear about. It's Taylor Swift. So. Oh shit. Where's Fuck Patrick name? Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? Dude. I'm betting on Taylor Swift. Oof. I think she probably has a cock down Vegas. Oh, dude. Vegas actually, already, he's right. Wait, hey, Vegas had already. They've yeah, already had that so. shooting. Dude, I know it checked in Vegas right now. Nice to know you. Listen, I don't want to sound conspiratorial or anything like that, but to be fair with what you just said. There was already a shooting in Vegas. Remember the... Yeah, of course. How could we forget? Dude, if they had it at the fucking Super Bowl, dude, guy would just be picking off people left and right. In dude, fact, what's going to happen is Taylor Swift's going to pull her top up, and then a terrorist <laughs> is going to start shooting that shit. And I'll be at home eating some fucking popcorn. <laughs> this is not funny. Bro, I'm just a, drunk. I'm like, no phones, kids. Put them up. <laughs> God damn, dude. Bro, there's a conspiracy about Taylor Swift that she's fucking some... Look, this is a uh, supposedly an occultist and known witch. Mm. So what's, a, what's the correlation between them? She looks just like her. What? You don't think that looks like Taylor Swift? What about this? That looks just fucking like her, bro. That's just old school Taylor Swift right there, bro. That's just old school hair. That's the same person. Wait, you pull up that one right there. Logan, don't bring up the Alex I'm Jones. See this one. What was oh. it, Logan? The Alex Jones, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Hicks. Uh, she yeah, kind of like she has like a cruel her. Deville kind of look to her. Oh, see, I mean, you do that, it's just like her, bro. I mean, I even have the same fucking haircut and outfit. I don't know about you, Josh. I'd hit. <laughs> it's crazy. The same shit. Hey, man, it's a good pussy. She'd give you one hell of a time. <laughs> talk about like, uh, just who knows? Well, Jesus, yeah. man, I didn't think about that. I mean, I'll look, I'm gonna put you this way, I, I, and I'm gonna say this right now. I hope. That the Vegas thing is not true. Yeah. Because, man, dude, that would suck to go to a game, especially when you drop like 10 G's on that shit and you get fucking totally mad. innocent and oh. shit. You, you heard about those ticket sales? These, this is the most expensive Super Bowl of all time. Yeah, you're going to have to pay for that, for that death. Nosebleeds are like five grand, bro. I'm going to take all your money and then you're going to die. <laughs> all right. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's that how we make our profit around here. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Yes, okay. sir. That shit's good. The Uncle Darius, man. Shout out uh, Ron B for the third time. So while Josh goes to the restroom, I'm pulling up some stuff on like uh, Taylor Swift and kind of like her popularity over the years. I was looking at, gonna look Google trends up and kind of. So I think the last time she had a huge swing, what I was probably in junior high and you were probably in high school, mm. or was it a little before that? I don't know. You don't remember that? Not really. You don't remember when every bot that was a chick was looking up Taylor Swift? <sighs> no. I, I was just. I guess maybe I was more involved with the bitches, but yeah, man, it was a huge swing. And maybe because one of the girls I dated was just heavily influenced by Taylor Swift. So I pretty much couldn't get away from it. But So here's a little thing. This is from 2004 to present. I feel like she was more famous back in the day, though. Like of whenever she searches of Trump, Taylor, and Travis Kelsey. As you can see, Trump was like huge. During, during what, like, like, like 2021? 2016. 2016, goddamn. And then again in 2020. Yeah, yeah. Because that's when yeah. the first time. Okay, yeah. And then if you zoom in to like past five years you can really look at it and see but then if you go to like past what 
year like 12 months you really get a good indication of like this is trump in the red and Swift that's a uh, kelsey trump taylor swift and who let me take kelsey off oh, yeah no one's worried about him right now bro this is trump and trump. feeling taylor good Swift. strip club after this or what bro I busted a fart during my piss and my PSI dropped. <laughs> <laughs> the boy losing pressure. Oh, but right. here's over the past five years, the Trump, the searches for Trump and Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. but Wait, who's the red? It's Trump. Okay. He was killing it. And then Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift is was the blue. But if you look at like the past like 90 days. Yeah. Look at, she really got to uh, jump over him. So just, she was never like crazy, but then real recently it's just crazy. And then if you, Put in real quick, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Look at him and Taylor Swift's thing. It's like it's like mirrored. Now she's above him, but it's like it's exactly. Look at that. Isn't that wild? Over the past, I mean, three months. Travis Kelsey is just playing Taylor Swift's pet right now. So yeah. hold on, go back to the Trav or uh, Taylor Swift and the Donald Trump, Trump one. And I want to see. Uh, this, can you zoom in on this thing? Yeah. Well, can, you do you do it by like day. So this is ninety days. You can do like so. This right here, this right here, was her winning the Grammys. This peak yeah, right so here. Yeah. So you want to zoom in like even last thirty days because that was a month. So like this is zoomed in. This right here is the Grammys. And like, that was at the beginning of February. That yeah, she won the Grammys. When they just had the Grammys. If you zoom out, this is a, a month. Now if you zoom out to a year. Yeah. See, even like you were saying, right? Up but here you got to think, bro. Yeah, the Grammys happened. What what also is going on to push that big Taylor Swift? You so know? here's the thing. Jay-Z and Beyonce went to the Grammys. Uh, they were in attendance with the Grammys, right? And they each won a Grammy for whatever. But Jay-Z made a big fucking... He, he had a, a fucking fit on stage. Did you see that or heard about it? Kind of. So long story made short, Jay-Z kind of had a Kanye moment and was like, y'all need to stop playing with Beyonce. Like she had, you know, she's won X amount of Grammys, but she still has not won album of the year. Like mm. even by y'all's metrics, like this is not right, which I'll even say he has a point. Taylor Swift won album of the year. Not only did she win album of the year, but the last four years, she's won album of the year. Dude. I hate to interrupt you, but they're so rich. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, and that's what people have been saying. However, he, the thing is, it's like, it's never going to be enough for them. You no. know what I mean? And so, I mean, so people always have, and this comes down to, I just think complete human nature. Someone's always got to complain about something. I mean, listen, you I see what I'm saying? It. But the thing was, was like, with Jay-Z doing that at the, at the uh, Grammys, mm -hmm. it was very... Uh, very childlike, very childish to him for him to be calling out the the people who vote for this and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because it's like, bro, you you and your wife have won X amount. Like, what what is what do you? you like, know, what the fuck do you want you to know, make what, you happy? The benefit of you old fucker. Yeah. But again, yeah. I get it. Hey, if you want to win that award, okay, fine. But you got to understand, Taylor Swift has built her name and her brand to where it's at right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Beyonce has kind of been coasting. I'm not going to lie. Did she come out bit. with... Yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, I don't remember Jay-Z or, or Jay-Z or Beyonce really making waves like the way Taylor Swift is. Dude, they haven't really done shit recently, so... Yeah. However, I will say what Logan said earlier. Taylor Swift was not making the waves that she is now. She had... She was... She was we all knew she was a pop artist. We knew she was very popular. But this right here is... She's world renowned. You know what I mean? Like she's on a level like Beyonce wish she could be on. And yeah. I think even Beyonce was at a point. But right now when you're fucking searched more than Donald Trump, that's a fucking problem. Hmm. You know what I mean? When you're yeah. when you're being researched more it's than just the, a push, man. Yeah. I get it. And it goes kind of back to what he was saying before with Travis Kelsey signing with Pfizer. Yeah. Um, all this other shit, it's almost like... It's all added up, dude. Then you got the Super Bowl. Like, we are, let's go ahead and admit it. Hey, Chiefs are going to win it. However, they're yeah, going to win it. Honestly, that. bro, I don't even think... And I'm not saying the Chiefs aren't going to win, but I think it was more of a thing where getting the Chiefs to the Super Bowl, getting them to the final, because that way, you know, Taylor Swift is introduced every different time. Now, does it really matter that the Chiefs win? I would argue that it really doesn't. If they do Taylor not, Swift made it all the way. If they do not win, it's only because the Americans were like, well, they're going to win. They're going to be like, oh, we're going to pull up. I we're think the, get you. But my point was, I think the big thing was just for them to make it to the Super Bowl. And they did. And they yeah. did. And by the skin of their teeth, by the way. Dude, it's not even about Patrick Mahomes. It's about Taylor Swift. Yeah. It's almost both, I would say. 
Because here's the thing, Patrick Mahomes is on the it's he's on the trajectory of what Tom Brady was. Yeah. Which we need in NFL because to be honest with you, I'm sure if we were to pull up the analytics behind the NFL, I think it's probably the least viewed in the last twenty years because of all the shit that's happened. But people are starting to think it's no better than wrestling. Bro, we're talking about if the Chiefs already won. You mm. know what I mean? Like yeah. yeah. It's getting to that point. I'm not gonna bet any money against the Chiefs. Mm. And Ooh. if so, let's bet right now on the pod. On the pod. Uh, I don't know. We might, we might have to. Do a- let's take one more shot and we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, listen. If the Chiefs win, it'll be great for Patrick Mahomes. Mm. It'll be great for the city of Kansas, right? It'll be, it'll be great for Taylor Swift. <laughs> beautiful for Taylor Swift. And I think it was Austin or Billy that said that uh, if the Chiefs were to win, that. Uh, Travis Kelsey would propose to Taylor Swift, which, in my opinion, I think is super fucking early. That's yeah. so dumb, dude. But what does that have to do with anything? Well, here's the thing, right? If Travis Kelsey marries Taylor Swift, it's gonna make headlines, bro. Gaza, fucking Russia, all that shit is gonna no in one's America. Gonna care about that? It's gonna be right. That's gonna be second place. Yeah. Travis Kelsey and 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 fucking Taylor Swift marrying. That's going to be the new superpower. Yeah. And if she's endorsing Joe Biden the way that she has been, and if Travis Kelsey's pushing this Pfizer thing, which I was against before, but now I'm starting to see what Logan would say, this is almost the perfect storm. Yeah. It's almost because Taylor Swift is going to be like. The left are so fucking smart. She's going to be like. So fucking intellectual and have all the facts. Mm. Why do they need a celebrity to endorse their presidential candidate to sway them to vote for him? And if they, she does it successfully. How many Swifties are going to be voting for Joe Biden? I thought you were intellectuals that didn't need that. Hey, I'm just, hey, I'm, I'm on your side on this one. Are you vexed? I am. Why did you get vaccinated? I did it uh, for the safety of the kids and stuff like that. But it was more like. So it was like scare tactics that they got you with? or mm, I would say, yeah. So if, only because so if you know what you knew now, would you still get vaccinated or do you kind of like somewhat regret it? Honestly, I don't care. You don't give a fuck? I don't. Because it hasn't really affected me to the point where I'm like. We're like, oh, I'd seriously change my mind. Or yeah, something. like if yeah. it was something like my fucking left toe fell off or I can't see, then I'd be like, yeah, I regret it. But I haven't really noticed anything. Now, that's not to say in the next five years. Right. But yeah. as of now, as of this certain point, then yeah. you wouldn't take it back. I will say I'm more pissed at the fact that I still got COVID twice after I got my shots. No. Well, I feel yeah. like that's enough right there. To be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I like, certainly haven't had any side effects of not getting it. Yeah. But I've heard of people like, and, and I don't know if it's necessarily the, the news that were saying, like, oh, well, he got vexed. So he had a heart attack at the age of 25. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I'm not 25 either. Right. So, you know, and plus I'm stubborn as fuck. So like, you know, even if my body was like, we're going to fucking die. I'm like, no, the fuck we're not. Right. Um, I can't say right now I don't regret it or regret it because again, like I said, it hasn't affected me. I will say. You're kind of just up in the air on it. Well, here's the thing. I will say what it has affected me is my, my speech in a sense, because sometimes I, fa- I catch myself saying shit and I'm just, that's not the word that I was going to say. You know what I mean? I never had that issue before. Hmm. You know what I mean? And you think it's correlated related to the I vaccine? think so. And even yeah. my cognitive thinking. Maybe it's because you stopped drinking energy drinks. Don't say that. I'm fucking with you. Don't bro. say that because I will grab a monster after we get finish your caffeine it. up, motherfucker. But here's the thing, though. I have there has been part, like times where back in the day, if Logan was to explain something to me, or even like our, our our you know one of our supervisors, Jade, if he was to explain something to me, I'd be like, cool, got it. Next, let's go on. But then I'm like, I feel like it's like a training mechanism. That's like, hold on, like let's process this. Like it's almost kind of like my like I went from fucking super fast internet back to you know, back on that dial up, back the dial up. And so now I have to like, okay, cool. Like it's fucking me up, but I, I get it, but let me process this for a second. That's the only difference. Do you have, you don't think it's could be maybe cause your diet like seriously changed no, or you don't think it has was, any correlation? Cause I already had this diet when I was in real estate. Yeah. Which is Nothing's changed besides just the thinking process. Yeah. That, that's the only thing I would we say. We don't know if it's the vaccine or COVID though. Cause COVID could have done that. Either or. As well, you know? either, we just, but we don't know. Either Dude, or. Logan often talks about how he feels like he wasn't as sharp as he used to be back in the day. I, I, and, I, and I agree, I would agree with you 100%. Yeah. Because when I was in real estate, dude, bro, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Like, it was nothing. You yeah. could explain to me something and, and break down something. Yeah. And, and 
I get it. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I wouldn't understand what you were telling me. Yeah. But there's times where I'm just like, man, like, I don't know, for some reason, like, I know what you're saying and I hear you. Yeah. But let me kind of regurgitate yeah. it. It takes and, like a long to process. And that's shit. the only difference. And now, is it COVID? Is it the vaccine? Yeah. I couldn't tell. All you know is that's different between it, you. It fucked me up. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if people out there are experiencing that, but if you are experiencing that post COVID, you're not alone because I feel that shit almost every day. Mm. Every day, and I'm hoping that it's just kind of one of those things that it goes away It'll over time. Slowly go away, yeah. Who knows? I had some more stuff. Maybe we should save the border stuff. And like, a, I had an interview between Bill Maher and Ben David. Do you okay. think we should save that stuff for next time, or do you want to? Well, we because both of those things kind of could take some time. Yeah, and the on and honestly, the border thing is kind of an ongoing issue that's never going to go away. Right. We, oh, I know I've been teasing it for a while, but I kind of want to really. Yeah. I know we've been going for a while. What kind of want to dedicate? How long like, have we been going, by the way? Probably two or three hours. Yeah, yeah. I might be capped off. Yeah. yeah. Damn, it um, sucks too because I want to talk about the Carl Tucks and uh, Tucker with, Carlson. Yeah. With, you want to hit that real quick, and then maybe we can wrap it and yeah, those let's other do things it. next time. Yeah, let's do it okay. because I feel like this is one of those epic moments. We don't and, next time it won't be as relevant, but the border thing still will be. Yeah. 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 So let's hit on the Tucker Carlson. Uh, I think I don't know how many people know about it, but recently, Tucker Carlson, I think it was like a day or two ago, interviewed Putin, put out the interview. I watched like two or three minutes of it, and mm. then I had to get off of it. But uh, he said he tried to do this two or three years ago, and like our government, like I don't remember exactly what he said, but they like made it hard on him to do. So mm. now he finally did it. But you watch a little bit more of it. What were your thoughts on it? I will say this. <sighs> Putin is a very smart man mm. in comparison to our president. I mean, this he, Joe Biden does not hold a candle to this guy. What a comparison. I think that's what our government was afraid of. They're like, he, we have this view of Putin, like he's a super villain and we, ha he's like a movie character, but this humanized him and made him seem like, even if we don't agree with what he said, wait, they have someone this sharp. Yeah. Why don't we have someone this sharp? Well, <laughs> and I can see that Putin is a very well-spoken, very well-spoken, very humorous, yeah, he has like a little. He, yeah, he he's personable, right? What kind of humor would you say? Would you lean towards more, more of like dark humor? Or? No, not at all. He'll say kind of like a dry joke, and then he'll kind of like chuckle, and it makes you like, okay, like it's almost like a dad joke. Yeah, it's almost kind of like a dad. Like someone's kind of been out of it for a little bit, but they're still kind of funny yeah, in a way. Like he just he he, he like him and uh, Carl uh, and uh, Tuckerson. Tucker, Tucker, Tucker I keep saying Tucker, Tuckerson, but uh, Tucker, like when they were talking. It was almost like two buddies having a beer, just kind of kicking yeah, back. Just shooting the shit. It wasn't him interviewing him like, oh, you're the, you know, you're the leader of, uh, you know, the USSR right. or, or Russia or this and that. This was him, like, like you said, human, uh, human, yeah. Hum, what is it? Humanized. humanized. They humanized them. Yeah. And you know how when we interview our president, it's like Barbara Walters or whoever, big reporter, and then they're sitting like about as far as we are, or maybe like twice as far apart as we are, yeah. and they're sitting directly across from the president. Mr. President. Blah. This yeah. was like, they were side by side. Yeah. It was here's more like the, two old gentlemen smoking a cigar. More like, personable. What, yeah, what I loved about personable. it, though, this is what it was, was when, like you were saying, when it comes to uh, Joe Biden, softball questions. Right. Joe yeah. Biden, like, he was asking some real questions, mm -hmm. and Putin had the answers. Yeah. Now, whether or not you those, liked them. I don't want to say I liked him. No, whether or not people liked him, yeah, he had he yeah. had the answers. Right. You respect it. I respect in him, a way. I respect him giving answers. Like he was very thoughtful in what he was. It was almost like Elon. You at least he, respect his thought process. Yeah. So Elon Musk, if you ever watch an interview of him, he, when he responds to an answer, it's he's very he's calculated. Exactly. Yeah. And that could be a good thing or a yeah. bad thing, depending right. on what you see it. But uh, Putin was very laid back. In fact, when he was talking, he was almost like, chew. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Too like, two lags. Yeah. But he, that's either here or there. Or there. In the beginning, he gave the history of Russia and Ukraine. Yeah, I heard about that. And it was, I'll be honest with you, I don't know shit about USSR. I don't know the shit about Ukraine. Yeah. And it could have been, in, in, in my opinion, it could have been a revisionist history, which is different but from You can fashion. go back and see now. You can. So that's a good thing, I think. You can. Yeah, we can catch him on a live. And, and I think that's why Carl just let him Let talk. him go. Yeah, let him like, go. Yeah. Let me hear what you got to say. Yeah. And the thing about it was he was asking some very direct questions. And Putin was not afraid to answer. Mm. When he answered, it was very, like you said, very... Uh, very methodical, like yeah. he knew what he was going to say. Now, you got to understand, 
Putin is not your fucking Joe Biden, your Obama that was in the projects in Chicago. Yeah. This motherfucker was in the, what is the KBG? Yeah. Like, so he was for money. Yeah. Like he, well, he was in the military. So he's very disciplined. He knows how to say stuff. He knows what it is. The problem is, is when we listen to like, um, I've listened to a lot of people with their commentary and they say Putin is delusional. He's out of his mind. Like he mm. talks, like he talks in, in a form almost kind of like Hitler. Like Hitler was for when people were saying like he was, he was crazy. Mm. And that's what people uh, see Putin as. Yeah. And in his mind, he's like, this fight for Ukraine, we're not going to stop. Right. We are determined to take back what's ours, whether you like it or not. And this is the facts that I have behind it. Right. And so, and the, the here, here's the kicker though. A lot of the shit that you, uh, Putin stands for is what we would call traditional American values. Yeah. That's where they get you. That's yeah. That's a good that's one. where they draw you in. Yeah. So. The thing was though, I remember there was this interview, and I wish I would have shoot, uh, shot you this link. There was this guy. He was a former KBG agent for the Russia, and he said what Russia does is they come up with a plan mm. to destroy countries. From the inside out. Exactly. Yeah. You've seen the interview. I think so, yeah. And it's essentially the guy that says, we take generations. Our plans do not happen in four years. They don't happen in 10 years. Yeah. It's a generational thing. Yeah. And they, it's like retirement, motherfucker. Well, here's what they do. What they, do. they purposely start off with something small, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they just multiplied over time. What is it? The uh, em, uh, em, emasculinity of men. Yeah, they could have started that in small movement. And they I'm sure, they did. Those yeah. kinds of things seems the easiest way to hide it, right? And yeah. then, and what they'll do is they'll do that or right. whatever, and they yeah. do do it within the countries, and it'll take twenty five years. Yeah. Then, but yeah, I mean, if I break into your house and I steal all your goddamn money, you're gonna know someone came in, right? But if yeah. I steal a dollar at a time, oh, Weston, he's a good guy. He's honest. Yeah, you're losing your money, bitch. Thanks for the McDonald's. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? So as much as we, I like I said, when I listen to Putin, and, and here's the thing on that Carl Tucker, uh, Tucker Carlson, Tucker, God damn, I can't, I'm drunk. Tucker Carlson on his uh, YouTube channel mm. with the specific uh, interview, you're gonna see a lot of Americans backing it up. Yeah. Well, it's a thing I think to divide the right and the left. Right Dude, now. absolutely. They're an election year, you know. Do they do it every time, Josh? Yeah. There's people that probably did not give a fuck about Putin or was like even in favor of him. They're mm -hmm. like, you know what? I could see myself having a beer with this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this. You know might... what? I am gay after all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this might be the grand finale yeah. we've all been waiting for. You know what I mean? This could be. The plan that he was like, you know what? Those those uh, those those little seeds that I planted 25 yeah. years ago, back in what 20 yeah. or 1998, 19, because he's been in presidency for over 20 years. You know, I was gonna I was gonna ask you actually that. I'm he's glad been, you said that. He's yeah. been in presidency for over 20 years. Yeah. What's that rule over there? They don't have no four year ruler. Oh yeah, like yeah, you can run against him, but you're gonna die after that. <laughs> uh, I don't like dying. <laughs> I, I so. mean, listen, Putin's not afraid to kill people that are in the circle. But long yeah. story made short. Do I think that this podcast or this interview was uh, was worth it? I think so, hmm. in the sense that we are getting an idea of a guy that I'm not going to meet Putin. Yeah, we, we would never meet Putin. Yeah, and this guy sat down, which was kind of crazy because just what was it two or three months ago he was interviewing Ice Cube, and now he's even interviewing Putin. Yeah, he's got big. What a change! But we're never gonna see Russian news either. We're never gonna get to hear a chance to see Putin talk. This is like our, you know, our one good chance to exactly. So, I, my thing is this, and again, this is all coincidentally. This is all during Paul, uh, during like the uh, election and like stuff here, like yeah. that. So, wonder why? What a coincidence, right, gentlemen? <laughs> So yeah. all I'm saying is this, Putin, I wouldn't trust him with a dollar, <laughs> right? Yeah. But I can see a lot of what he's talking about makes sense with what I think. Right. Um, but that's the whole trick of it, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Like I said, the, uh, uh, Tucker, he is definitely, he's on the trajectory of becoming one of the biggest journalists of all time. 
mm. in my opinion, behind Barbara Walters, because I think Barbara Walters is like the number one. I think he has a chance. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, okay, dude, you're not afraid to meet Putin. Because yeah. Putin could have honestly said, ah, oh, you're a prisoner now. Hey, yeah, welcome to Russia. I don't he could have, yeah. He could have. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Can you imagine the wants, news? But, Bro, yeah. he has nothing to lose at this point. Yeah. But the fact that he was able to sit down with him. He's cool with them anyways. You know, that's not going to happen. So One world order. Here's the thing. Tuck, Tucker could be also a point. Double agent or something. Of course he could be. Yeah. That's what the left is going to try to say. It's almost like those kids they want to punish for protesting. It's like, okay, we didn't want you to go see him, and you did anyway. Wait till you come back, motherfucker. They might try to. Knows, well, people were already pushing do. for him uh, treason committing treason. Traitor, yeah, they're they're already trying to push that Exile treason. Him or who knows? But the we'll thing see. is, like I said, the thing is this: like that. Uh, what, how many views did it? Was it twelve million? I think. Yeah. In the last so, two days, yeah. you you got to think, man. This is one of those times where podcasts are going to either create or break fucking people. Yeah. And um, I, I, and I see this uh, interview with him taking him to the next level. Yeah, 12 million right now. I mean, it happened for a reason. Yeah. It happened for a reason. And you got to think, I'm almost curious to know what kind of circumstances or what kind of contingencies that they put for the interview. Obviously, he was like, you, you can't arrest me. You can't ask certain questions. Yeah. And, yeah. You don't know, man. Yeah. Well, I'm know. sure some of that will trickle out here and there. And maybe after the smoke kind of blows over and Tucker's on someone else's platform, he'll kind of, they'll ask, hey. Wait, what? you think he's going to be on another platform? I could see, you know how, like, not like, a, like down the road, like, you know how Vlad went on Adam 22 and that's like a rare thing. Yeah. I could see Tucker going on someone oh, later okay. down the road. I thought you meant Putin. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I was like, no, no, no. I was like, no, no, no. I did too. Six yeah. months, a year down the road, I could see Tucker being on someone else's platform and then right. be like, oh, hey, dude. You know when you interview Putin? For once sure. it's blown over and once you, it's not. You can literally bet money on that. Yeah. 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 What? How did this go? How did that go? Yeah. Oh, wait, let me tell you. you know, dude, that's, that's I'm glad that's you. That was genius. Yeah. That's the good thing about this too is that we're going to get smart, bro. Learn how things work. So you know what it's almost like? It's almost like the interview with James Franco and oh, <laughs> but real life type shit. Yeah. For real, dude. Yeah. You imagine if the US. Hey, there's a reason why they put that shit in movies. There's a reason. Yeah. Listen. Simpsons. All I'm saying is this. Like I said, this is all can this the Super Bowl, Taylor Swift. Well, they're all distractions from stuff, right? All but, coincidence, man. That's yeah, all. It of is, course man. it is. All is it all coincidence? Makes it seem like you're saying, uh, uh, uh. uh the, yeah, week, the George the, you know, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like I said, man, we're, we're going to find out these elections. Right, look, well, let's go ahead and point that out there. Uh, Donald Trump, congratulations. You won the election. You think? Oh, bro, he's got this thing in the bag. He, all the Republican pe candidates are just bowing, bowing down up, to him. Yeah. Joe, Joe Biden, he's so terrible. <laughs> of course he is. What else do we have? Who, who? Let me ask you this, okay? Uh, other than Joe Biden, what are their uh, liberal? I've heard, of, I've heard Michelle Obama's Democrat. name thrown out there. Bro. I've heard that fucking so. transgender. Bro, I like to saw off her not, cock there's, tonight. There is we'll not see. a solid Democratic candidate yeah. other than him, and right now. They're doing their best to make sure that Trump is not even on the ballot. Well, yeah. that's that's telling you something. That's, that's what they tell you. Right? How do you know for sure they're trying their best? Oh, they already have. They've uh, like now. That's what's getting released. Yeah, they're, they're one one state. His name wasn't on there, and but everyone cl clicked like or checked none of the above because it was almost like showing them like we want Trump. We're not yeah. going to vote for no one else on yeah. here. And so. on top of that, he's already taken it to. Uh, it was at the Supreme Court or whatever, like trying to or some kind of court. Yeah, they they pretty much overruled because uh, I think it was Seattle and maybe Colorado that was trying Had his name off the ballot. Yeah, take yeah. his name off the ballot, but they went ahead and overturned it. Yeah. Trump so, is not the answer. I'm here to tell you that right now. Listen, yeah. he's not the answer, but if you're I a mean, Trump lover, listen. Hey, sorry to, if it's gonna sorry. if it, if it's gonna get my flat tire to get it rolling, I'm gonna do it because right now there's yeah. not another thing. Listen, if he has the cocaine that I need, <laughs> let's get it bumping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right. Man. Well, I think I know. Like I said, we've been teasing it several times, but I did have a video to react to, okay. and I have well next time. Okay. And I have some stats, and I'm gonna try to collect more for the on the whole border thing. Mm -hmm. But I do, I do have one little video on it, and I do have a few bills, and like um, just like a. I don't even find out what they're called better, but they're not. They're like they're laws that are in place that, if certain stipulations are met, 
a president can enact this certain thing during like dire situations. Right. So I found out a few names of those, but I'm figuring out what the fuck they're actually called. And I'm gonna do some more research so we can have a productive conversation on the border, hopefully next time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do it this time, but we, we got to hitting on some other topics and we just kind of ran out of time, but yeah, I feel like next time we can spend a good portion of the pot on that. So For sure. before we get out of here, is there anything else? I'd like to add some stuff to it. Yeah, I want to yeah. say, I really like the direction this podcast is going. Um, I think there's a lot of potential. I appreciate Logan and Josh for having me on here. Um, I would love to be back, man. And yeah, yeah, for sure. I love dude. the topics that are being discussed, and I, I like it, man. It's yeah. a, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, you should have me back on here. This is what you know the podcast was for. I know Logan, like I said, he originally came up to me and was like, "Man, the conversations that we had at work, like these are things that." Are, Everyday people, they probably have them, yeah. yeah, but they're just afraid to talk about it. Right. Yeah. And and Logan created this specific platform to to voice our opinions. Right. And I, I know there's a lot of, uh, and of course, you know me, I've always played the devil's advocate on, on, yeah. on our my end. But the thing is, it's like there are voices that need to be, need to be heard, whether right. we like him or not. Right. Yeah, they deserve to be heard, and so this is what the platform is about. And so, yeah, yeah like I said, man, it, it's one of those things where. I said, Logan had that bright idea. It was like, man, we should just talk about this shit on the podcast. And I was like, what podcast? He goes, we're going to do it, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. So here we are now, 10 episodes deep, bro. Shit, cheers yeah. to that. We'll finish this liquor in here yeah. real quick. Yeah. Oh, boom. Where's um, the smoke? Or where there's smoke? Yeah. Where there's smoke. So I guess that's episode 10. Let's go, man. We'll see y'all back next week, episode 11. Let's go. All right, All right gentlemen. Out. Later. Peace to the